She wanna know me. I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on ten, make you go up deep. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what it's gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. She riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company?
Hello everybody, welcome to Clay Pigeon Race Week for round number two. Uh, just like it says at the intro there, we, this stream is uh, somewhat dedicated towards Ukraine and their current crisis that is going on uh, in their country. So if you wish to help us at home, uh, please feel free to donate using the link down below and uh, just do what you can to help support Ukraine. Uh, I'm sure they would appreciate it a lot. But towards happier news, let's get into today's live stream and welcome to round number two of the Clay Pigeon Kart Club Championships. This one is going to be a good one. My name is Alex Downs. I'm going to be here for the next couple of, uh, well, hours. That's going to be a few hours, isn't it? Just a few hours. So let's get into it. You just missed the Honda Cadet heat, uh, well, not heat. There we go. That would have been a bit too early. Uh, practice. Uh, so we'll get to main commentary soon uh, as well. So let's get all the live stream stuff for everybody at the circuits. Hello everyone, well, good morning and welcome to Clay Pigeon Raceway. It's a very nice and dry circuit uh, compared to last month, uh, but welcome. We are live on YouTube uh, as always over at www.youtube.com forward slash Clay Pigeon Cart Club forward slash live. It will send you straight to the live stream or have a look on the Facebook to get directly sent over there. We appreciate any support uh, for any of the drivers here today. As, uh, it's going to be a very action-packed day here at the circuit. Uh, so for the live stream viewers, you missed the Honda Cadet practice, but out now we have the Mini Max practice. Uh, then we'll be followed by the Junior Rotax, uh, one of the first of two uh, guests' appearances uh, class-wise this uh, round. We have FP4 World Formulas down. Uh, they're going to be roaring up the track. Uh, then we'll have the Junior Blues. Yes, they are back uh, for the first time this year. Uh, let's see what sort of uh, stuff they can do uh, on the track. Uh, then we'll be followed by the Senior Rotax. And then we'll be back with the Formula Blues uh, once again. And then it will be the 177 and 177 Masters to round out our practice and order. 32 races to be completed today. And uh, it's going to be real nice indeed. Hope you all had a great uh, month. And uh, I don't know if anybody was scared about the weather last night. It was absolutely tipping down in Weymouth. And uh, I was worried it was going to be wet. But it is dry. We love it dry here. So let's see what sort of times everybody's doing over on the alpha timing. Uh, but before that, uh, hello from the Czech Republic. Looking forward to this event. That was Patrick Quirk on the YouTube. We're already getting some... Overseas viewers. Uh, Junior Rotax will be out next for the practice. So you're just in time, Sally. Just in time. Uh, but times for the Mini Max. Uh, Oscar O'Sullivan setting a 39.52 out there. It's also matched by Martin Wright as well. So we'll keep an eye on those two drivers uh, in the Mini Max. Yeah, we've got an action packed day today. Uh, Well, let's see what we can get from all of these drivers. Uh, don't forget, uh, if you didn't catch the start of the live stream inside of the building, uh, this one is somewhat dedicated to Ukraine uh, with their current stuff that's going on over there. We won't mention it too much today, but uh, if you do have any spare change laying around or want to donate as little as much as you can, it would uh, be highly appreciated as uh, we're gathering money together to uh, donate to the Disasters Emergency Committee uh, to send over and help Ukraine. But let's get to the racing, shall we? Jack Goran Racing, another overseas viewer. Jack, where are you then, sir? You're not racing today. I'm well sad if you're not. It's always great commentating for you, especially when you bailed last uh, last month. Which I don't really blame you. <laughs> right, here's the junior road tax out onto the circuit. It's 
going to be a good one from these lot. And as they all start flying into the screen. And uh, one name I'm going to mention specifically out there. Archie Bottle. I uh, met him a couple of weeks ago uh, down at Race World. Uh, I, yeah, I went indoor karting. Uh, saw him there, so it's going to be great. Uh, he's out there today, uh, I believe, from my very poor memory. Uh, this is his last one on the novice plates. So let's see how he does today. Pretty good driver, so we'll uh, keep an eye on him, like I said. There's a really nice family as well. Finn Smith's out there, 40.18, fastest lap time. Oh no, Jack! Not COVID! Oh, I hope you're all fine though, mate. Hopefully we'll see you next next month or next couple of weeks. COVID actually hit my home too. My, my mum got it, so uh, I'm okay for now. I, I've been tested negative. Oh, that's a well, that's a real shame. Hope all is fine. So let's keep having a look at the times out there today. Uh, just whilst I'm chatting with the viewers over on YouTube, uh, if you do want to come and uh, have a watch and uh, support your drivers, I'll be uh, reading them out throughout the day. Charles Green, thirty-seven two three, fastest lap, uh, well, second fastest lap time out there. Finn Smith, uh, currently uh, nine hundred tenths ahead, uh, thirty-six three three. Again, we're back with the three new camera angles that we always have. Hey, fingers crossed, mate. Hopefully you will be back next round. So, Finn Smith's setting an even faster time there. 35.38, fastest from him. Daniel Tribe, 36.01. Leo Purchase, a 36.06. Well, so we got 36.13 for Molly Stevens. Archie Buttle, 36.91. Uh, currently 7th fastest out there. And uh, for once, I can put the sunny overlay on the YouTube. So who was excited for this round? Because I know I was waiting for this one to come through. Let us know. Go on, Charles Green. Oh, yes. Let us know for the BKC teammate. Now, this one's going to be quite noisy because it's the FP4s. So, coming out onto the track now, you might hear them from 10 miles away. It's FP4 World Formulas out for their practice. The noisy bunch are out, and uh, like I said earlier, one of the guest appearances this month. A very strong grid indeed, as the list just keeps going down and down on the left side of my screen. A total of 26 drivers, that is epic. It's great to see that we've got so many drivers out there uh, from these guys. Let's go through to... Uh, the screen so you guys can see everything you uh, keep a Ukraine themed uh, main race page look at that 26 drivers so let's have a look through the names uh, we got Adam Malins out there Martin Marison uh, Matt Costin uh, Jack Teague we got Stephen Manister just to name a few Jamie Trailer uh, so I was recognising a couple of these names from uh, last year because they did t they were here last year as well. Albeit last time I had my window open, so I couldn't hear myself think the last time they were here. But uh, currently out there, Olindo Venturi currently with the fastest lap time of a forty-seven one four. Sam Me uh, doing a forty-seven six four. So five tenths slow at the moment. Adam Malins, uh, cart number 89, 49.05. So we'll let's see what sort of times everybody can achieve uh, later on. Uh, obviously, this is just a three lap practice. So uh, plenty of time still to uh, get used to the track conditions and uh, dry out that track as well. There's a few damp spots out there, but not enough to affect too much. Forty-three five six. Sam Me going a bit faster out there on his second lap. 
Adam Allen's still uh, third fastest for the practice, a 44.52. There's uh, a lot of drivers out there. It's crazy to see how many of these uh, are here today. Uh, keep flowing on down. Check a flag gone out. Sammy still the fastest out there at the moment. Adam, uh, sorry, Michael uh, Marison just at the end there, just getting a bit higher up. Uh, Cart number 29, 43.70. Adam Allen still sticking in there uh, with a 43.71. All of these drivers uh, doing the best. They can to fly up the order here at Clay Pigeon on a beautiful Sunday. You can once say that for once, can't we? And one more drive to go through. Dan Blackledge, uh, who's just posted a 48.55, is fastest so far. So that's the FP4s, World Formulas. You'll definitely hear them be out later on today. Very noisy class indeed. We've got the Junior Blues out next. Uh, one of the other guest classes. Hi, Alice Snow. You racing today? I think this is jumper takeoff time. It's actually warm in the commentary box. I have a friend up here, it's also known as a fly. Right, so here we go. Junior Blues are out now for their practice. Uh, only seven drivers out there for this one. Uh, Jamie Dart, Reese Reed, Michael Carpenter. Uh, Sam Mitchell's out there as well. Ben Gillett, uh, Rudy Winslow Morton out there as well. Jamie Bradfield. Uh, those last three being the novices uh, in the list for the Junior Blues. Uh, as they go around back again this year. Uh, for the first time this year. It's a good thing they picked the uh, second round, not the first round. Not going to mention the first round too much, it was a bit uh, soggy. As per se. You can actually hear the sound of the uh, transition on that one now. I fixed it from last time. So let's see what sort of lap times the Junior Blues can do. Jamie Dart posted a 45.03 last time. Uh, Reese Reed 47.61. We'll see if these times creep down with their next lap as they just come over the line in just a moment. Uh, Jamie Dart leading the pack at the moment. And uh, setting the pace at this time. A 41.99 was his last lap time. As it all come flying down the order. I know one thing I forgot to do was uh, get my supply of Pepsi Max from my car. <laughs> oh, I'm already choking. So let's get these times finalised for all of you for the Junior Blues. Uh, we've got the 39.66 Reese Reed, Michael Carpenter, uh, setting a 39.66. Fastest out there though at this time, we'll just wait for the other two drivers to pop over the line, was Jamie Bradford, a 38.27. So like I said, the times did slowly creep down out there. So uh, that will do it for the Junior Blues. Senior Rotax will be out for their practice shortly. Let's see how this goes. Obviously, uh, familiar viewers of the 
Kart Club Championships would know the practice order is the heats order as well. We've got 32 races to complete today. And uh, I'm going to be sure that it's going to be quite competitive ones as well. Just as we talk about competitive, the number 95 out there. Don't know if anybody spotted it. Lando Norris cart, LN cart. Uh, I do quite like the look of those. And it's actually got the LN sticker kit by the looks of it as well, which is uh, quite nice to look at. I am a fan of those carts. Unfortunately, I can't afford them, but <laughs> we go past it. Let's go through the list. So Callum Davies, the number 95. He is the one... Uh, in the LN car out there, uh, Cameron Crockett out there, uh, Ben Fichetti, one of the novices out there, car number 62, uh, we've got Magic Camara out there back again, Ben Page, uh, car number 90, Daniel Beards, car number 68 is out there as well, we've got Bertie Wellesley uh, in car number 48 and George Walker as well, mm. a total of 11 drivers all together. It's going to be a, quite a competitive one from all of those. Comparing it to uh, the last few months that we've had the championships down here. So down comes the 95, followed by Cameron Crockett. Both of them are already trying to outpace themselves. 35-3-1 Callum Davies and Cameron Crockett with the 35-4-4. A little bit of pace to find there, but then again, this is still the practice. So plenty of time to bring down those numbers throughout the day. Magic Amera, 35-6-7. Ben Fichetti down at the bottom at the moment with a 36-9-5. As the uh, check of flag goes out for this practice, let's see who comes out on top between Cameron Crockett and Cam uh, Callum Davies. Uh, and at the moment, uh, Cameron Crockett with a 34.69. Harrison Crook coming up the order a little bit, 34.71. Uh, so, still plenty of time. Like I said, we've got plenty of heats to go through to bring these times right up. Ben Fichetti doing a 36.36. And there we go, that is the Senior Road Sacks. So next is the Senior Blues. Back with the Blues. Dabba dee dabba die. Probably shouldn't say that really. <laughs> That's going to be stuck in my head all day. Uh, but the way the songs in the background is from Epidemic Sound. I believe the link is still in the description if you do want to have a listen to any of the songs that you hear on the live streams. Uh, licensed as always, properly. Make sure you license your stuff properly. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, whilst these guys are out, I'm going to nip to the back end of my car and uh, get my supply of Pepsi Max. <laughs> Be right back, ladies and gentlemen. And we're back. I'll tell you what, I was just thinking on the way over. If there was ever a drink sponsor, hit me up. Because <laughs> uh, I'll get you sales. <laughs> Especially if it's Pepsi Max. Oh, my God. 
Right, let's get these times for the senior blues. I just had to uh, nip to the back end of my cart so I can have my drink supply uh, of Pepsi Max. Love it. Uh, but anyway, senior blues. Uh, Martin Wheeler, cart number 95, setting a 3766. Uh, Sylvia Vessia, 3849. We've got Paul Alexander, 3943. Uh, Joey Foster popping up the order a little bit there, 3766. Anthony Cleal, cart number one, 39.62. That was his time. Michael Bell, 42.13. Uh, one of the novices out there, Alex Kemp, number 64, posting a 43.41 uh, during his three lap practice. We will see them later on today, though, when they uh, post out for their heats and finals throughout. Today, we'll be live on YouTube for over six hours. So if you wish to give me some company or want to support any of your drivers during these periods of time, uh, feel free to pop over to the YouTube channel, type in a little comment into that text box and uh, support any of your drivers. It would be most appreciated, I'm sure, by all the drivers. Cool, what a song in the background. Let's go. So it's time for the 177-177 Masters as they uh, all start ticking onto the screen. Just popping over to the line there is cart number 33. That's Jewel! <laughs> That's never going to get old. Let's see what times everybody posts out there. We've got Reese Llewellyn, cart number 22. Dan Milner, cart 17. Derek Hunt, uh, the two... Novices out there of Gareth Evans and Nathan Crowder. And it's Joe. He's out there today. Uh, Joe Wormsley. Cart number 33. That joke will never get old with Joe. So you all come flying down the order. Harry Rowitz out there as well. I can't remember if I mentioned him earlier as well. Andy Ward out there. Cart number 95. So, 39.52 set by Ian Brownfield, Reese Llewellyn with a 40.05, Dan Milner with a 40.08, James Webb with a 40.23. Craig, they're all within a second or two within each other. This is great. So, last lap for this three lap practice. And uh, just looking through the order, uh, everyone's within pretty much a second or two. Uh, but I think from the first to second, yeah, first to second is pretty much within a second and a, a bit of each other. So very close already for this three lap practice so far. Uh, so we'll be uh, very interested to see what they do later on today. As they pop over the line, let's get the results for this three lap practice for yourselves uh, at home. Uh, in your office, if you're watching in an office, or if you're here at the circuit. Uh, Harry Rowett with a 3507, uh, currently two tenths faster than Dan Milner, who set a 3527. Two tenths behind him is Ian Brownfield with a 3547, matched by Taicho Simmons, cart number 24. It's great to see some match times out there, it always keeps me interested. Alex Heron with a 40, uh, cart number 45 with a 3553. Nearly getting his. Uh, Cart number and uh, time mixed up there. And Drew Wamsley. Cart number 33 with 37.21. Just sitting out the top 10 on that three lap practice. But well, talking about practice, that is the end of the practice sessions for today. And it's uh, time to get all serious, ladies and gentlemen, as we get into the heats. The first heat of the day with the Honda Cadets that we will see very shortly. Just waving at a couple of uh, a couple of drivers that waved to me down there at the circuit. It's great to see. I'm getting noticed by drivers. Oh my god. I always get noticed by Jack if he's ever watching. Even when he is racing, he keeps me entertained. I can say this because I know he's probably still watching.
whilst we have a little break here, if you are watching from home and uh, have a little bit of change lying around uh, in anywhere, uh, we are gathering money together to support Ukraine uh, with their current crisis. So if you do wish to help support them, uh, feel free to click the link down below to the DEC and uh, help us raise a bit of money. That's what we're doing in main reception right now as well. We've got a little uh, place of goodies. <laughs> my, my brain of thought went a little bit. Uh, but we've got some stuff there for sale um, if you wish to buy it because they will all be going straight towards Ukraine. Rich says, go on Senior Blues. Indeed, indeed. The uh, Senior Blues are big grid. Just looking out on the track now, just down there, got two of the, I'm going to say this correctly, Clarks. We've got Darren Weaver and uh, Lou Weaver out there as well, the Weavers. They are an entertaining bunch, them too. You always get a laugh. Uh, Ukraine flag just flying in the distance as well. Uh, I know it's probably not very clear on the YouTube live stream, but we do have a Ukraine flag out there in the middle of the track. Quite nice having a camera facing this way, you can spy on people. <laughs> Just waiting for the Honda cadets to come out for their heats uh, shortly. Uh, meanwhile, hello everyone, uh, if you're watching at home. Let's see how many viewers you got watching. 26 so far? It's early morning. Always appreciate anybody who comes and watches this one. Four likes as well. Yes, if you haven't liked the stream yet, feel free to. And if you're not subscribed yet as well, please subscribe. We're trying to get to 500 at uh, some point this year. <laughs> uh, we'd like to push some goals uh, for the YouTube. It's uh, always great. I always love... Uh, Seeing the numbers just shoot up throughout the time that I've been commentating. I believe when it gets to round five, I should, well, I believe it'll be a well, like the year anniversary of live streaming for the Kart Club. And boy, has that flown. That has absolutely flown by. So here we go, oh dear, someone's had a spin already, coming out of the pits. Uh, but here we are, it's time for the heats of round number two. Let's see how this goes, this is the Honda Cadets for heat number one. Better Fair, uh, Fairclough and Conrad Barton, I believe are your starters for this one. I could be incorrect, I could be correct, who knows. Uh, saw the Fairclough sisters, uh, Instagram the other day tagging Clay Pigeon Raceway. Uh, always great to tag them on Instagram if you are up here at any times because uh, we they do put it onto their story. As uh, we come back round for the second time for the formation as the uh, full start flag goes out. Uh, so let's see what the Honda Cadets can do today. Uh, if you are tuning in on the YouTube live stream, uh, they did get missed at the start. Uh, whilst we're here as well, Lisa Senna on the YouTube live stream says, Good luck to Alexander Senna in the Junior Rotax. A uh, little su support shout out there for you. 
Uh, feel free to pop that and do that all day today. It's going to be great. Right, let's get to the Honda Cadets as they just come in around the horseshoe. Uh, still a little bit spread out up there, so hopefully a few moments time they'll be all together ready to start this journey. As they come down the main straight, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into... nothing uh, at the moment <laughs> so let's see third time lucky are they going to get together slow up and get starting on this race always third time's a charm isn't it Danielle Austin on the YouTube live stream good luck to Riley Till Raising hands emoji. <laughs> Do love the odd emoji. Alright, let's get these slowed down once again. And try for third time. Come on, third time's a charm, Honda Cadets. Still speeding through. Come on. You can do it, guys. As they come down the main straight, is it a go? Are they going to make it a go? Yep, it's a go. It's a goner. Let's see what we can get from the Honda Cadets. Third time's a charm. And they're going through the S's right now and towards the back straight. And the number 80, uh, sorry, 63 ahead of the 97 by the looks of it still at this current time. Coming out of the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Number 63, a little bit of a gap to the second place keep it on coming down let's get your order for the start of this race so better fair clough still in the lead followed by max level then conrad barton jensen walker is in fourth place currently followed by travis rose ava morris is in seventh but just ahead is elliot potter in sixth position car number 17 as they're going down the back straight now uh, an overtake being made from 5th place to 4th. The white and orange car down there. That is the driver of the number 17, Elliot Potter, making a few places up so far. Uh, Charles Green racing, saying good luck to myself. <laughs> number 77. And Leo Purchase, number 71, racing for BKC in the Junior Rotax. That is the first time I've seen anybody shout out themselves, so <laughs> good on you, mate. And uh, good luck to those two drivers as well later on today. Better for Clough still in the lead, though, followed by the number 97 of Max Lovell. A couple of the drivers near the middle of the pack. Swapping places quite often here as we keep an eye on them. Fourth place on the rear end of third. Uh, Jensen Walker on the back of oh, Conrad Barton, that is. So main straight time. Let's see where we get. There is a bit of a gap from uh, first and second being 0.83. Fastest lap is currently held by Better Fair Clough out there. Uh, currently with a little lead. Max Lovell just behind Conrad Boston still in third place but under threat by Elliot Potter. Who is trying to make a few spaces out there on the circuits and uh, it's already some great racing from all these drivers so far as we come down the main straight once again for the next lap uh, by the way these heats being eight minutes plus a lap it's always nice to have these long longer heats uh, Riley Till making up two places that lap uh, putting uh, that number 44 cart into fifth uh, also setting the fastest lap of a 41.09. Uh, so that's the time to beat currently so far. Meanwhile, Elliot Potter making up a place as well. So that's a charging Elliot out there coming to catch up with uh, Max Lovell already right behind. As we go towards the top bend, Bella nearly with a... With a pretty nice decent gap so far. 
Uh, that being uh, just under a tenth so far. Uh, sorry. Just being under a second there. Uh, as I get all my timings muddled up. It's early morning for me. <laughs> and my brain. But out there, second to fourth. Uh, second to fifth, sorry. Uh, getting closer together, there are a pack of twos. Honda Cadets come in two by twos. But it is at the moment, with just under four minutes left on the clock, Bella Fairclough in the lead, but having the other drivers having a charge. Uh, with Max Lovell still hanging in behind in second position, Elliot Potter in third. Uh, contact warning given to Jaden Mead. That's just popped up onto the screen. As we keep flying through the order. Finley Richardson, one of the novices out there in 12th position so far. Uh, we'll keep an eye and see what he does in a few moments. A uh, couple of the other novices. Charlie White currently chilling in 15th. With Ethan Cousins in 16th position. Uh, there is a screen on the outside of the building if you do want to keep an eye of the times as well. But Bella is storming ahead so far, keeping that lead. Uh, but it is closing ever so slightly. Max Lovell and Elliot Potter uh, charging each other through. Uh, we have Ava Morris and Riley Till in that lot as, uh, as I speak of uh, Riley making a move at the entrance of the S's there. Very popular spot with all the drivers out at Clay. Uh, I quite like getting overtaken at that pot place. And I say overtaken because I always get overtaken there. But Riley is trying to catch up. A few taps up at the top bend there. But let's go through for the next lap of this race. Uh, Daniela, uh, Danielle Hostin, sorry. Uh, come on, Riley Till, number 44. Yeah, charging Riley. Currently up in third position at the moment. Uh, so definitely charging through the order so far today. Showing some great pace and uh, charging down that back straight now. Still in third position. We'll keep an eye on Riley throughout this one. Going down the inside of Max Lovell there. Getting up into second position now. So let's charge on to uh, the leader of the number 63 of Bella Fairclough. Uh, she's now under threat by a very hot on the heels Riley. So, coming down the main straight, just over a minute and 40 seconds on the clock, Riley storming up the order, like I've uh, said. Max Lovell still in third, it is a train of four coming out of the S's there, it's the number 44, 97, 17 and 32, Riley, Max Elliott and Eva. Uh, then we've got Jaden Mead and Ethan Griffiths in a pack of two just behind, trying to catch up as well, as they come into the entrance of the Horseshoe and the exit through to Buttons. Uh, but Bella Fairclough is still taking the way so far. So some great moves so far from all these drivers. Only lost one so far. Sam Green Gomez has had to pit uh, about eight laps ago now. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to get whatever has happened sorted as quickly as possible. Bella Fairclough is absolutely stormed away now. A uh, gap of 1.44 seconds. Coming through the horseshoe and uh, right now. There we go. <laughs> Still getting those two corners muddled up. You should know this by now. I've been working here for nearly three years. Top end and down towards the main straight. Let's see what orders change as a few drivers go onto the rumble strip there at the exit of... The top bend, Riley Till at the second still, but under threat again is this. Let's have a look. Coming through the S's, those six are really on for it. Uh, yes, that was actually uh, Riley Till gaining back the position uh, as the all the drivers sort of mix and match in the positions. It is just a long train coming along here, uh, but better Fairclough is miles away from it at the moment. So let's redo the order as we come into our last lap on this one. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. This could be a lot of changes made. Coming down the main straight. Bella Fairclough followed by the number 44 of Riley Till. Max Lovell right behind. Followed then by Ethan Griffiths, Eva Morris. Then we have Jaden Mead, Elliot Potter. 
There is a pack of four. It's a spread out just a little bit, two by two, by one by four. They're not measurements for wood. <laughs> that is uh, the form of the cadets in this heat so far. As we go around the horseshoe and through to Buttons. But it's all eyes on our leader starting from the front and, well, looks like she'll be finishing at the front for heat number one. Taking the checker flag, it's a better fair, Clough. And, oh, that was very close at the end. It was followed then by Riley Till in second position, Max Lovell in third. It's getting really close with these finishes by the top few. Uh, Ava Morrison fifth, Jaden Mead in sixth, Travis Rose finishing in seventh position there. Elliot Potter in eighth, Harry Farrell taking ninth, Conrad Barton finishing off the top ten there. And your driver with the fastest lap goes to Ethan Griffiths in the number 99. So what a competitive heat there from the Honda Cadets. They'll be out in a few races time. They'll be race number nine for their next one. Uh, meanwhile, it's time for the Minimax, where they'll be out for their first heat of the day real shortly. Sip on the Pepsi Max. Hey! I spy with my little eye something being in with Jay. Ah, it's Joe! He's up on the balcony. <laughs> I'm going to snip at that and take, send it to uh, Joe. <laughs> He's just going to think, you nutter. Right, Minimaxes. Multitude of Minimaxes. So here we are with the Mini Max for heat number one. What are your predictions, ladies and gentlemen, from these minis? I, s I was like, I swear we had more Mini Maxes than seven. <laughs> so as the rest of them fly on out, uh, 11 of them all together as they will be leading up to come and take their formation. So... Starting at the front looks like it'll be Kai Veach, uh, Petic, sorry, uh, and Freddie Baker. This could get real competitive for these drivers. I just had the timekeeper send me uh, Apple Pen. <laughs> So, so here we go. It's time for the mini maxes. It's the old green flag. Is well, not green flag for mine side of point of view. Green flag. Uh, but here we go. Starting off with the mini maxes for their first heat of the day. Oh, that's going to be stuck in my head now. Thanks, Simon. Uh, Simon being our timekeeper for today. So let's see how. These minis go along. Someone lost their number right at the start as well, by the looks of it. Just, just have a look out the front window here. But there we go. Lap one is just about to complete. Let's see who is out in front. So coming down the order, let's get it for you all. It will be Oscar Sullivan in first, followed by Kai in at number 75. Freddie Baker currently in third position, but is there going to be any moves from all of these three drivers as they come down the back straight now? Freddie Baker... Uh, having a look on second position, nearly went three wide, but Freddy had a little bit of advantage there and squeezing around the inside to get into second position so far. And next will be Oscar in that uh, first position so far. Freddy is uh, known for charging through in a couple of the last few rounds. Oscar followed by Freddy in the cut number 18, cart 14, Martin right in third at the moment, charging out there. A little bit of contact made, uh, beginning there. Number 14 on uh, Freddy Baker and Freddy having to unfortunately hit the driver in front. Little spin at the back there from the number 48, getting beached on the sausage curb. Uh, getting beached on the sausage. Probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> So, top Ben now, we have our top, what was that? One, two, three, four, five, six drivers. So let's keep an eye on these top six. 
Uh, Jack West in that lot, number 92. Joshua Withcombe in that lot as well. And uh, Lucas Howell as well. They're all trying to get in front of one another, but Oscar O'Sullivan in the 46. Trying to get ahead. Freddie Baker giving out a contact warning as well. It's just popped up onto my screen. Archie underscore how uh, on YouTube says go on Lucas with a car emoji, tornado emoji and wind emoji. I sound old saying it like that. <laughs> I swear I'm young. So top three all in a line. Is there going to be any moves as they go into Billy's? Uh, there was a potential, but it got shut out. Coming down the inside, Freddie Baker trying to make a move there, and he stuck it in uh, into that first position. And uh, getting ahead there to claim first, but Oscar O'Sullivan will be charging back, and as he does, trying to take the inside line. Uh, Freddie defending as much as he can to try and keep that first position going quite wide uh, out the exit of the horseshoe. Coming down the main straight, let's see what these guys can do. And girls. Freddie Baker followed by Oscar O'Sullivan and then Joshua Withcombe. If I say it that fast, I probably sound like a betting man. 55, 55, 55. <laughs> My brain. Darting down the inside there at the, at the start of the hairpin there was the number 46 of Oscar. Uh, unfortunately, losing that position because that dart did push him a little bit wide. Uh, also, Oscar O'Sullivan getting a contact warning as well. It's uh, a competitive two there. But here we go. Freddie Baker still out ahead, has the number 46 and 19 behind. Lucas Howell getting up into third position there uh, during that lap. Uh, Joshua Withcombe losing two places. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't see what happened, uh, but we shall carry on. As Lucas Howell looks for the inside, braking and managing to keep that car under control. There's some very good con car control there as he uh, started going a little bit sideways uh, under braking, uh, but sticking it in, uh, still currently chilling in third position these drivers sure know what they are doing as they come down the top bend down the main straight coming around the outside here is the number 46 for that inside line a little bit of wobbling by the 40 uh, by the 46 uh, unfortunately just going a little bit too wide coming out uh, with that late braking uh, it's getting a bit touchy out there I'm not gonna lie Finn's what's that no, Lucas Howe, sorry. <laughs> like Finn's Jr., you donkey. <laughs> number 19 down the inside, number 46, uh, having to counter lock himself there. It's very competitive on this top four. But uh, Freddy is the one that's staying in front at this current time as they go in towards Billy's. All of them, one of them get a little bit wide there. That looks. Let's see what number that is. That is the number 14. Losing out to the number 46 of Oscar as he tries to make a few places up. Uh, once again, as we go back around at the horseshoe and towards the hairpin. Number 19 in third. Freddy's still sticking it out ahead in first position at the moment. This heat still got 2 minutes 30. Well, just under 2 minutes 30 on the clock. So still a lot of time still to go here. A lot of changes happening there at the S's. Uh, too many to even try and keep an eye on everyone. Uh, top six is uh, a very competitive bunch so far, showing off uh, what they can do in heat number one. Uh, the number 46 being uh, very touchy and twitchy. But uh, sticking it in third, music very appropriate for this occasion too. So, down the main straight, number 18, followed by Lucas Howell, then Oscar O'Sullivan right behind. Behind Oscar is Martin Wright, and then with a little gap is Joshua Withcombe and Jack West. Behind Jack West is Kai Vetic. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Every time I say it, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Around the hairpin, the number 19 catching up with Freddie Baker. Oscar O'Sullivan getting another contact warning out there. So, that is number two. For contact, you've got to be careful as we come down the main straight. The 19 right behind Freddie Baker 
Will he make a move into Billy's or the S's? And the answer is neither. He's going to stick it out and come down the main, uh, the back straight there. We'll see and keep an eye on him. Meanwhile, the number 46 is getting closer yet again uh, to that pack. Freddy's trying to defend the best as he can. Down the main straight now. The, eight, nine, the number 19 right on the back end of Freddie Baker. It is still very close between the top four now. As the uh, 92 and 45 just uh, come back to catch up with that pack of four at the top. So here we go, top bend, the number 46 by the looks of it was trying to potentially make a move there as we come down the main straight. It's still in a line of four as that last lap board, in clear view now, thanks for our camera angles. Uh, as we come towards Billy, oh, and a bit of contact there to Freddie Baker, putting him right out of this. As uh, a few moves were made as well, uh, Billy's. Costed him a few places, but Freddie trying to get back into that line uh, just had some major contact and has pushed him right to the back of that one. Contact warning to Martin Wright as well. As uh, the peaceful number 48 comes over line, so uh, sorry, I was incorrect with the n number 18. It was the number 19. Sorry. It looks so familiar. Uh, it was Lucas Howell that lost out on that one, I'm afraid. Uh, sorry, uh, Freddie Baker did win that one. Uh, followed by Oscar O'Sullivan, and then Martin Wright, and then Jack West. Uh, so apologies on me lying. Um, so Lucas Howe in second position, uh, pushed out wide, tried to get back in, and unfortunately got hit from the rear. Anyway, we'll move on from uh, that very, I'll use the word messy, Minimax heat there. Right then, let's see uh, what the Junior Rotax will do very shortly. Oh my god. That Minimax heat, my damn. <laughs> that was some competitiveness. And yes, I was incorrect. It, um, just to confirm with you all, the order was Freddie Baker, Oscar O'Sullivan, uh, and Martin Wright on that one. Oh, if I'll just pop it on the screen there for you guys. Quite a few contact warnings given on that one as well, so... Got to be careful. Anna Marie Tanner. Go, Lucas. Go. Oh, go, Lucas. Go, maybe. I don't know. Uh, go, Lucas... Yeah, it is Go Lucas Go. God, I can't read. Uh, go Lucas Go, Grandma, Granddad, Auntie Anna and Lucas. Uh, and Uncle Matt. I can't read. I'm blind. <laughs> so, from a very competitive Minimax to... We're going to get a competitive Junior Rotax. Let's see. I see uh, I'm on the track right now. Let's see what we can get from these uh, Juniors. Benjamin Bartlett out there, Daniel Troy, Leo Purchase. Let's see what we can achieve. When I say we, I mean them. So, coming up to the top bend to put themselves all into formation. In two rows, as per usual. Get them to slow down as they come towards the main straight and straight out with the Back round you go. Here we go around the clay pigeon track, the clay pigeon track, the clay pigeon track. Someone has spun just a bit these eyes. Don't know why I'm singing. <laughs> there you get nursery rhymes at clay. <laughs> oh, I need to sit down after that, Minnie Max. <laughs> Right, so here we go. Attempt number two for the Junior Rotax Heat number one. Well, 
What are we going to get, ladies and gentlemen? So, coming at the top bend. Let's go for the Junior Rotax heat number one of round two. Uh, as the green flag, uh, well, my green flag goes out. As they go on through, uh, one driver's already spun at the start there, putting them back to the, uh, well, to the back. As the number 71 is out ahead so far, that driver that did spin out at the start was the number 44, Benjamin Bartlett. Uh, losing out there, he did start at the start of this race as well. He was uh, right at the front. So, top Ben, let's get your order for you, ladies and gentlemen. Coming down the main straight, here we are. So, it is Leo Purchase, followed by Daniel Tribe, then Charles Green. That is your top three, Finn Smith. Uh, making up three positions on that first lap into fourth position. Archie Lyons also making up four positions as well. Uh, so, some great driving from those drivers so far at the start of this race. Very competitive already. The number 71 followed by the 61. 77 and 19. That top four breaking away from the pack already. As they come down the main straight to provide you with lap number two of this race. Leo with a uh, just over half a second gap so far. Uh, ahead of Daniel Tribe, Charles Green and Finn Smith. Finn Catching up in his usual ways as always. Uh, speeding on through to catch up. He has done pretty well on that lap to uh, gain a bit of time. Also setting the fast lap time so far with 34.70 of this heat. Will he be able to claim that till the end? We shall find out. Uh, Kate Baker on uh, the YouTube live stream says, Well done, Fred. Love, Mum. Mrs. Baker. I see that you're watching on the YouTube live streams. Definitely, if you do want to support any of the drivers, feel free to pop it into the YouTube comments. As I say that, Finn Smith down the inside at the horseshoe. Uh, jumping into third position and uh, getting as high as he can so far. So Finn up into third with a very quick move there. Coming down and towards Billy's now. Leo purchase followed by... Down a tribe, then Finn Smith, then Charles Green. Uh, the number 88 of Callum Gosh in fifth position at the moment. Uh, just hanging on in there for himself as uh, all the drivers are down at the hairpin now. Still speeding on a three. A lot of changes going on at the uh, hairpin as well. Uh, sorry, the horseshoe. I'll get that right one day. So there's your top four going into Billy's now, and then the rest of the drivers flying on through. Uh, but at the moment, still Leo Purchase in the lead. Finn on that lap as well, whilst I was looking at the mid pack, uh, flying up into second position, already on a major charge towards uh, Leo Purchase in th that first position slot so far. Uh, so all the result, uh, all the changes are up on the screen if you're watching on the YouTube. Clay Pigeon Kart Club uh, on YouTube, by the way. Down the main straight. Here's your top four. Third and fourth, Daniel Tribe and Charles Green close together. Uh, closing up a little bit there. Uh, just coming into the... Uh, out of the S's and in towards the hairpin. Uh, yellow flags at Billy's with a spin by one of the drivers. Uh, that is the number 13 of uh, Saul Kornberg. Early in this race as well, we've got a contact warning for Alexander Senna as well. So that was issued earlier. Uh, but let's continue on, uh, see where Finn Smith is so far. And he's still in that second position, charging towards uh, Mr. P in the car number 71. Leo Purchase, that is. No idea why I said it like that. So, top bend uh, past the Ukrainian flag and down towards the main straight. And down the main straight is the number 71. Uh, Leo still with a over half a second lead on Finn Smith at this current time. 
Uh, Ollie Stevens is uh, fast so far, and that was a bit of a thing that happened there. Uh, not sure if he lost brakes or something there, but uh, the number. And we have a red flag, ladies and gentlemen. Red flag. Uh, so we will shall stop just momentarily. That was a bit of a shunt there uh, for that one. So. Yeah, so red flags there. Uh, one of the drivers uh, losing it just coming out of the... Uh, just down the main straight, unfortunately. Uh, won't be on camera uh, for obvious reasons. He's just out of view anyway. Uh, so hopefully he'll be okay, but uh, not sure what happened there. That's why I said I think he might have lost brakes. There was no slowing down on that car. First red flag of 2022. Not a proud thing, but... Uh, don't worry, I can show these camera angles because uh, the incident is uh, quite off uh, away from the current incident that is on circuit. Uh, obviously, they're just uh, making sure that he's okay. Uh, just with the bit of a shunt that he had uh, coming into the container area. But uh, visually just seeing the driver looks okay, um, just for everybody who is watching at home. Uh, whilst we have this red flag, uh, those that are viewing at home, if you do want to uh, help us raise some money towards Ukraine, we have a link in the description uh, of this YouTube live stream uh, just to uh, help Ukraine in their current crisis. Um, so if you do have any change, please feel free to donate. We are uh, doing that all together. Uh, all the drivers just being taken out of their cars so far and uh, put together. So we will uh, see you. Someone look at what's going on. Uh, Darren having a little ta talk with the drivers. I'm not good at lip, lip syncing, so uh, <laughs> I can't hear what's going on. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, if you do have any spare change, uh, we are raising money towards Ukraine, hence why we have the Ukrainian flag out on the circuit, uh, just to help them in their uh, current need. Because um, between last round and this round, uh, a lot has happened. That is a lot that has happened. Hopefully you're all doing well on fuel, by the way. Um, I, I had to untune my car <laughs> so I can get a good enough fuel to last me. Prices are just shot up. Saw a joke on Facebook and said someone uh, topping up with £10 worth of fuel and they said, where are they going to post uh, to uh, pump four? <laughs> Expensive. Uh, but just for the viewers at home, just to double say, driver is okay. He is out of the car now, uh, and uh, doing all right. So uh, we might be underway very shortly, so uh, just bear with. There we go, all the drivers uh, back to restart this race. Hopefully that driver is okay.
Again, like I said earlier, the uh, I was able to still show all those angles just where the incident was well off camera. So let's get rid of that red flag on the top left of the screen and bring back the Ukrainian flag. Uh, all the drivers sent back into the pit lane. Uh, Reza saying, uh, go on Leo, you can blitz this. Um, fortunately, you have missed a red flag. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Leo, uh, he was ahead uh, at the time. He did set a purple sector one as well, so he did well on that one. But uh, not sure what's happening right now, but... Uh, for everybody at home, driver is okay, and uh, we'll see what happens very shortly. So I don't know if anybody heard that little notification ding. If you did, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, just confirmed with the timekeeper uh, of Simon Whitty that race is uh, over on that one. So uh, if I show the alpha results, uh, that is the finishing order there uh, for that race. So Leo Purchase followed by Finn Smith, then Daniel Tribe in third. That was your top three. Uh, Faster lap there going to Ollie Stevens, uh, who finished in fifth. So that's just to confirm everyone, that is the end of that race uh, for the juniors. Uh, and uh, once again, to confirm uh, that driver was okay. And uh, Archie Buttle uh, finishing in 11th. Right, so after that one, uh, we'll go to FP4 uh, to see what they can do. Uh, it's always horrible to see red flags here at the circuit. Um, but we shall move on and go to something noisier. So, ladies and gentlemen, just after that uh, red flag period, uh, just to confirm that was the end of the Junior Rotax race there. Uh, and also that driver is uh, was okay, um, which is great. So hopefully you'll be uh, all okay, buddy, uh, from up here in the commentary box. But uh, let's move on, ladies and gentlemen, to FP Noisy 4. I'm only joking. To the FP4 World Formulas. Uh, let's see what they can do uh, in this one. And by the looks of it, it's going to be a grid start. Is it a grid start? Oh, I do love my grid starts. I'm a bit of a sucker for a grid start. <laughs> I, I am a sucker for a grid start. 
Hmm. What do I pick for the stocks? God, I love grid stocks. You see why I like Formula One and all that when they do grid stars. Oh. So, uh, this is a grid start. Try not to go over the Tannoy too much at the moment, just while they're putting out some announcements uh, for the Tannoy. I'm going to stand up. Let's stand up. <laughs> Get ready for the noise. Right, so... Let's get this one ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Grid starts for the FP4s. And here we are. We are off for the FP4s in their standing start. As we are going nearly three wide, coming into Billy's for some of the drivers. As we go into the top bend, let's see who we get and who goes where. Who is going to be out on top? It is going to be... I don't know why I did that in a little tune. Uh, it's the number 56, followed by... I think that might be the number 15. There's a bit of a scratchy uh, number on the side of his car there. He's had some rubbing in the past. Coming around the hair... The horseshoe... <laughs> Towards Buttons, uh, a massive train of the uh, world formulas out there. But let's get your order for your... I'm not going to do the full 26, but we'll get your top... F so let's go for six, shall we? So, in the lead is number 56, followed by 15, then 77 of Chris Goodwin, then Jack Teague in cart number 63, then Jamie Trailer in cart number 9, then Alan... In cart number 8 in sixth. There we go. <laughs> that is your... Uh... Ooh, must be out to be up for repairs. Uh, one off in the tie wall at Billy's, having a spin. Uh, looks like he's currently stuck in the tie wall, but... Uh, gotta love a tie wall. <laughs> gotta love a tie wall. Currently fast enough is uh, Michael Marison in 16th position, making up eight places from the start. A uh, very good start there from the novice, uh, doing a 47.84. Uh, but at the moment, it is Matt Costin in front of the number 77 of Chris Goodwin. Um, currently, there. Currently, Billy's is a no overtaking zone, so uh, all the drivers having to go past uh, in a line, as always. But uh, at the moment, that top three there is uh, only second and third, really, at the moment, who are in for uh, somewhat of a change between the two. Uh, as that uh, back driver of Nathan Lee, I think it was the one that was at the back there, uh, being able to get back out of the tire one back into the race. But down the main straight will be your top three currently, an unchanged top three by the looks of it, but the number nine trying to look down on the inside of uh, Chris Goodwin, and uh, coming in side by side at the start. Also a couple of the other drivers, uh, all the other drivers even, uh, coming through, uh, unchanged by all of them. They're all sticking behind one another. Through the S's, using those curves beautifully there by the number 97 of Elliot Coles. Uh, hopefully I'm saying correct positions. <laughs> Anybody in the World Formula area, if you do want to support your drivers on the YouTube live stream, we are live. We've been live for quite a few hours now. Uh, but if you do want to support any of your drivers, that includes all the other classes, feel free to pop into the YouTube live stream and I'll oh, sure to read them out. Uh, Olindo Venturi, cut number 49, made two laps up. Uh, two laps up, there it is. Uh, two places up, last lap. Uh, but at the moment, it is that number nine of Jamie Trailer who's uh, really trying to push out as he goes on the inside. Tries to stick it in, trying to stay on that inside line to get ahead, and as such has done it very perfectly there. Uh, very twitchy, but very beautifully run through. Uh, getting your order back up on the screen for you if you are watching at home. Down the top bend and down the main straight comes your top three. Fourth position coming, uh, creeping along as well. Uh, fifth is joining the party. 
but it's that number nine who's really looking into it trying to look in for that inside line so far sticking right on the inside of Billy's and slipping through towards the S's shutting off the number 56 from any sort of uh, bounce back to that first place and that's uh, going up one position so that number nine of Jamie Trailer shooting up into the lead and uh, that number 56 of Mass Cost, uh, Costin already uh, going to be costing another lap, uh, another position. God, that was terrible. Uh, going into uh, the potential of third, Chris Goodwin uh, right behind uh, that driver. So coming down the main straight, the number nine looking back to see where uh, the other drivers are as he's uh, already got an over half a second gap uh, on the others. Chris Goodwin sticking out in third, trying to catch up back up with Matt Costin. Uh, Orlando uh, Olindo Venturi in cut number 49 uh, coming to join the party as well uh, currently your fastest lap is still with uh, is now with Sam Mee in cut number 68 uh, in 12th position at the moment so uh, charging on to make a few positions uh, number 35 there got the number 29 right behind some uh, nice moves being made there between those few drivers but coming down the main straight now let's see here we get coming down so your number 9 ahead by uh, 1.66 seconds Matt Costin has uh, got a bit of time to make back up again Jack Teague up two positions that lap uh, the number 63 going into third uh, with a 42.80 lap time as well I mentioned that one uh, Sam Lee up into 11th uh, still holding the fastest lap time of this race so far so we're still flying on through this one. Let's see where else we go. We still have over two minutes left on this clock uh, for this race. And that lead for the number nine has uh, incredibly got bigger uh, visually and physically. The number 29. Well, that was a very uh, switch move there. He, uh, he lost control of that car. <laughs> oh, I was quite surprised what I saw there. Uh, but anyway... Uh, the number 77 has the rest of the pack now joining in. Uh, Chris Goodwin uh, currently sitting in fourth position. Uh, but yeah, that was a really... They're really catching up now. So the number nine is uh, still up ahead by 2.87 seconds. So uh, he, something major has to happen for him. But Matt Costin's still sticking up in the top three at the moment. Uh, we'll be back with the number nine later on. Uh, towards the end of this race, but let's see what the rest of the pack can do as it is nearly enough three wide coming down the main straight That third guy bailing out uh, obvious reasons three wide it's not great on this track uh, A lot of drivers have learned that in the past and I've uh, witnessed a few of those myself three wide does not work sometimes Don't take my word for it uh, <laughs> So anyway, so the number 56, Matt Costin, still ahead. Has the number 77 of Chris Goodwin uh, there. Sam Mee making up two positions, flying up the order. Uh, still in, uh, well, in eighth position. Fastest lap is actually now to Jamie Trailer, who's uh, just gone over the line there, uh, setting a 41.63. So it's uh, speeding up for himself. His gap is over five seconds now. So. Uh, Matt Costin really just needs to hold out for second position as the number 29 using the sausage curb as an overtaken area. That's uh, unique. Uh, but riding the sausage to get up into third and uh, claiming that third position, the number 63, uh, sorry, the number 29, sorry, uh, Michael Marison. I'll get the names right one day. Sammy claiming the fast lap again up into seventh position now. So Sammy making up quite a few positions as... Uh, Jamie Trailer just goes over line with just over six seconds uh, on the clock. So we still have this one and another lap to go as the rest of the pack fly on through. Michael, Mar uh, Michael Marison making up two positions, like I said, on that lap. Nearly a six second gap between first and second. But will Matt still have second? Down the inside goes the number 29. And Michael... Marison takes up one, uh, both going side by side quite wide, so I'm not sure what was going on there between the two. But anyway, back to our leader of this race, uh, just managing to stick it out for the last lap. We'll be in the number nine, for some reason I thought it was the checkered flag. Uh, my brain is working, I think. 
So last lap time, Jamie Trailer ahead, Michael Marison uh, in second, Matt Costin still in third, but this race has cost him a few laps, using his surname as a pun. Sorry, <laughs> Jack Teague in fourth position, making up a place there, Chris Goodwin losing a few, Sam Me up into sixth. But every time I look at that name, it's uh, made a few positions or maybe even more. Uh, down the inside goes 63, number 56, getting, losing a few positions there, but taking the checker flag anyway will be the number nine of Jamie Trailer. And let's see where this order changes up. Uh, Matt Costin has lost quite a few positions on that lap. Holding up the rest of the pack, it's too wide, coming down, locking out any further positions. And uh, Matt Costin down in sixth. So your top three for the end of this race was Jamie Trailer in first position, followed by Michael Marison, uh, seven, over seven and a half seconds later, by the way. Uh, then Jack Teague in cart number 63 into third. And Sam Mee up into fifth. Flying up the order this race. So well done to those drivers. And uh, we will see them later on. And they'll be the next. Well, the next their next race will be race number twelve. Uh, but we're already four heats in. Still plenty of time, and still plenty of time left to go. We've been streaming for an hour and a half, so if you don't want to keep me any company, up in the commentary box, the YouTube channel, Clay Pigeon Cart Club. We're live over there. We'll be live for the rest of the day. Uh, whilst we're here, also. Uh, we are some raising money uh, or gathering money uh, for Ukraine. Uh, if you want to check it out in main reception, uh, if you do want to donate as little or as much as you like, uh, we'll be uh, putting all that money together and uh, donating it to the DEC just to help Ukraine. So next up after the FP4s will be the Junior Blues. Uh, they'll be out very shortly. Ellis Snow to Reza. Hi, Reza. I'm going to read out your conversation. I won't read out your conversation, don't worry. <laughs> There's my mouse gone. There it is. So how's everybody doing in the YouTube comments? Hope you're all having a great day so far. We're just waiting for a recovery at the moment, so uh, please bear with, please bear with. That just reminds me of the show Miranda. That's a very random thing to say, but yeah. Very random. I am random. <laughs> I bet you the, uh, I bet you the uh, timekeeper will say something about that. You watch me get a message in a minute. Hint, hint. Jack Goring. Reza! <laughs> Jack's still watching. Hi, Jack. I spy with my little eye. Something good with the F. A fly. I'm a pet fly for the day. <laughs> I am speaking random. Anybody's interested in the music that we uh, have here on the About section of the YouTube channel? Uh, link to Epidemic Sounds. That is uh, the company that we use to license our music for the live streams. So if you do want to check out any of the tunes that they do here, uh, feel free to pop in and uh, have a look at them. Because for obvious reasons, you can't use music that you hear on the charts. <laughs> I guess expensive. So I can hear some radio now downstairs, so I think they're just waiting on a few bits. But uh, otherwise, uh, we should be underway shortly. Mm -hmm. 
So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Junior Blues are out next for their first heat of the day. Mine went blank for a second. So let's see what we can get from these drivers. Um, Junior Blues earlier. There's only seven of them. But seven nevertheless. It's going to be... Hopefully a bit competitive. They're a bit spread out at the moment, uh, but we shall see what these can all do uh, very shortly. As they go up to the top bend to get gathered. Like I said, only seven of them. So uh, what can we get from these guys? As uh, they go back round again, so uh, try and reform format themselves. So we've got Reese Reed, Sam Mitchell out there, Mitchell Carpenter, Ben Gillett, Jamie Dart, Jamie Bradfield, two Jamies, uh, Rudy Winslow Morton out there as well. So let's see what they can do. So I heard a laugh on the tannoy. <laughs> So, down the main straight, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we can get from the Junior Blues as they come down for their start. Let's go ahead, see what we get. Drivers two wide so far. Two down, one down the inside, another one making a brave dart as well. The number 66 ahead of the number four. Number four losing quite a few places at the start of that race. Uh, Jamie Dart, that was. Uh, he's also losing another place, going down into fourth. Still all together, though. Not the best start for that driver, but still plenty of time to go through. As uh, We've only just started this race. Going up towards the top bend. Let's get your order for you all right now. It's going down the main straight. A spin by the third position driver. Uh, so it's cart two, followed by Sam Mitchell. Then Mitchell Carpenter, then Jamie Dart, Ben Gillett, Rudy Winslow Morton. Uh, in sixth, and it was Jamie Bradfield in the number 66 who had a whopping start, uh, unfortunately, uh, just losing it there at the exit of the top bend. But nevertheless, there is time to try and get back in this race, but uh, unfortunately, it's just staying in this race at this point. But nevertheless, let's keep on going. First and second are together, and then the other four. Ah, uh, together. So you got Reese Reed followed by Sam Mitchell. Press the wrong button. I keep doing that today. Alex, stop it. Mitchell Carpenter in third position, and we've got Ben Gillett out there as well uh, in fourth position, making up a spot. And then Jamie Dart in fifth. And uh, just by looking at it, Jamie Bradfield just popping into the pits there. Uh, Realising that his race is over uh, pretty much already. So we keep flying on through. Reese Reed still ahead by over six tenths, tenths of a second. I can hear the timekeeper, so... Oi! <laughs> the timekeeper started playing Pen Pineapple Apple Pen. <laughs> I could just hear the tune in the background. <laughs> I have a pen, I have a pineapple. Oh dear. Not too much time. I really hope, I really do hope that the microphone picked up the tune in the background. If it didn't,
Right. So let's get your uh, somewhat near enough mid race update. As I was distracted by the timekeeper playing pen pineapple pineapple pen. Um, let's get your order for yourselves. <laughs> A few people did look at me then. Uh, so car two still in the lead, followed by Sam Mitchell. Then we have cart number five, Mitchell Carpenter in third position, followed by Ben Gillett. Uh, and then we have cart number four of Jamie Dart, followed by Rudy Winslow Morton, not too far behind. Uh, and unfortunately losing uh, Jamie Bradfield during this race uh, so far. So very spread out at the moment. Packs are two, as I like to uh, say quite often during these live streams and events. So Reese Reed with a one and a half second gap so far to Sam Mitchell. Uh, Mitchell Carpenter is then seven seconds behind uh, Mr. Mitchell. So like I said, very evenly spread so far. And uh, not much action really to announce. It's uh, more close together between the four and six of Jamie Dart and Rudy uh, Winslow Morton trying to uh, try and creep up into fifth position uh, with only six carts out there on the track. Keep an eye on those two drivers at the back. Uh, meanwhile, mid-pack action. Uh, still a bit of a gap between uh, Mitchell Carpenter and Ben Gillett. But uh, Rudy is definitely flying up in time. Uh, gaining a few uh, hundreds uh, each lap uh, visually and on timing still very close between the two there uh, at the back as uh, Rudy's really trying to get up the uh, back end of Jamie Dart and uh, here comes your mid pack with third and fourth position uh, time is slowly creeping down for the gap wise Fast lap so far is by Reese Reed of a 35.97. Uh, times has got a little bit slower there. And Rudy trying to look around the outside at the back there. Will she be going down the inside? Let's have a look. Uh, still sticking it behind at the S's. So attempt number one, I would say, on the moves uh, counter. Around the hairpin and towards the horseshoe. Getting a little bit of a better exit. Still behind at the moment. The number four doing uh, as best as... Uh, he can to defend just over a minute and 40 seconds to go on the clock coming down the main straight is your back two uh, of the number four and number six will Rudy try again uh, down the inside got a better corner and uh, up into fifth position Rudy goes uh, the number four going a little bit too wide coming into Billy's Meanwhile, Reese Reed still out up ahead, nearly by two seconds, uh, just under. Uh, Sam Mitchell trying to catch as best as he can, but uh, Reese Reed is just a bit too fast for him. Uh, Mitchell Carpenter still up ahead at the moment of Ben Gillett, uh, and uh, we'll get your update for Jamie Dart and Rudy Winslow Morton as uh, Rudy goes up the order. We'll see if uh, anything changes between them, but it is starting to get closer between Mitchell and Ben Gillett. Ben Gillett just at the back there in the number 33 going around the hairpin towards uh, Buttons now. Reese still out up ahead as we continue forward. But uh, the number 33 trying to catch as best as uh, he can to uh, Mitchell Carpenter. Try and get that third position as we go around Billy's. And uh, through the S's. Not using any curb, the number five. Uh, meanwhile, the 33 does. Uh, very different lines between the two drivers. Around the hairpin and uh, still behind one another in towards and through buttons as well now. Uh, <laughs> Reese Reed with nearly a three second lead now. So first and second is pretty much already confirmed. It's that third position that we'll be questioning very shortly. Uh, Mitchell Carpenter has that Ben Gillett right behind now. Meanwhile, Rudy is still up in the fifth position. Jamie Dart 
Trying to catch up. The number five not getting a really great exit coming out of the ESs. Ben get it really trying his best to stay behind and try and get it sticking behind uh, the number five. Again, 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 a little bit of a different exit, uh, which nearly almost seemed like it was a better exit, but we shall see. Top end. Those two drivers, the number 33 right behind again. Let's see what sort of lines they take coming into three billies. So, three billies they go. Number 33 with a little bit behind now. Again, the 33 using curb. Uh, the number five doesn't. So, again, like I said uh, earlier, very interesting. By the way, last lap, uh, which means uh, check a flag for the number two. Uh, getting carried the way there. <laughs> uh, Reese Reed winning this one. So, there's only a few corners for uh, the number 33. Top bend, and by the looks of it, it's going to be a fourth position for Ben Gillett. So, taking that third position will be the number five of uh, Mitchell Carpenter. And let's see how this last lap battle goes between Rudy and Jamie. They are getting closer to each other again. Top bend, just the sh long straight to go. And it will be Rudy Winslow Morton who will be taking fifth position, followed by Jamie Dart in sixth. Right, so now that the Junior Blues are back into the pits, it'll be time for the Senior Rotax very shortly. Uh, let's see what sort of... Uh, what sort of interesting stuff comes from them. Right, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what the senior Rotax can do for their first heat today. Uh, it was a, a fairly competitive uh, heat to begin with, with times. Uh, so just going through buttons at the moment. Uh, if you do want to catch or support any of these drivers whilst they're out there, YouTube live stream, Clay Pitch and Car Club on YouTube. Been live for just over an hour and 47 minutes. Time just flies when you're having fun. That's what people say. There we go. Senior Rotax coming slowly down the main straight. What sort of stuff are we going to get from these as they come right over the line? 11 getting a great jump there uh, at the start. Uh, Magic Camara there. Everybody still on the tarmac at the moment on the grey stuff, not the green stuff. The number 88. Cameron Crockett up into second already making a move down the inside. Uh, didn't stick out just yet by the looks of things. And then around the horseshoe towards buttons. We'll get your order just in a moment's time. And coming down the main straights. So it's Magic Mera followed by Cameron Crockett, Benjamin Ballou in third position, George Walker in kind of a 39 in fourth. Uh, but that could all change as a lot of drivers dying down the inside. The. Uh, Number 95 of Callum Davies uh, making a brave follow through. Uh, going through to that one. Number 11, 88, and 37. Bertie Wells Lee Cart, number 48, in seventh. Uh, has some support. Go, go, go. Bertie Wells Lee, number 48, at Racing Perfection. But it is currently Magic Camara who is out ahead of that number 37, Benjamin Bali. Uh, Cameron Crockett leaves in a position uh, during that lap as well. So 
three buttons and three towards the top bend. Let's see any other changes. A little bit of contact made just in the background there. Uh, trying to go through to the top bend. There's Magic Mera still out ahead. Benjamin Ballou, Cameron Crockett still just hanging in there at third. Uh, a strong start, but falling down a few places in this one. Going around the hairpin. Nearly trying to make him stick it in the inside. Uh, didn't work just so far just yet. Uh, Benjamin Ballou having just a little bit of a better uh, defensive line to stick there. But the gap between third and fourth last lap was over two seconds, so this still could change uh, as your split packs come on through. Cameron Crockett with the fastest lap of a 33.63. Uh, only three hundredths quicker than the other drivers out there on the circuits. Uh, you will line up is on the screen now if you're watching at home live. Through buttons and through towards the top bend. Timekeeper going crazy, putting uh, pen pineapple on apple pen. Hopefully he's all right down there. <laughs> uh, but it's Magic Amera followed by Benjamin Ballou and Cameron Crockett. They're still all sticking behind one another. Down the back straight, the number 72 and the 95. Uh, Harrison Crook and Callum Davies. Uh, Callum Davies making a few positions and so does, by the looks of it, his uh, teammate, the number 90. Uh, ben Page, uh, I believe that is. Yes, it is. Ben Page uh, making up a few spots as well. But uh, that gap, Magic Camara making a bit of a gap now. Uh, Cameron Crockett on the line, just going up ahead. They're side by side at Billy's at the moment. Uh, through to the S's. Still, still Cameron Crockett is uh, back in, down into third again. So those two drivers are battling it out between one another. Meanwhile, the number 95 and 90. Uh, the two teammates trying to charge with one another. Uh, they're on the back end of that number 72 of Harrison Crook going through buttons Top bend just over four minutes to go Cameron Crockett still right up the back end of Benjamin Ballou Harrison Crook uh, in fourth position still uh, No, he's not he's uh, lost a few positions as the number 95 and 90 make up a place at the exit of the S's uh, some very great overtaking by the two drivers. The 90 following his teammate as best as he can. And uh, it seems like it's working so far. As they go around the hair, uh, horseshoe and towards and through buttons. Uh, the two drivers now charging on to that third position. Where Benjamin Ballou and Cameron Crockett are battling with each other. As we go down through the S's, those two drivers. Uh, the 90s of uh, 95 and 90. Callum and Ben charging down the back straight with each other. The number 72 trying to keep up with them. Uh, they're both charging away. Still fighting through this one. Top bend. Magic Camaro still with that lead. Nearly a second. Followed by Cameron Crockett. He's made it back up in second position. Uh, he still holds the fastest lap of this race. The 33 6 3 Round through the S's and down the back straight. Meanwhile, it looks like the number 90 had a little bit of a hiccup at the S's. Uh, sorry, at the uh, at Billy's. There we go, get the right name. And uh, losing a position there, but uh, we'll see how he can get back up again. Ben Page there. Uh, we lost Ben Ficchetti in this race as well. We uh, lost him three laps ago. Uh, one of the novices of uh, today. Just keep charging through. Number 90 trying to claim that position back again. He's down the inside of Billy's. Will he be able to stick it in the inside? And he does indeed. A little bit of a love tap from behind by that number 72. And uh, the number 90 trying to catch up back with his teammates of the number 95. I believe that is teammates. No, it's not teammates, is it? Am I? I'm going mental now. Ben Page with a contact warning. Yes, I think I am talking a load of rubbish. They look so familiar. And I feel like I've just been an absolute idiot now saying all that. <laughs> That's the Alan Cole. 
They look so familiar in, from a distance. Right, let's continue on. Uh, I am incorrect. <laughs> the number 95 uh, is the one with the LN cart. They just look so familiar from a large distance. But anyway, carrying on. Uh, your top three still Magic Camera, Cameron Crockett, then Benjamin Baloo. Through the S's. Around the hairpin uh, go your top three. Then the number 95, followed by 90 of Ben Page. Thirty-five seconds still to go. Cameron Crockett on the charge to catch up with Masha Camaro, who's been uh, comfortably in the lead for quite a few laps now. Cameron on the charge. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, meanwhile, the Ellen Cart of the number ninety-five, uh, Callum Davies, going around uh, with. Ben Page in the 90 behind. I'm just making sure I triple check before I say anything. So it's just over the line they went uh, for uh, to push an additional lap in this race. Uh, so that's an additional lap for Cameron Crockett to try and catch back up. Uh, well, catch up with uh, Magic Camara as they go around the, the uh, horseshoe towards buttons and through to the top bend. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be leading on to our last lap very shortly as the number 11 looks behind. And here we go. Last lap is out. So one last lap for Cameron Crockett to try and claim that first position or will Magic Camara just be able to hold it in uh, into place? We shall find out. Benjamin Ballou in third position, comfortably there uh, with... Uh, Number 95 and 90 still behind. The 90 looks like he's trying to catch up with that LN cart. It does look quite nice. I'm not going to lie. I'm very biased. Coming down. Top bend. Taking the checkered flag. Cameron Crockett was unable to do it. Magic Amera. First position. Like I say, Cameron Crockett. Then followed by Benjamin Ballou. And then Callum Davies and Ben Page. Very close there at the end of that one. So that is your senior road tax heat number one completed. Uh, very spread out at the end. But uh, now that we're done with the senior road tax, it will be time for the senior blues. So yes, I was very incorrect on that heat. Uh, I thought there were two TKRs, but uh, sorry TKR if you uh, are watching or do end up watching this. Uh, yeah, it was an LN car. I do like him. I am very. I do like him. Oh, senior blue. That's a bit grim. See, if you don't watch these, you do miss out on a bit of extra commentary. <laughs> So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Senior Blues to fly out onto the grid next. Let's see how we can get with all of these drivers as they fly out onto the track. Number 64 at the back there. We have a total of 19 drivers. Let's see what we can get from the Senior Blues in their first heat. This is the seventh race of 32. So let's see what we can get, ladies and gentlemen. Who's ready? Who is ready to watch this one? Because uh, this one could be, again, another competitive one between all of the drivers. As they're going through uh, buttons to the top bend. With a fancy transition. Uh, let's see what we get. They're coming down the main straight now for you, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to start the Senior Blues. As they flying out through to Buttons and round, uh, sorry, but they're Buttons? Billies! There we go. Uh, three Billies, three the S's, and it is the number 70, uh, sorry, the number 16 that's out ahead, which is Ron Schoen. 
uh, first time mentioning his name today. Uh, and, oh, and a spin from one of the drivers on the inside, catching another one out of the way. The man with a very neon orange helmet there. Oh, you're gonna, you'll probably see that from a mile away. Let's see what we get as they come towards the top end and down the main straight. Let's get your running order for the first few. It will be the cart number 14 out ahead, followed by five of Paul Alexander. Then Ron Schoen and the contact there just at the start of the S's. I don't know if the two carts collided, uh, causing one of them to shunt wide. Uh, that changes a lot of stuff because that means your running order is incorrect. Uh, but let's carry on. Let's uh, see what we get. Uh, two drivers are okay. The number 95 uh, looks very bouncy at the rear there. Uh, so hopefully that's nothing to be... Well, hopefully nothing too serious. Uh, so coming down the main straight, you've got a cart number five. Followed by... So Paul Alexander followed by Ron Shane and Tom Parker. It looks like it was Sylvian Vessia and Phil Shears maybe? We'll find out very shortly. Uh, as uh, the order just drops right now, as uh, they get everything sorted. Let's get back to your top running few, though. Uh, running order is on the screen if you're watching live on YouTube uh, or in in the cafe. we not mentioning the cafe today. Uh, so hello, everybody in the cafe. Uh, but if you are watching up there, uh, you can see what's going on on track without having to get out of your seat. So Paul Alexander followed by Ron Shane, then Tom Parker, then Anthony Cleal. Steve Groves is out there as well. Uh, Chris Underhill in sixth. First time I mentioned his name today. Michael Bell as well. That nearly rhymed. As uh, we have Sylvia Vessia and Phil Shears out of this race. So they're the two uh, that had that incident just out of the kink of uh, the straight. So down the main straight comes your leader of Paul Alexander, uh, currently with a uh, over, uh, just under three second gap. Uh, Ron Schoen losing a few places there. Tom Parker up into second. Anthony Cleal up into third. Uh, just coming through the S's. The number 16 uh, of Ron Schoen. There he is in fourth. The number 19 coming out of the S's. Uh, Steve Groves. Uh, Groves? Groves? Groovy. Uh, sorry. As we keep flying on through. Don't forget, if you do want to support any of the drivers out there, or give some company to anybody in the chat of the YouTube, make sure to comment away uh, in there, and I'll be reading them out throughout the day. Which, by the way, is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. So, Cart 5 still ahead of the number 15. Then we have the number 1. Of Anthony Cleal in third position at the moment. Uh, just coming down the main straight now for you all. Uh, to pop out into lap number six of this eight minutes plus a lap heat. Number 64 followed by the 12 uh, near the back there. Uh, that's Alex Kemp and uh, Rob Mortimer in 14th and 15th respectively. But what a race we are having so far. So Paul Alexander in first, followed by Tom Parker, then Anthony Cleo, Ron Schoen is in fourth position so far in cart number 16. Steve Groves in cart number 19 in fifth. Uh, Michael Bell in sixth. Joey Foster uh, is made two places up last lap, uh, getting up into uh, seventh there. Kevin O'Neill uh, there as well. Martin Wheeler making up a few spaces as well that lap. And the 90 and 93 have, uh, sorry, the 90 and 30 are uh, having a uh, bit of a battle there. I'm uh, reading a few numbers wrong. About three minutes to go. Let's see what we have. As it's getting rather warm here at Clay Pigeon. I might have to crack open a window. Maybe I'll be able to hear the carts. <laughs> 
So, let's see what we get. It looks like the uh, one of the bat markers already being shown. The blue flags. Uh, first appearance of the blue flags today. That I've noticed anyway. Uh, as we keep flying through. Number 12. Uh, just at the back there. Making a spot up into 14th position. Uh, always... Uh, I'll always try and mention some of the back markers and uh, a few of them uh, near the back. As uh, everyone's out there for a bit of fun. Paul Alexander and Tom Parker just popping over the line. They're very close together now between the two drivers. As uh, the number uh, number 21 shown the blue flags. Uh, just pointing them, please go to the right. <laughs> uh, very respectedly uh, getting out of the way of the two as they fly through as uh, it is a battle for first position for the two drivers. So flying up to the top bend and lapping a few of the drivers. Uh, Martin Wheeler is the fastest out there. Uh, well, got the fastest lap of a 36 dead for a lap time. So let's see what we get. Uh, still looking at through the orders. Uh, Anthony Cleal has lost a couple of spots uh, during that last lap to Michael Bell and Ron Schoen. Uh, so Ron making a few spots up to try and catch back up again. Paul uh, Paul Dibble uh, making up a spot as well. Last lap, just speaking of the devil, he's gone over the line. And here we are, your leaders just coming up, uh, well, coming down the main straight now. Uh, catching up with Alex Kemp, who is uh, currently running in at the 15th position of this race so far. Uh, also being shown a, uh, the number 64 being shown a uh, blue flag. Uh, as the leaders catch up very quickly. So uh, making them aware that it's... Uh, your leaders are catching up. <laughs> Couple of bits going on in the background. Let's see what we've got. So we've got the number 16 followed by 21, then the 95 looking around the outside for that inside line at buttons. And as such, does so uh, with uh, great success. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> I must have been thinking of a film. Uh, the number 64 now has the leaders right behind. Uh, Alex Kemp trying to hopefully keep out of the way of the two uh, as best as he can. I'm not sure if he's aware uh, of the two, but anyway, we'll keep flying through as uh, number five is right behind the number 64, which is the back marker. So this will be the last lap as well as uh, the number five gets past. The number 64, we're on the last lap of this race. Paul Alexander still ahead of the number 15. is currently stuck behind the number 64. Uh, 64 getting out of the way quite nicely there just at the end um, still still time to go yellow flags what's happened here there's a driver going slow number 5 and 15 together we've got a slow driver out there hopefully he can make it to the end uh, might have an issue that might not be resolvable number 32 the ladies and gentlemen coming down the main straight taking the win for heat number 1 it is Paul Alexander Followed by Tom Parker, then Michael Bell coming over the line in third position. And uh, the number 32 is Mike Watts, who was uh, chilling in 17th position. Uh, unfortunately, looks like we won't be able to take the checkered flag and uh, trying to take that one home to the pits. Some very good racing there from all the drivers. Martin Wheeler, like I said, he was quite quick. And uh, in the end, did actually manage to take it into fourth position. And still keeping that fast lap of a 36 dead. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the end of the Senior Blues for their first heat of the day. And then we'll be followed up with the 177 and 177 Masters with Draw very shortly.
So as we wait for view recoveries and I finish a mouthful of Pepsi Max, how's everyone doing at home? Hopefully you're all enjoying the racing that's happening today so far. Who are you guys supporting? And what are you up to as well? See if anybody's up to anything whilst uh, watching this. You're watching this in the background? I've already just read Jack's message. At 9.24 he sent me a message. Terrible at messages sometimes. It was at 9.30 to be fair and I was trying to sort out the stream. Sorry Jack! Oh, you spy with my little eye. <laughs> it's Archie Bustle and his dad. <laughs> I won't mention what he just showed to me. <laughs> Actually, he might have just sent it on the corner of the street. <laughs> just chilling out over there. They have no idea what I'm saying about them. I could be out saying absolutely anything. <laughs> so, let's get underway with the 177 and 177 masters uh, we just had a message on the YouTube live stream uh, from spanky Sam 85 uh, well done Paul Alexander from Sam and Devon two kisses <laughs> right let's see what the 177 and 177 masters can produce for their first heat of the day Let's see who is going to be where, trying to look out for our good friend Jewel, if he's out there, if he is out there. So let's see what the 177s and 177 masters can do as they come down the main straight. And it's so quickly as they came uh, very unexpectedly to myself. <laughs> Uh, coming around Billy's and through towards the S's, who's going to be ending up where? So, so far, the number 17 has got a bit of a lead on the 26 and 61. Ben Johnson currently chilling in third. The timekeeper has run away. He's gone to his car. I'm saying this because he can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think he, I don't know if he does watch back anyway. So, coming down the main straight now is your leader so far. It's that number 17 of Dan Mil uh, Milner, followed by Derek Hunt, Ben Johnson, James Webb up there uh, in that list as well. Jaws made up a place at the start. He's up into seventh. That's Jaws. And his uh, sc Scottish flag topped helmet. That's how you can spot Joe. Usually, he has his quite colourful wheels on. He's got bronze wheels on today. Change up in colour. So down the main straight, let's get another update on the order for you all. Uh, not, a I don't believe there's not much changes going on. Uh, ben Johnson is second position, James Webb third. Uh, but up ahead on the road is Dan Milner, fast lap time of the 34.88. So squint at the screen. Number 26 has the number 28 of Harry Rowett behind. Uh, and now in front, just as I mentioned it. Oh, and a bit of a shunt there from the driver behind. Uh, just at the top there. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't see who it was. Joe's just hanging in there. In 11th. Oh, dear. So it goes through the S's and down the back straight. It's got the number 23 behind. Uh, Ian Brown. As we keep flying on three. 
this race down the inside the 24. That was a very, uh, ooh, a, a very close move there. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> uh, getting a bit uh, sideways near enough there at the start of that one, but some uh, good overtake there. Uh, by, I believe it was Ty J Simmons and uh, Alex Heron uh, down there. Joe Worms is still hanging out in 12th position. Uh, down the inside goes third on second. James Ward making a brave move there. Uh, on the number 61 of Ben Johnson. Uh, that was a very uh, brave dart down there. And uh, managed to stick it up into second and now chasing down his driver uh, or his next target. Uh, Dan Milner, he's currently got a 1.38 second lead uh, on the second and third drivers. Let's see if that will stick throughout the day. As uh, we've got the numbers 28, 26 as well, 46 of Ian Branfield as well. Uh, try to stick it in as best as he can throughout this race. So, a bit further back at the horseshoe, the number 62. As Tito Simmons behind. We've lost Reese Llewellyn in this race. Tito Simmons given a contact warning as well last lap. Uh, only just send that one pop up onto the. Oh, I've only just loads. <laughs> Couple of changes from fourth downwards. Uh, there's a battle between. The number 48 and 20, uh, 46 and... Oh, I've lost my numbers. We'll see who it is in just a second <laughs> as they come down the main straight. Uh, it was the number 46 and 26. There we go. We got the numbers eventually. So we're going around through the S's and down the back straight. Number 46 on the back of Harry Rowett. Uh, trying his best to try and get up into that fourth position, uh, third, yeah, yeah, fourth position slot. Can't get all the numbers muddled up today. So down the main straight goes the number 17, followed by the 92 of James Webb, then Ben Johnson in third, Harry Rowitz there as well. Uh, with that. Ian Brownfield right behind, and also the 26 of Derek Hunt, uh, hunting down the driver in front through the horseshoe. Three buttons, and towards the top bend past, well, well first you've got to go past the uh, Ukrainian flag, down the main straight. We'll see what we get. Uh, Tycho Simmons giving another contact warning again. The number 24. We'll be careful. Don't want to get too many. Uh, don't want to get too many warnings out there because uh, see warnings do result in black flags if you are not careful. Don't want to get told off today. Oh, that was a dart down the inside from quite late back. That was uh, as they come through. I'll let you know very shortly. That was the number 45. A very very nice move there, uh, if I don't say so myself. Uh, very late lunge. Dan Milner still out ahead by under half a second now. James Webb, uh, James Webb and Ben Johnson really uh, making up time throughout these uh, last few laps. Uh, just under two minutes left on the clock as well as I uh, talk through this one. Meanwhile, a little bit further back, we have uh, Ian Branfield making up a position. Trying to catch up as best as he can, but he's uh, now got uh, third position of Ben Johnson to try and catch up with. Order is up on your screen if you do want to uh, catch it. Uh, your live order pops up every now and then on the YouTube live stream. Every now and then I see a head pop up in the window. So just over a minute to go. Dan Milner still out ahead. Just hanging in there. Followed by James Webb, then Ben Johnson. Ian Branfield up in, uh, is still in fourth position. 
Getting a bit of a gap and gaining a bit of time on the top three. Uh, top three is rather spread still, though, uh, from the rest of the grid. Down the inside goes third position. A little bit of a bump, though. Uh, the number 92 of James Webb not happy with that overtake. Uh, indeed, uh, was a bit of a late lunge. Uh, I'm sh see what happens at the end of this race. But Ben Johnson, number 61, up a position through the S's and down the back straight. Will there be a retaliation from the 92 of James Webb? We'll find out shortly. Uh, just try and get it back. To, uh, <clears throat> 11 seconds left to go as I lose my voice. Uh, through the horseshoe and towards buttons. And a mechanical flag given to the number 26 of Derek Hunt. Oh, he was running in uh, fifth position there. But here we go. Last lap. Will that number 92 of James Webb try and get that position back? We shall find out. He's only got this lap to do it in. Going down the back straight. He's going. Is he going to go for a late lunge? He's gone for a late lunge. A bit of contact made between the two. Uh, a bit understandable, though, from the uh, previous contact made. Around the hair, hairpin, uh, horseshoe even. Three to the top bend. Unfortunately, he's not going to get that position back by the looks of things. Uh, a very unfair advantage made, but taking the check flag. Dan Milner, followed by very questionable Ben Johnson, then James Webb taking third position there. And that is the end of all the first heats here today. So we're on to heats uh, number two. Uh, they'll be up very shortly uh, for the second load of heats. But yeah, that was uh, some... Bit touchy there from the number 61 of Ben Johnson uh, near the end. Derek Hunt did get given the mechanical flag, uh, but still finished out up in fifth position there. So we'll find out. And uh, Joe Wormsley finishing out in 14th. Ah, Joe. Well, let's see what happens later on uh, in their races. They'll be back in. Uh, race number 16. But next up, we're back with the Honda Cadets. Let's see how this one goes. Has Jack Maidman raced yet? Oh, God, you're questioning me on driver knowledge. What oh, very poor this. Let's see if he's racing today. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, seniors, I believe he has been out. Uh, you have missed all the first heats, uh, Jacob. Uh, so he'll be out in race 14. So we're just going on to race number 9 at the moment. Uh, but I believe he has done. There's a Rev and FP4. Damn. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the Honda Cadets to fly back out onto the grid. The sound of the Hondas. Prowling array with a very meaty FP4 Revan in the background. Has Donovan Dyer raced today? Uh, not sure. Uh, if you want to check out all the results, if you head over to the Kart Club's website, I believe all the results should be online. Uh, just to check, as uh, got the Honda Cadets popping out. Uh, so, don't have time to check, unfortunately, the Victor. Alright, so, during Heat 1, they uh, took three attempts to get started. Let's see if they'll be able to get started straight away. As they're, they're at the top bend right now. Let's see what we get from the Honda Cadets for their second heat of the day. It's the start of heat number two. They're three wide. Coming over the line already. So straight over. Three billies. 
Let's see, out of the uh, three wides, a lot of spinning going on at the top there. Through the S's and down the back straight, the number 22 is out ahead. It's a massive train going down the back there as it all splits off into twos to attempt some overtaking. There you go. If you want to check out the results, the uh, timekeeper has popped the link uh, in the chat there for you guys. So, top Ben, let's see who came out where with that three-wide start. Uh, results, uh, the uh, current lineup will be on the screens if you're watching in the cafe or any other area, including your house. Uh, so, finally, Till out ahead in front of Ethan Griffiths, followed by Ava Morris and Elliot Potter. That could all change, though, as it's three-wide going. So yes, someone's going cross-country. The number 17 having to make some ev uh, evaded action there. Uh, Elliot Potter... Uh, having a bouncy return to the track. Ooh. Yeah, three wide at the entrance of the S's. Like I was saying earlier, three wide does not work. Uh, <laughs> the Honda Cadets attempt it, though. Uh, it's always great to find... Uh, to get some uh, good action from these guys. And girls, obviously. Coming down the main straight, then. Ethan Griffiths followed by Riley Till, then Ava Morris and Jaden Mead, Elliot Potter, then Harry Farrell. Uh, Heat 1's winner, Bella Fairclough, down in 7th position at the moment. Uh, but down the back straight goes your leaders, uh, leaders at the current time. Bella Fairclough's in 7th, lost 2 player positions last uh, lap. Uh, order up on the screen if you're watching in locations unknown to myself. Could be in the cafe if you want. Or downstairs in reception. You never know. Could be anywhere. So down the main straight, let's see who we get. Uh, the top three still unchanged. It's Ethan Griffiths followed by uh, Riley Till, then Ava Morris. Uh, Jada Mead out in fourth. Elliot Potter in fifth. Harry Frell in sixth still. Uh, meanwhile, fourth and fifth are close together. The number 17 who went cross country a few laps ago. Uh, still sticking in to fifth. Uh, and looking into that fourth position as they go up to uh, through the horseshoe and hairpin. Not in that order, in a different order, but <laughs> still there. So back down the main straight for lap number four. It's upcoming now. Your top three still unchanged at the moment. Harry Farrell still in sixth. Uh, Better Fair Club still hanging on into seventh position. She was the winner of uh, heat number one. Uh, but at the moment, Ethan Griffiths is the one who's battling for that heat two win. Some moves trying to be uh, looked at. Going down the back straight for a couple of the drivers were too wide coming towards the horseshoe. That is the number 63. Better Fair Club trying to get up a few positions now. Uh, but down the main straight is your leaders, again, still unchanged by the looks of it. Uh, Ethan Griffith's still there, trying to stay, a, uh, stay ahead of the pack. Riley Till stuck behind. Uh, by the way, Ethan Griffiths with the fastest lap of a 40.70, so some good times hanging in there. As we still keep going, the number 17, Elliot Potter, stuck behind the... Driver Jaden Mead in fourth, so trying to get that a uh, trying to make a position up again after his cross country adventure uh, at the S's. It's a very bouncy place to be. I've done it before. Trust me. It's... So Ethan Griffiths, Riley Till, right behind though. Let's see how this plays out as they go through the uh, towards the S's, through the S's, and down the back straight. Uh, the number 17 still stuck behind Jada Mead ahead. So going around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. These drivers still sticking out. The number 32 of uh, Ava Morris uh, happily chilling in third at the moment. Not really got any threats from behind just yet. Riley Till uh, on the YouTube live stream getting a bit of a uh, shout out. Daniel, uh, Daniel Austin uh, saying, Riley, you're doing amazing. He is. He's battling for first at the moment. 
And as such, going into the hairpin, still stuck behind the leader of Ethan Griffiths. Getting around the horseshoe, still stuck behind number 32, closing that gap a little bit. Uh, as we go towards the top bend past the Ukraine flag. Going to mention Ukraine as much as possible. Uh, but down the main straight, let's get your running order up on the screen for you guys as well. Ethan Griffiths still in first, Riley Till right behind. Ethan Morris, then Jaden Mead uh, still has the number 17 of Elliot Cross Country Potter behind. I'm giving him a nickname now. Uh, <laughs> And then quite further back, better Fairclough up into sixth possession, uh, position. Travis Rose right behind as well. See how that plays out later on. We still have to just over two minutes left on the clock as we're going up into the top bend. And down the main straight come these drivers again. The number 44 just chilling a little bit further back than before. Uh, on previous laps and uh, the number 32 of Ava Morris still chilling in third position uh, your top five still pretty much unchanged but that can all change at any point as the number 17 still behind uh, we've got better fair clough and uh, sixth position still at the current time uh, with uh, Travis Rose right behind her but Buttons is the location where we are with our leaders at the moment. Uh, a little bit further back, uh, Finley Richardson is in 10th position. Jensen Walker in 11th. Max Lovell made a position up last lap, up into 12th. Ethan Griffiths still ahead. Still unchanged by the way, though. Elliot Potter is right on the back bumper. Uh, just over the line there. Uh, Harry Frell, Conrad Barton. Uh, they are very close together. Still got 45 seconds left on the clock from these drivers. The number 17 still behind. Top Ben now. <clears throat> 32 seconds left. So this is the penultimate lap of this race. Yep, second to last lap. To the top bend. The number 32 getting quite close now though to Riley Till. Through the S's and down towards the back straight. Will Riley be able to keep into that position so far? A move being made there. It was that by the 32. Was it all sort of going side by side? A little bit of contact made. Unintentional though by the looks of it. And uh, the number 44, Riley Till, unfortunately losing a position there. Uh, coming out of the hairpin. Number 32, Ava Morris really making up that position. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for... The last lap of this race, the number 99 of Ethan... Uh, 90, sorry. Uh, no, yeah, 99 of Ethan Griffiths uh, takes that one. And another move there by... Uh, another switch there, actually. Uh, the number 44 back up ahead of uh, Eva Morris for that one. As we keep an eye on those, uh, those four, really. Uh, as they go through towards the horseshoe. Eva going a little bit wide. The number 20... Ooh. Number 29 making a bit of a squeeze through. But here we go. Top Ben now. Down the main straight to your Heat 2 winner being Ethan Griffiths in that cart number 99. Followed by the 44. And then the 29 and 17. Elliot Potter trying to go too wide. Yellow flag being popped out as well. I'm not sure if one of them spun right at the end there. Oh no, sorry. That's what they always do. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Better fair clough, uh, heat one winner, finishing out in sixth position there. And that will do it for uh, your heat two for the Honda Cadets. A couple more go over the line. Cian Downer finishing 15th, Charlie White in 16th, uh, Stanley Clearly in 17th. And popping over the line uh, is the number 28 of Ethan Cousins. So, Mini Max is out next. Uh, Let's see how this one goes, as it was a very touchy one, if I remember rightly.
So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Minimaxes for their second heat. Uh, let's see how this one goes uh, this time round. Uh, like I said it just a moment ago, it was a very touchy first heat uh, with all the drivers getting really competitive. Uh, we've already seen, already got yet. <laughs> we've already got one spinning uh, coming out of the uh, well during the formation lap. Bit silly. But let's see how we can do to for this one. Lucas Howell will be starting on the front row by the looks of it. Let's see what we get, ladies and gentlemen. So they get all slowed up. Uh, it won't be a start just yet as uh, the spinner at the back. Uh, let's do it. Just catch back up again. So let's go for formation attempt number two, as the uh, last placer just tries to get back into order again. Top bend, and let's see how this one will go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin at Minimax. Heat number two as they come over the line. It's time to get racing. So what we're going to get from these Minimaxes, who's going to take it at the front at the beginning? A lot of people going down the inside for, at the... Very uh, popular spot, the S's, but it is the number 19 that is out ahead at this current time. Through and round the hairpin towards the horseshoe next. Uh, and it is that number 19 that is out ahead, followed by the 14, then 46. Uh, Oscar O'Sullivan making up a few positions that lap. So let's get your order for you all on the stream and uh, to your eardrums. Lucas Howell is in first place, followed by Miles from Wright, then Oscar O'Sullivan, then Freddie Baker, uh, followed by Joshua Withcombe, then Jack West, then Kai v uh, Vetic will top up your top seven. Then we've got Harry Cottrell in eighth, and then our three novices uh, from ninth to eleventh. So suss out the cameras again. I don't know why. So top bend now for lap number two. Let's see what we get for second lap completed. Lucas Howell out ahead, followed by Oscar O'Sullivan. Then Freddie Baker, followed by Martin Wright. Joshua Withcombe will be in fifth position, uh, and it is the battle for third at the moment with the number fourteen right behind Freddie Baker uh, coming out of the S's. And uh, towards the hairpin, we also got Joshua Withcombe in uh, in that list as well of uh, battling for third as the number 14 tries it around the outside coming uh, through the horseshoe and towards the top bend location. So down the main straight is the number 19 still out up ahead. And it's the rest that will be battling and Joshua Withcombe making up a position that lap as well. Uh, Jarrett Metaters making up a position into 8th. Still no movement from the top 6 at the moment. That battle for 3rd has quietened down just a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, the 14 and 92. Uh, Jack West on Martin Wright there. Uh, hopefully trying to attempt something within the next couple of laps. So we come on back down the main straights. Uh, Lucas Howell with a over a second gap right now uh, between him and second position. So a little bit of room for error. But uh, at the moment, Lucas Howell is still with known. As we uh, go around the hairpin and uh, follow through to the horseshoe next. These uh, drivers are still in a line in tow with each other. Uh, just to stick it out for now. Top Bend is the next location that they go to uh, to come down for their next lap. And let's see what we get from these drivers. The number 14 right on the rear end of the 45. 45 takes the inside line of Billy's using as much curb as he can, uh, but has uh, allowed the number 14 to skate past the 45 and 18 
so Joshua Withcombe uh, and Freddie Baker uh, allowing Martin Wright to fly three uh, as they both are forced out wide. So changing up the order yet again. 14, uh, the number 14 up into third position now. Let's see how this changes as uh, Lucas Howell comfortably still in that first position. Oscar Sullivan uh, is chilling there. Lucas Howell just setting the fastest lap time of this race so far of a 35.88. Down the inside at the S's, a very popular spot is the number 45 claiming back third position. Uh, very nice movement there made by the uh, by Joshua Withcombe. A spin just at the back there. Uh, by one of the drivers, not sure which one that was, it's number 48. Uh, Charlie Parker is currently in 11th position at the moment uh, of this race. But meanwhile, still unchanged at the top. Lucas Howell followed by Oscar Sullivan. Joshua Withcombe up into a third position, followed by Martin Wright. Those two have still been battling on the last couple of laps. Going around the hairpin and uh, following through to the horseshoe. Uh, these four drivers here from third, uh, well, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth at the moment uh, are currently the ones just uh, chilling it out for now. See what changes we get later on down the main straight. Come those four. Uh, splitting into packs of two now as the 14 is right on the rear end again on the 45 of Joshua Withcombe. Those two have been battling it out for the last couple of laps. Uh, Freddie Baker just hanging it in there in fifth. Uh, Jack West right behind mind. So uh, that's something for him to be aware of. Around the horseshoe. As so they start bunching back up again. Uh, with two, uh, just over two and a half minutes on the clock. Don't forget if you do want to support any of your drivers throughout today. And uh, do want to check out the YouTube live stream. Uh, we are going to be live throughout the whole entire of today's action. So feel free to pop on in uh, and check that one out. And also don't forget we are trying to gather money together to help support Ukraine in their current crisis. Uh, that's been going on. Uh, a lot has happened between uh, this round and the, uh, well, the first round and this round. But meanwhile, whilst I was talking about that, a couple of drivers making up a few positions. Uh, we'll notify you very shortly of who is going where. Lucas Howe still out ahead by a very decent over one, uh, well, 1 1.7 seconds so far. Uh, Josh Wickham in third still. Uh, chilling out as best as he can. 14th. Uh, the number 14 is Martin Wright. Uh, those two, like I said earlier, have been battling it out all day uh, in this second heat. But let's uh, keep going through. Uh, the number 46, Oscar O'Sullivan, has just got a comfortable second position so far. So we'll see how this goes as we go to just under a minute and a half on the clock. So plenty of lap uh, laps still to go. Lucas Howell getting an even faster lap time, 35.70. That is the fastest lap of this race so far. As we go through the S's, and uh, well, through the S's go the number 45 and 14, the two that have been battling it out so far in this heat number 48 there uh, Charlie Parker just at the back but still chilling out he's having his fun around the circuit Lucas Howell again his laps are just getting even quicker and uh, his gap is getting even bigger 2.4 second gap between Oscar and Lucas Joshua Withcombe battling it out with the number 14. Martin Wright getting ahead just before the S's. And as such, providing a bump up for him. But the gap between third and second is over 2.3 seconds. So it is just at the moment a battle for second. Uh, battle for third, sorry. 13 seconds left on the clock, so we've been able to squeeze out another lap on this race. Uh, it gives another lap for this battle of third position. It's great to see these uh, happen. Billy's trying to keep a inside line, defending it as best as they can. They are trailing through as a three. Uh, as we go down the back straight now, through the hairpin and towards the horseshoe we'll be going. 
Uh, at the moment, the 14 still out ahead, but as, just as I say that, down the inside goes the number 45 on the 14 uh, to get that third position. Those, those, those two have been battling it all day. Meanwhile, our leader, the number 19 of Lucas Howe, takes it for the last lap. So here we go, the 45. One last lap to defend this one. Let's see how it goes. Around Billy's they go. And towards the S's, the number 45 still ahead. It is a train of three. The 92 behind Jack West there. As they're going for an inside run there. Jack West trying to go around the outside uh, to stay out of the way. But uh, yeah, the, the number 45 is heavily battling it out and defending it as best as he can. Meanwhile, going to take in the checker flag is the number 19 of Lucas Howe. Followed by the 46 of Oscar O'Sullivan and taking third place is side by side. And it's Joshua Withcombe who will be taking the sec uh, third position there uh, just ahead of Martin Wright. That was great to see that. It was side by side action right at the end there. Uh, the number 14. Well done to Martin Wright and uh, Joshua Withcombe. Those two have been battling it out this whole entire race. And uh, it was very clean. It was very beautiful. So well done to those two. But of course well done to Lucas Howell who finished first. And also claimed the fastest lap time of a 35.70. So, like I said, that is the end of the Mini Max Heat number two. And it's time to enjoy the Junior Rotax Heat 2 that I'll be following up very shortly. Oh, thank you, Simon. I really appreciate that, mate. I'm hoping, ladies and gentlemen, in the next uh, few rounds, we, we might get another camera. I don't know. I'm going to have to talk to some people. <laughs> but hopefully you guys are enjoying these uh, new camera angles that we've been able to provide for you. Um, it's always nice to see them out there. I, I can always watch them from here. Pain to set up, though. <laughs> I love it. So here we go, Junior Rotax heat number two. Let's see how this one goes. Uh, if we all remember heat number one, uh, we had our first showing of a flag of a certain color, which I shall not mention, but uh, hopefully this one runs plain smooth. And uh, what sort of action we can get from these drivers, Junior Rotax. Heat number two, also in the YouTube chats the blue and yellow hearts for Ukraine. So we are supporting them throughout the day. There is a, there should be a link in the YouTube description if you don't want to don donate to them directly, or if you're up here at the circuit, there is a collection box in main reception. So let's get underway for this Junior Rotax Heat number two. What are we gonna get, ladies and gentlemen? Let's find out as they come down the main straight to start. Heat number two of the Junior Rotax for round two. It's uh, all gathering up very closely in the middle there, but the top five being able to fly away. It's the number 46 of Lucas Hayden. He was uh, out in front at the moment. As we go around the hairpin and through towards the horseshoe, a couple of drivers near the back doubling up. I believe it was the 77 and 13, all of those guys together. Let's see who goes where as they come down the main straight. Let's get your order for the top three. It's Lucas Hayden, followed by very closely by Leo Purges. Followed by Alfie Davies around the outside. No, sticking there behind at the moment uh, is the number 46. By the way, Leo Purges has just flown ahead into the lead, uh, just like he did in heat number one. Uh, finishing out first uh, after an abrupt end to the... Junior Rotax Heat through the uh, three buttons and through towards the top bend. Let's see what other changes we get from all of these drivers. Uh, so, 71 followed by 46 and 76. That is your lineup. Uh, Leo Purchase, Lucas Hayden, then Alfie Davies. Ollie Stevens making up a position at lap. Finn Smith down in 11th. Uh, making up a couple of spots as well. Uh, meanwhile, third place is looking very hungry for that second position, trying to get some spots. Uh, good luck, Cheesy, and number 77, and Leo Purchase, number 71. 
yellow and black dots on the YouTube live stream. If you do want to check it out and leave your support for them, feel free. Leo yeah, Furches, Lucas Hayden, Alfie Davis, Ollie Stevens. That is your lineup. It's the battle for second uh, with a train near the back. Uh, four, that's sixth by the looks of it. But it's all very gathering close together uh, for second position at the moment as it all changes yet again. The orange car of the number 46, that is Lucas Hayden uh, losing a spot or two there going through. But at the moment, Leo Purchase with a steady lead, uh, just, just going over the uh, second and a half mark. Number 46 looking to try and get the inside line, doesn't stick it as it was defended by the number uh, 76, I think that was. The number 9 making up a position as well, so Ollie Stevens making up a few spots too. Uh, we'll get your updated view in just a second. Uh, it is the battle for fifth at the moment, number 77 and 44. Uh, Charles Green and Benjamin Bartlett in that lot. So coming over the line is Leo Purchase, followed by... Uh, Ollie Stevens and Alfie Davies. And then we've got Lucas Hayden, then Charles Green, Benjamin Bartlett up a few positions, Finn Smith making up two positions that lap as well. Uh, as you can see them going through the S's and down the back straight right now. Finn Smith just chilling in the back in the row, well, sort of the mid pack of uh, f five. He's going down the inside at the horseshoe there. And in three buttons, he's made up a position. He's now up into fifth. As we keep flying through. Finn on a charge right now. As uh, we go into buttons. Through the S's and down the back straight. Just over four minutes on the clock. St plenty of time for these drivers to change up their positions and uh, plenty of time, well, looks a bit, for Finn to make some additional moves. Look at him really right up the back end there of the number 77, trying his best to catch up and uh, fly ahead. He's looking down the inside, the yeses. Unfortunately, it's a bit too uh, thin for Finn. Hey, look at that. As a... Uh, he is still sticking it out, going down the inside again, same as last manoeuvre he did, uh, his last overtake. He's uh, just duplicated that, uh, just on a different driver this time, and he's popped up into fifth position now. As we're going down the main straight, Leo Perch is still ahead by over a second. Uh, Alfie Davies behind uh, Ollie Stevens by over a second and a half currently, and Lucas Hayden is right behind the number 76 of Alfie Davies. Uh, unfortunately, someone's off at uh, uh, at the entrance of the hair, uh, horseshoe there, the number 22, uh, which is one of our novices, our nurse, Archie Buttle. I'm not sure what's happened to him. Oh, what a shame. So, Finn Smith in fifth position, like I said. It's a shame Archie, but Archie Buttle is out of this one. Oh, I've got a feel for him. Like I said, I didn't see what happened, unfortunately. Um, hopefully, he is all okay, and uh, hopefully, he'll be able to come back out into heat number three later on today. So, let's see these gaps. Leo Purchase uh, still out by a second. Uh, Alfie Davis is uh, 2.3 seconds behind second. So, Ollie Stevens is trying to catch up. Uh, at the moment, Finn Smith is the one with the fastest lap time of 34.35. He's currently in fifth position at the moment. Uh, chilling in there. Uh, let's see just where he is visually. Uh, trying to catch up with fourth. Lucas Hayden uh, is that driver. He is trying to get down towards. We have just over a minute and 35 seconds to go. Seventy-one there. 
still out ahead of Ollie Stevens. Contact warning just given to Daniel Tribe down in seventh position. You'll receive that as he comes around uh, on the next lap. Uh, just over a minute and 10 seconds to go. Uh, so let's see where Ollie Stevens is uh, bringing down this gap uh, that he's uh, done. So as he comes down the main straight, he is closing times up very quickly as uh, Ollie Stevens is now just under a second behind Leo Purchase. So I think we'll be able to squeeze out a couple more laps out of this one, which is uh, going to be threatening to him. Meanwhile, as I was talking about all of that, Finn Smith has made up another position up into fourth, uh, which is uh, allowing him to prowl onto the number 76 of Alfie Davies next. So uh, Finn making up some good positions here during this race. He is starting quite near the back. I'm not sure exactly where he did start. Uh, but I remember uh, a few laps ago, he was start, uh, down in 11th, so he's uh, making up some good moves. Flying up the order. So there we go. This will be the penultimate lap as uh, we fly through this one. Uh, Ollie Stevens again making that gap of his even smaller. Meanwhile, Finn Smith is also making his gap smaller already. He's already on the back end of Alfie Davies to try and collect that third position slot. But here we go, Leo Purchase is now in for the last lap of this race. As the uh, board is popped on out there. Ollie Stevens still a bit too far behind at the moment, but uh, still with a comfortable lead for that second position. Finn right on the rear end of the number 76. Let's see what he can do as they go into the hairpin and towards the horseshoe. Will Finn have enough corners uh, to do it? The number 76 heavily defending that line as he knows this is the last lap of his. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to our leaders at the moment. It is the number 71 taking the checker flag for heat number two. Leo Purchase winning this one and Finn Smith unable to overtake. Jay get that uh, third position, but well done on getting fourth uh, from uh, making a lot of places. And also Finn Smith with the fastest lap time of 34.26. Uh, and also, unfortunately, losing Archie Bottle out of this race. But there is always heat number three. I feel like this camera is steaming up. I'll <laughs> have to put the other case uh, backing on it at some point. So how are we all doing in the YouTube comments? Hopefully you're all doing well. Hopefully you're enjoying these races as well. Anybody particular you are... Meanwhile, we'll do a quick ASMR of a can opening. Whoa. Can number two. <laughs> it's not alcohol, by the way. <laughs> uh, Golden Snow. Yeah, man. Is Ben Fichetti coming up right now? Uh, no, there'll be uh, two more races until Ben will be back out in the Senior Rotax. Um, so we're on race, well we just had race 11, we'll be on for the noisy FP4s next. Uh, and then we've got the Junior Blues and then it'll be out. Hopefully you're uh, also doing alright. Don't forget if you haven't uh, already, please like the YouTube live stream. It always, uh, always makes me happy seeing all the likes follow through and... Uh, It always makes me happy seeing all these lights and uh, seeing all of you there. Man, that guy got to take the gold, because if not, he owes me a pint. <laughs> he might have to owe you a pint. <laughs> a pint. <laughs> get, get your taste buds going. <laughs> so, here we go. It's the FP4 World Formulas for heat number two next. Uh, they're out on track now. Uh, let's see what they can do on this one. Don't forget this is a massive grid of 26. I do love seeing the bigger grids. 
flying out onto the screens. And as always, I quite like these ones again because uh, they do standing starts. I, I, I love my standing starts. Let's see what they can do. God, 26 drivers. Right, it might get a bit noisy now because I've popped open a window. It's a bit warm in here. Do I have any snacks in my bag? Oh, I've got a camera. <laughs> I do! Well, this is what the Marshalls gave me a couple of weeks ago. Terry's Chocolate Orange Minis. <laughs> I better not eat this just yet. <laughs> do it during the break. <laughs> Shouldn't have opened them now. I'm going to be hungry throughout this one. <laughs> so, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. All gridded up. All 36 drivers for this one. Let's see what we get from the World Formulas as they all revving up their engines to start. Heat number two. That was timed perfectly. So, who is going to end up where for the first few corners uh, as they are three wide? Ooh, four wide. Hello. Four wide for the entrance of the corner. Couple spinning as well. But let's see what we get. Oh, four wide. Oh, and a massive spin out of, <laughs> at the S's. It's a bit of a car park over there. A messy car park indeed. As uh, one of the drivers causing a, <laughs> a bit of a crowd. Uh, the number 13 going for cross country at slow pace. Uh, but out of all of that, the number 35 is ahead of the number 21. Uh, Chris Kelly on Ian Fisher. Uh, and we have a driver out, unfortunately. Uh, possibly due to damage. But let's get your large order here from the 25... Uh, well, we'll say 25 drivers. Uh, so, it is Chris Kelly, followed by Ian Fisher, then Tony Lamb, then Gavin McGill, David Paris up into fifth position, uh, Keith Robertson, uh, losing a few positions there. That was a very, very adventurous start to uh, the... World Formula's uh, FP4's uh, heat number two. Number 97 there, just going over the line. That is Elliot Coles. Uh, another spin out at the hairpin as well. Uh, so, very mixed stuff over there. Uh, the uh, yellow and red carts coming on down. For some reason, that reminded me of a sweet. Maybe a bit hungry. Uh, going over the line there is Chris Kelly. Uh, Gavin McGill making up two positions at that, followed by uh, Ian Fisher, then Tony Lamb. As uh, Gavin McGill goes straight on through. These World Formula is really storming through the pack at the moment. A couple more spinning down at the hairpin. I don't know why every time I look up there's one spinning. But here we go. So down the main straight comes the number 35. Then the number 7, Gavin McGill. Going through the top bend there. Side by side goes third and fourth positions. Getting up ahead. Uh, but that inside line is actually closed. I thought it was a little bit open. Uh, but uh, managing to stick it in. The number 40 ahead of the 21. Uh, Tony Lamb up into third. Under threat, though, is fourth position at the moment. As we fly through a couple more corners. Uh, so it's the number 40, followed by the 21. Number 73 has uh, another driver. I think it was the number 60 out of Sam Mee. Uh, Sam Mee can make up quite a few positions. Uh, meanwhile, just on the screen, we had Tony Lamb having a contact warning just not long ago. And uh, a fresh one that's just come out of the... Uh, Basket is uh, Michael Morrison, who's just got a contact warning uh, during that lap as well. So, uh, just to update you on all of those, uh, fast lap at the moment is Michael Morrison in 10th position at the moment with a 41.73. That's the fastest lap time so far uh, of this race. Uh, finally, just with some uh, quicker times than heats number one so far.
but uh, we keep flying through the order here. My, my watch just told me, time to stand. Stand up and move for a little one minute. Well, that's what I'm doing. I am stood up. <laughs> just not active. So let's keep going. Uh, let's see who else uh, is ending up where. Chris Kelly's still out ahead. Uh, Kevin McGill taking the fast lap at the moment, and uh, that is proven because he is right up the back end of Chris Kelly, uh, who is in first at the moment. So let's keep an eye on those two as they are coming towards the uh, horseshoe now and uh, up towards Buttons. Number seven taking a little bit of a wide line coming out of the horseshoe as well, uh, which is rather different. A yellow flag down at Billy's. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye there. Uh, one of the uh, drivers near the back. Uh, having a bit of a spin there, but as we come here, the number seven uh, right on the outside, getting the inside line for Billy's and squeezing out ahead to take first position for this race. Michael Marison taking the fastest lap again, 41.39, some quick times popping out onto the screens, uh, but the gap between third and fourth is uh, over three seconds, uh, third and fourth is over two seconds at the moment. Uh, Number seven having a little bit of a wide exit coming out of the hairpin. Uh, but meanwhile, he's up through at Buttons. So number 73 uh, out ahead of a pack of uh, very angry world formulas right behind. Uh, so that fourth place is under threat. We'll keep an eye on these times as we keep uh, updating it all for you guys. Martin uh, Marison with his second contact warning of this race. Got to be careful. Uh, Michael Marison is in 8th position at the moment. Sam Mee is up into 5th. Uh, Sam always, uh, well, since watching him in the uh, heat, first heat, uh, does seem to make up a few positions very quickly. So we'll keep an eye on Sam Mee. See where he ends up. So the number seven, Kevin, uh, Gavin McKeel. I have nearly mixed up his surname and first name, put, merged it together. Uh, catching up with one of our back markers uh, at the moment, which will be the number 58, Stephen Manister. Uh, slowly making his way uh, through the rest of the grid. Uh, just dipped under two minutes to go left on the clock. This, uh, these seats do seem to fly by. Side-by-side side go in the 73 uh, and 68 by the looks of it. Those two having a little bit of a tussle of their own. Uh, that is uh, Keith Robinson and Sam Mee. Sam Mee making up another place, is it? We'll find out very shortly as they come over the line. Let's update you on the list. Uh, yep, I was correct. Sam Mee making up another position yet again. Uh, Sam Mee, like I said earlier, just absolutely flies up the order constantly throughout this uh, race and uh, through these heats. Uh, just meanwhile, we've got some more blue flags hanging out onto the circuit as the number seven starts lapping uh, a few of our, uh, a few of the drivers near the back of the grid. Still plenty of time, just a minute to go. So uh, I believe we'll have two more laps to produce ourselves. To a couple of the back markers having a bit of fun here. The number 54 on the inside with the 81 quite close behind. As you can see there. Uh, as they get given the blue flags, the number seven is coming at ya. Uh, the number 54 there, uh, making a move out of the way. It's actually cost him a position. Uh, whilst uh, the number seven plops on through, Gavin uh, trying to make, uh, well, just trying to storm away from the lead, uh, Chris Kelly, if I get my words correct. Uh, number 35, 2.5 seconds behind. Uh, so possibly getting caught up on a few of the traffic uh, that is being produced out there on the circuit. But here we go, taking uh, 12, uh, 10 seconds left to go. We're going to get squeezed out another lap. Another lap for Gavin as he uh, laps a couple of more of our uh, back markers. Sam Mee now has the fastest lap time uh, and just improved it even further uh, for 41.3. Uh, so some quick times from Sam Mee today uh, for the world formulas. Red Celia's lap times further down. We've lost two drivers out of this one. Elliot Coles uh, in the number 97 and the number 32 of Lewis Beckingham is uh, chilling out on the track at the moment uh, after the uh, first lap incidents that we had 
uh, which turned the S's into a mighty messy car park. So last lap time, we do enjoy the last lap. As uh, we'll see what happens, it is at the moment a Gavin McGill win uh, as he's uh, taken his last lap uh, with a very comfortable lead at the moment. Uh, the number 40 of Tony Lamb in second position, uh, possibly stuck in a bit of traffic further down the road. Sammy's still in fourth position, uh, just missing out on the top three at the moment, but this can all change uh, as I have no sense of where everybody is, <laughs> where it's... Uh, all, all sort of mixed, but we'll feast our eyes onto the top. Taking the checkered flag for the win on this one will be Gavin McGill. Car number seven taking the checkered flag and winning the FP4 World Formula Heat number two. Tony Lamb taking second, Chris Kelly taking third, and Sammy taking fourth. That is your top four. Keith Robinson in fifth, Michael Marison in sixth. And uh, a few other drivers, Jack Teague in seventh, Rob Teague in eighth. Are they brothers or families? We don't know. I never know. Stephen Fossey uh, popping out into 17th position. Ooh, I need a jinx that. Uh, just about got 17th position. <laughs> Can't need to curse it again. Commentator's curse. It always happens every now and then. But there it is, that is the FP4 World Formulas Heat number two. Uh, and we'll be out next with the Junior Blues. As uh, we get one to be recovered, I nearly spilt my Pepsi Max because I thought I had less in the, in the can. Absolute steal, 72 cans for 21 quid. <laughs> Hey, what the amount of Pepsi Max I could like drink, I could make a probably make out a whole entire cart. Pepsi Max. <laughs> if I ever got my own cart, I think I might just put a Pepsi Max livery on it. Because <laughs> why not? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Junior Blues for their second heat. Uh, seven drivers, uh, just like last time. Not going to change, is it? <laughs> Let's see what they can do for their second heat of the day as the sun starts flying through the clouds, bringing us a very bright and sunny track to the point where I can't see my screens. <laughs> So here we go, it is all go for the Junior Blues in their second heat of the day. As uh, we're already getting a overtaking the inside through the S's, a little touchy. But uh, the number two gets ahead, that is Reese Reed uh, taking the lead at this current time. 
As we go around the hairpin, horseshoe, even. <laughs> okay, I'll get it right someday. Three buttons and towards the top bend. Uh, but before the top bend, you go past the Ukraine flag. I'm going to mention that quite often. Three and down the main straight. Let's get your order for you all. So it is Reese Reed followed by Mitchell Carpenter, then Sam Mitchell, Rudy Winslow, Morton. Uh, up into fourth, Jamie Whit uh, Bradfield in car six, sixth and fifth, Ben get it, uh, sixth, and then Jamie Dot in seventh. Contact warning already given to Mitchell Carpenter at the start of this race so far. Uh, car number five. Uh, trying to make up a few positions so far. Sam Mitchell's right behind. So, all still to change just at the moment. As he goes down, uh, as the number one goes down the inside at the entrance of Billy's and uh, getting ahead to claim that second position. So, the uh, number one is Sam Mitchell to charge on through towards Reese Reed, who is currently leading by over a second and a half. Uh, third position and fourth are having a battle between each other. That's the number five and 66. Sam, uh, hang on, let me just double check on that one. <laughs> so yeah, it was correct. It's the five and 66 having a battle uh, between one another. Through the S's and down the back straight. The 66 with a storm through power and better exit out the S's. Uh, charging himself into third, but there is still a tussle between the two drivers. The number 66 still out ahead, but the five right behind. As we go down the main straight, Reese Reed still ahead of Sam Mitchell. Uh, it's number 66, Jamie Bradfield ahead of Mitchell Carpenter, but we still have plenty of time in this race to go. We'll keep an eye on the back three as well. Uh, Rudy Winslow, Morton, Ben Gillett and Jamie Dart. As uh, plenty of changes still welcome in this race. Number five losing a few hundreds in this race, uh, falling behind just a little bit. But the number two still miles ahead at the moment. Two second lead and uh, claiming the fastest lap time of a 36.35. That is the fastest for that one so far. So nearing the midway point for this race. As it uh, starts to heat up at Clay Pigeon. Down the inside right at the back of the grid there. Uh, I think that's number 33 on uh, Rudy uh, Winslow Morton there, I believe. Uh, so, uh, so flying on through down towards Billy's next. Uh, that number 33 of Ben Gillick goes. And uh, charging away from the back. To there to try and charge up and get towards the top four. Car number two still in the lead at the moment, Reese Reed. Followed by Sam Mitchell. Jamie Bradfield still in third position, and Mitchell Carpenter is in fourth. Ben Gillett. Uh, has about five seconds to try and get back to uh, catch up with the rest of the pack at the moment. So, with three minutes 20 to go, still plenty of time. Uh, everyone's pretty now starting up, starting to uh, even out a little bit. Uh, there are some big gaps going on, but uh, Reese Reed is the one leading these uh, this race so far.
not much change is uh, currently happening from these drivers. It's more the back two that are uh, getting a bit more competitively close to each other. Uh, but whilst they are all having uh, a drive around the circuit, don't forget we are live on YouTube all day. So if you do want to check out the YouTube live stream and uh, check out a few extra camera angles that you might miss, uh, feel free to pop on there. And also support any of your drivers if you're watching on there as well. Uh, they'll be popped out over the tannoy here at Clay Pigeon. Uh, throughout the day and uh, also the live stream is available to watch throughout the building and in the cafe as well so just over a minute to go minute 10 to be exact uh, Rudy Winslow Morton is back with another uh, back end battle uh, for that sixth position let's see how these two will go ahead Rudy and Jimmy Dart is that other driver as uh, the rest of the grid is pretty much evenly spread. So we'll keep an eye on what they, those two do. Reese Reed is the one that's still ahead. Uh, and is also the one that has the fastest lap so far of a 36-2-1. So speeding along he goes. Sam Mitchell is gaining a bit of time back uh, per lap. Uh, just... Having a look there, 20 seconds left on the clock. So the next time uh, Reese goes over the line, I believe, or it might be actually quite close between the two. Let's see how this one plays out uh, as they come around the top bend now towards down the main straight. 10 seconds left on the clock. I think we're just about to squeeze out an additional lap on this race. Uh, and as such, we do uh, with four seconds left. So it's squeezing out another lap, uh, which is allowing... Uh, our two at the back, Rudy and Jamie, in carts six and four, to have their battle uh, for that uh, final position. Again, it's a very evenly spread out here, uh, with not a lot of action really going on. Yeah, but it's Reese Reese still has got the fastest lap time. Uh, keep an eye on that one uh, for now. Uh, but the number four is catching quite close to the number six. And uh, meanwhile, Reese and Sam Mitchell, carts two and one, uh, go through the last lap. And uh, the number four still behind in seventh. But let's go to our leader, who has been uh, leading this one pretty much from the beginning. Storming ahead. And... Uh, Possibly will be taking, well, not possibly, will be taking the win for this one. Coming down the main straight now is your winner for this race. It is Reese Reed winning heat number two for the Junior Blues. Sam Mitchell in the second position and in the comfortable third, Jamie Bradfield. So not many other changes. It looks like Rudy Winslow Morton will be finishing in that sixth position in cart number six. And then Jamie Dart in fourth. Uh, just missing out by the looks of it as they come down the main straight. Yep, there we go. Cart number four. Just not enough laps to go for that one. So, there we go. So, that's the end of the Junior Blues. It's Senior Rotax next. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the senior road tax for their second heat. As I try and finish a uh, mouthful of uh, Terry's chocolate orange. <laughs> so out ahead is the number 95 in the LN cart, followed by Jack Mabin in cart number 17. I'm going to mention that LN cart quite a lot. I do quite like those. Mind you, they are expensive. <laughs> 
So what we're going to get from these drivers in this race, we shall find out very shortly as uh, we begin, or start, slowly get round to beginning, heat number two for the senior Rotax. So down they come to start, heat number two. Let's see what we get from the senior Rotaxes who will end up in front as always. And uh, a charging man around the outside and he's, uh, wow, stuck it in for this start as well. It's number 48, uh, Bertie Wellesley there. Straight around the outside of everybody on that start. And a search around the horseshoe and towards buttons they go. A very steaming hot start to that one. As we go down the main straight, let's see who we get as we plow on through. So, Callum Davies followed by Bertie W in cart number 48, followed by Jack Mavent, followed by Ben Page, then Magic Camara down in fifth position at the moment. If I remember correctly, Magic Camara was the uh, winner of uh, heat number one for the senior Rotax. Let's see where uh, he ends up at the end of this one. Ben Fichetti is down in ninth position, cart number 62. As uh, someone in the YouTube comments asked, where is he? Following on through, the number 95 in that LN cart still out ahead. Bertie, well, Ellersley in uh, second position. Ben Page is the one with the fastest lap though, with 34.38. Nobody's touched it yet. Few positions, that's the number 90 just flies on through. Uh, to claim that second position at the moment. Still to all change for. As uh, a lot of the mid-pack are to close together. Down the inside. 17 tries to squeeze on through. A little bit of touching made there. But hasn't affected them too much as we keep flying on through. So let's get a re-change of the order as it's changed quite a fair bit. So, Cannon Davis followed by Ben Page. Magic Camara is up into third position. Jack Maiman in fourth. Cameron Crockett up. Two spots into fifth. Uh, Benjamin Ballou in sixth. And uh, not a very great lap there for Bertie Wellesley in cart number 48. Uh, losing four, uh, five positions there. Hopefully we'll be able to regain them later on. Like I said, there is still plenty of time left to do this one. We're not even halfway yet. So Callum Davies leading by over a second to a very quick Ben Page with a 33.89 as the fastest lap time of this race so far. The number 11 of Magic Camara is behind a spin by the number 17 of Jack Maidman. Magic Camara given a contact warning. Uh, Jack Maidman was running in fourth position there. Golden Snow. Yeah, man, I see that guy. <laughs> I think you... I think you... I think he uh, owes you a beer if uh, I remember <laughs> remember correctly. <laughs> so Magic Mirror is still chilling in third, and uh, just like I said there, Jack Maiman uh, cracking quite a few drivers there, losing the positions, but uh, Jack Maiman losing uh, out from fourth down into uh, that final position in uh, 11th. Uh, we've lost Harrison Crook in this one, he popped into the pits uh, three laps ago, so we're quite near the start of the race. But uh, as the sun gleams onto this track, we have the number 95 followed by that, very closely followed by that number 90 of Ben Page. So Ben Page catching up to that LM cart and uh, doing the best that he can through the S as he goes. We have Magic Camara right behind though as well, charging on through. Ben Page is already looking for a move on the 95. Callum Davies has close, is, uh, got that gap closed. He's uh, trying to defend the position as best as he can so far. Uh, we had a couple of contact warnings given to Ben Fichetti and Bertie Wellesley down at the back of the grid. Not sure what's happened between those two. Uh, Bertie not really having a great race so far. Uh, starting near the top and now down into 10th position. Uh, so not sure what's happened with them uh, at the start of this one. But the pack of three is starting to close at the front of uh, Callum Davies, Ben Page and Magic Amera. The three... Uh, all very close. And it's uh, Magic Camaro who's on Ben Page at the moment. Uh, he is the one that looks a bit more aggressive out there so far. Magic Camaro with a fast level of 33.75. So 
So down the main straight, the number 95 having a look. Ben Page up into first position on that lap as well. I missed that one. I did miss that one. So through the S as they go. And down the back straight, Magic Amero looking on the number 95 now instead of the 90. See what sort of changes we can get from them. In a moment, as Magic Amero darts down the inside at the start of the horseshoe. Number 95, Callum Davies leaving a gap wide enough for an invite through. Let's get your updates on the YouTube live stream for you on the left side of the screen. Uh, as Ben Page is leading this one at the moment by just over half a second at the moment. Uh, but Magic Mera is absolutely flying through this one. As uh, fourth and fifth start joining into this one as well. That is of Cameron Crockett and Benjamin Ballou. The uh, two drivers are starting to creep up. But a very comfortable uh, Ben Page does look out there in first. Uh, don't forget Magic Amara is a speedy demon. And uh, is catching up every lap. Uh, lap times are all very close together. Magic Amara already closing up on the rear end of that 90. So we can see what happens a little bit further down the back of the grid. Elliot Barrels in 8th position, Ben Fichetti in ninth. Bertie Wellesley in 10th, Jack Maben is chilling in 11th. Magic Mera is closing that gap, it is visible on the timing. Meanwhile, we've got the rest of the drivers starting to close up as well. The number 95, Cameron Crockett, closing up that gap on uh, to close up to third. So any possibilities are here for this one. As uh, Ben Page going over the line, followed by Magic Camara. Then uh, Callum Davies, still no changes from the top four. Just under a minute to go now. Uh, but that 95 is... Not got a lot of pace at the moment. Uh, is losing a bit of time each lap. Uh, we have lost Jack Maiman so far as well. Cut number 17. Uh, it's only 10 drivers out there so far. Uh, to hopefully end this race. As uh, we come down the main straight for the top two. Ben Page ahead of Magic Amera still. That gap is closing. It's just over... Uh, well, it's 0.22 is the gap. Cullen Davies has been overtaken by the bit of by Cameron Crockett as well. Uh, that's another overtake I've missed <laughs> again. Uh, keeping an eye on the top two. But here we go. Eight seconds left on the clock. Are we going to be able to squeeze out another lap? And indeed we are. Just only just. Uh, two seconds left on the clock. So... That gives uh, Magic Amara an extra lap to see if he'll be able to overtake uh, to get the lead. Uh, Cameron Crockett still holding on to that third position after uh, making a, an additional spot last lap. But all very close from these seniors so far. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to whip out the last lap board and begin the final lap of this race as the number 11 makes a move down the inside on Ben Page and sticks it ahead at the S's. That last lap board was the indication for Magic Amera and uh, as such has moved up one spot but is still under attack. Ben Page is still hanging out in there to try and claim that top spot once again. Up to the top Ben we go. Will Ben Page be able to get it back again? Coming down the main straight. Who is going to be winning this one? As it nearly goes side by side, but winning this one. Taking the checker flag is Magic Camara on the last lap. Followed by Ben Page, then Cameron Crockett. That is your top three. Then we have Callum Davies in fourth. Benjamin Ballou in fifth. George Walker sixth. Daniel Beard seventh. Elliot Barrel in eighth. Ben Fichetti finishing in ninth position at the end of that one. And uh, not great race for Bertie Wellesley. Starting near the top and ending in 10th. 
there and unfortunately losing Jack Maiden and Harrison Crook. But that is it for the senior Rotax for this heat. So senior blues are up next. Let's see how this one goes. Does Ben Fichetti own you a beer yet? A pint. <laughs> Golden snow. <laughs> Damn, I just got a free beer. <laughs> <laughs> Is it per race? Because you uh, you might get you might get another free beer next. <laughs> you still got the third heats to go yet? Yeah? <laughs> there is chocolate orange. I think I'll make it for each race. Got to be all set for next Saturday with his races. <laughs> no need to go to a pub then. So, a bit of a pause between the two. Hope everybody's doing well who are watching currently. Uh, saying we've got concurrent 44 viewers. So, great to see everybody who's uh, chilling out and watching. It's uh, great to have you all here. It's a bit of a chilly song, chill song in the background. All the music is picked out by myself. Some of them are used in car club videos. Um, I must have been in a weird mood to pick this one. <laughs> I do pick for a wide audience. <laughs> Hopefully between uh, this round and the next one, uh, possibly going to be looking at making a streams highlight uh, reel. So uh, it might happen, it might not. If it does, um, watch out for it on the YouTube channel. Um, but that is looking through six hours of content. So <laughs> um, that's that one. But we are going to have a new uh, video that will be up on the channel. I'll be recording uh, all of the finals. Uh, and there'll be one whole video that you can watch later on uh, if you just want to watch the videos later on uh, instead of watching through the whole entire of uh, the stream just to get to the finals. I don't know, you won't want to watch the who knows? So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's our next class out on the track. Uh, it was just a senior blues. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, let's see what we get from these drivers. Thank you. 
So, as they fly on up to the top, I'll find the right buttons to press and <laughs> we'll get this heat uh, ready to go. This is the uh, penultimate heat twos, so let's see what we get. Cartoon Formula B, you can't hear the music. Oh, it's, it's quite quiet actually, isn't it? Sorry. So here we are underway with the senior Belize heat number two. Here it's going to be ending out in top on this one. Cart three is ahead of the number 95. That's Michael Bell ahead of Martin Wheeler. Let's see who will else will end up there. There's already another overtake by the 95 storming away at the start of this race. I've uh, turned the music up now, so hopefully you'll be able to hear it. I uh, didn't realise it was too low. <laughs> I'm terrible. So let's get your order up on the screen for all of you. It's the number 95, very closely followed by the number three, though. Uh, Martin Wheeler ahead of Michael Bell. And we've got Joey Foster in third. Chris Underhill in fourth. Uh, that's all changed, though. It looks like somebody's had an issue. And it's our leader. The leader, the number 95, Martin Wheeler, not having a great start. As uh, something has broken on his car by the looks of it, or something's happened. That's a real shame for him, as uh, he is now... Uh, looks like he's out of the race for this. That's a real shame. He was charging through at the start of this one. So let's re-show you the order. So Michael Bell, followed by uh, Joey Foster. Then we got Chris Underhill, Rob Mortimer, Kevin O'Neill, Robin Stollett Stones, Adrian Helps, Paul Alexander, Paul Dibble. Double pulls. Ron Schoen down in 10th position. Uh, then we've got John Hart, Stone, Steve Groves down in the back. Alex Kemp in 13th. As it gets harder and harder to see the time of screens with this sun glaring over Clay Pigeon Raceway. It is beautiful weather. Beautiful, beautiful. Michael Bell, followed by Joey Foster. There's a bit of a gap between the two there. As uh, the number 95 has managed to get himself going again. Uh, just having a look as he uh, rejoins the track. Uh, a lap down, uh, a couple of laps down even. Uh, and we've also lost number 15 who's just at the exit of the pit lane. Uh, which is uh, another driver that I'm not sure if he'll be able to continue unfortunately. Michael Bell is still leading this one by 1.48 seconds. So uh, still plenty of time to go on through another car that's very slow. Uh, oh, there's that number 95 who's uh, just being lapped again there. Sorry to point that one out. <laughs> but uh, we'll see what we get from the other drivers. Number 12, Rob Mortimer is in a pack uh, defending... Well, it looks a bit third position at the moment. So, very well done to him to get up a few positions on that lap. But down the main straight we come for uh, the following lap afterwards. Ron Mortimer up into third. Chris Underhill losing a position that lap. As we go around Billy's and through the S's. And through down to the main, uh, the main back straight. There it is. Uh, <laughs> number 15 managed to get going again. It's always good to see drivers. Uh, getting back out into it. It's always great to see them uh, be able to rejoin the track uh, after an issue. Always hate to see those that uh, can't unfortunately finish it. Another driver off down uh, in the cut through. Having a few issues there. So number 16. One shown having an issue there. It's unfortunate. We'll keep going through. The number five catching up at the back. Paul Alexander onto Rob Mortimer. Paul Alexander on that previous lap managing to gain a few positions. Uh, but it is Michael Bell who is still leading this race. Just coming over to the line now. As uh, he has a over, well, over sec uh, two, two and a half seconds. If I can uh, get my English out and uh, storming away with the lead. Side by side coming over the line is number five and 12. And uh, it'll be the man on the 
inside that gets it, but unfortunately it doesn't really get to speed off too much. No. Number, the number 12 looking very promising there uh, for a outside overtake. Unfortunately, uh, being heavily cut off uh, to have no such opportunity. So let's see who is well on the YouTube live stream. Don't forget we are live all day uh, with all of the action that is happening. So feel free to pop onto the YouTube uh, check it out and uh, see and support uh, all of your drivers whilst they are out there. So an issue down at Billy's with, uh, I think it is that number 15 who's had trouble uh, all session. Uh, I think he's finally unfortunately had to give up. As uh, the number 95 gets uh, overtaken right in a yellow zone. I don't know how that's going to go down, but nevertheless, we'll keep flying through. Number 15 trying to go again. Attempt number three. Hey, he's got going again. He's, he's got going again, but uh, I think Tom Parker's well out of this race, unfortunately. And uh, if he can keep going, well done to him. But uh, not much can be said there. Right, let's get a further update on what's going on. Uh, let's find where Michael Bell is. So I actually can't see where he is. He's about to come and map some people. That's where he is. Uh, just coming into the billies and through towards the S's, uh, getting held up in a little bit of back traffic at the moment. Uh, when I say back tra traffic, he is actually at the back. As uh, he tries to go on three of the pack uh, who are near the back. As I keep repeating myself in just different forms. Oh, my seat is warm. It has had sun on it. And it is black. And it's heating my bottom. As if everybody really wants to know that. I want to know what's going on the racing! So Michael Bell ahead, but not by much. It looks like Michael Bell's uh, lead's just been... Uh, slowed down a little bit with the back traffic. Uh, allowing the number 66 of Joey Foster to uh, pop up a little bit closer now. So, 45 seconds left, and uh, it's a battle between Michael Bell and Joey Foster. Paul Alexander is still in third position, I believe, as uh, he's not popped over the line just yet. Uh, the gap between first, second to third, oh Jesus, 14 seconds. That is the biggest of the day so far, gap-wise. As uh, the number three and 66 look like they're going to have a little battle as we are coming through closer to the last lap. Let's keep an eye on these two as uh, they are very close together. The number three and 66 coming through for the last lap. So one final lap to change something. Who knows what's going to happen. Uh, as we go down the back straight, the number 64 trying to get out of the way. The number 66 going one side, the number three on the other. The number 66 getting the inside line, little touching as they're still side by side. Number three having a bit of a wider entrance, unfortunately the 66 out ahead. As we come towards the top bend, is there going to be any change? As we come for the checkered flag, it will be the number 66 who takes it. In a very action-packed last lap between the two. So they both give each other a thumbs up. Very interesting two ways of going. Uh, past the uh, one of the back markers. One to the left, one to the right. And it's the one on the right who had the better exit and better line to go on through and take the win for this one. Jerry Foster, car number 66, winning that one. Michael Bell. Go second place, but can take home the fastest lap for heat number two of a 36-4-6. So there we go. That's the end of that one, like I have just said. And it's time to welcome back to the track the 177 and 177 Masters, who will be uh, once again ending out the 
Heat for Heat number two. So Heat two for the 177 and 177 Masters up shortly. Wowzers. That was close. Oh, I just had a dip in internet then. Okay, this song won't be for everyone. <laughs> Drum and bass! I'll have a chocolate orange for that. Smashing music. Thank you, uh, former Blue UK. Go, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the 177 and 177 Masters to pop on out. And uh, and uh, as they're out on track, uh, there is no Joe Wormsley out there. I know that because he's on the balcony. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, let's see where or who gets where. As uh, we go on through to start. Heat number two for the 177 and 177 Marsters. As they uh, come on through, through to the S's and down the back straight. The number 23 ahead of the number 45, Ian Brown ahead of Alex Heron. Well, that can still all change. So we go around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Around the top bend and down the main straight. Let's give you your order for the start of this race. It was uh, very close together, but it's Ian Brownfield followed by Ian Brown. Uh, it's Ian followed by Ian. Uh, followed by Alex Heron, then Ben Johnson is in fourth position. Reese Llewellyn in fifth. Uh, it's great to see him back out again uh, after the previous uh, heat. Round the horseshoe, three buttons and towards the top bend. And down the main straight. See any changes from these drivers. It's all very action packed out there in that heat. So far, just looking, Ian Branfield. Uh, Ian is ahead of Ian, uh, who has Ben behind them. Uh, I'll let you figure out which Ian it is. They're both called Ian Bree. Uh, that they're all, all both uh, Ian B. So the abbreviations changing up, and a spin and contact made there at the back. Not sure what really happened there, but uh, it's uh, not one of the drivers out of position due to a spin from themselves. Uh, looks like the number 22 can still continue, but the other driver still at the top there. Let's get your orders. So Ian Branfield ahead of Ian Brown uh, by a second. Ben Johnson in third position, catching up with Ian Brown. God, I could get confusing if I'm not careful. As we go up towards the horse, uh, horse uh, hairpin. There we go. Uh, up towards the hairpin, uh, non-overtaking zone whilst uh, things get sorted out down there. Uh, I'm also been just told that the number 24 doesn't have a transponder, so I better be careful and uh, n see where the 24 is. I want to keep forgetting your transponder, lads and ladies. So. 
Let's see the number 17 coming down the inside there, Dan Milner. But down the main street comes your leader right now. Ian Branfield. Setting the fastest lap as well, the 34. 6 3, so quick time there from himself as they all start flying down the back straight. As uh, also in the background, you can see them uh, covering the car over the fence. That is a task, I've done it before, especially when you've got weight on. Whew. That gets heavy. Well, unless you're a weakling like me, and it definitely is heavy. <laughs> So having a look, the number 61 is still in second position, Ben Johnson. Uh, Dan Milner in seven, uh, car number 17 in third, Ian Brown down in fourth, Harry Rowett in uh, car number 28 in fifth. Uh, as again, these all could be provisional just in case I, uh, as a, well, number 24 doesn't have a transponder out there. Uh, so just making that aware. We're number 43 on the outside of the 82, no. Uh, unfortunately, doesn't stick the move and uh, just carries on anyways. So here we go for yet another lap under four minutes to go. Three minutes 50 to be exact as uh, all the orders change up a little bit. James Webb making up a position out there on Alex Heron on the timing. But yet everybody is still out altogether. The Hairpin and now a bit more of an easier place to overtake as the uh, yellow flag is now back in again. Top bend for yet another lap of this race. Number 46 flying on through this one. As uh, down the outside there was, could have been a potential on uh, one of the drivers out there. That driver being, oh, I can't see the number unfortunately. But uh, some potential moves being made by some of the drivers in the back, uh, in, well, in the mid pack. Uh, that being Derek Hunt on Harry Rowett, just having a look there. But down the main straight we go, the number 46 absolutely flying off ahead. Uh, by the way, that gap being 2.76 seconds. Uh, Ian Branfield also still sticking out with the fastest lap time of this race as well. Uh, a 34.60 is what he has produced for us out there today. So we keep flying through these laps. Not much change is made. Alex Heron in the pits, unfortunately. But Ian Branfield is out there with the... Uh, with that lead very comfortably nearing up three seconds very shortly. Number 28, Harry Rowett out there in fourth position currently. And uh, has a charging pack right behind him, the number 26. Derek Hunt in that list as well. As uh, we fly through some more laps, just over a minute and a half left to go. So they all go down, Billy's Harry Rowett's up there. Ian Brown losing three positions out there in that previous lap. It's not all going too well at the moment. Not sure where his pace has uh, sort of fallen off a little bit. But uh, still sticking in there. The number 17, Dan Milner, catching up with Ben Johnson once again. Will we have a few, uh, enough laps left in this race? We've got just over a minute to go, which is uh, plenty of time to try and achieve this. Catching up is... Yeah, it's ever so quick out here. You put your foot down to it and uh, find the right lines. But the number 26 is catching up with Harry Rowett in... Car number 28, that fourth position under threat. Second is slowly coming together. Not sure if we're gonna have enough laps left. We had, we got uh, probably another additional one to, so we got this one uh, and then uh, last lap would be next time round. So we come down through past the kink, all the drivers having 
being in a line pretty much uh, from fourth down to sixth. Uh, the train of three there. But Top Bend is our leader currently. He will be uh, taking the last lap very shortly as we come down that main straight. And the last lap board is out. So one last lap for these drivers to put their foot down and try and make moves as they can. Uh, a couple of heats ago with Magic Amera managing to put his foot well down uh, during his heat. So will there be the same on this one? So far there is not. Down the inside attempt on the number, I think that's the number 92, James Webb trying to make a move for the end, but taking the check of flag will be Ian Branfield leading by over 2.3 seconds. Ben Johnson in second position. Dan Miller takes third. Harry Rowett takes four. Ian Brown at the end making it a position back up the order. Going up into fifth. And uh, by the looks of it, uh, James Webb flying down to tenth. Not sure what's happened there. But that ends it out for the second heat here. at Clay Pigeon Raceway. And we'll be joined later on for heat three. Uh, which will be out very shortly. I think my music stopped. Have I finished the playlist? No, the song had a really long ending. Right, so, on the cadet time. Heat threes, ladies and gentlemen. I'm eating chocolate. That ain't a good thing. <laughs> So, we'll be here shortly for the Honda Cadets as people keep revving their engines very annoyingly. Don't need to do it. The mic's on mute. <laughs> so again, uh, for the music side of things, if you do want to listen to any of the songs that you hear, uh, Epidemic Sound, there will be is well, there is a link in our in the about page. And he said in the uh, in the out the about page on the YouTube live streams. So anyway, it's time for the Honda Cadets next, as they have just flown out onto the screen and onto the track. Uh, it's time for their third heat. Uh, third and final heat of the day. So let's see how these guys and girls do out there for this one. Someone's already, sp oh, someone spun at uh, the back straight there. But anyway, let's see what we get uh, from these Hondas cadets and uh, fly on through this race, ladies and gentlemen. And if you do want to support any of these drivers whilst they're out there, we are live on the YouTubes. Link on the Facebook page. 
So as they start flying on down the main straight, let's get underway with heat number three. As we don't get underway with heat number three. <laughs> so yeah, reformation for this one. So we uh, get everybody grouped back up again uh, to get this heat back up and running again. So around the horseshoe they go. Are we going to get it second time lucky? Riley Till, number 44, message from Nano. Come on, Riley. I know you can get that first place. You're doing fantastic. That's a little message there from the YouTube live stream. And uh, he is out there at the moment. So let's see what we get through the S as we go as we have a successful start for this one. Let's see who ends up where for this one. Who is out in front as we go side by side for the current third position. That was the number 21. Might be a liar, but we'll find out very shortly. As we come down the main straight, let's get you your order uh, up on the YouTube live stream. So... Here we go, so it's number 99 hours ahead at the moment, that's Ethan Griffiths, followed by Jaden Mead, which was the 29, I was lying, it wasn't 21, it was 29. Max Lovell's in third position, Sam Mott in fourth, Sam Green Gomez up in fifth position, Travis Rose in sixth, and uh, Riley Till losing a few positions uh, down in tenth for that one. So let's keep an eye on who else goes where, as, we s as the uh, 96 up ahead currently still. Ethan Griffiths currently with a 0.39 second lead. But uh, it's Jaden Mead with the fastest lap so far of a 41.11. Uh, just set that previous lap. Uh, so trying to catch up with that first position of Ethan. Still all to play for at the moment. I'm going to have to stand up though because it is getting rather warm. So there's six minutes to go as they all come flying down the main straight. Top three, a little bit evenly spread at the moment as they go in towards Billy's. Uh, let's see where, who else is where. Bella Fairclough down in ninth position. Made two pl uh, places up that last lap though, uh, with Ava Morris right behind. Uh, a bit more to the front though. In fourth position at the moment, trying to uh, defend fifth at the moment. Uh, Elliot Potter's back on Sam Green Gomez again. Uh, this is almost a deja vu of uh, the second heats, which uh, only felt like five minutes ago, as uh, time has absolutely flown by. But down the main straight, and uh, at the moment, it is the battle. The number 17 on the outside of the 77. It's close between those two. The 17 with the inside line at Billy's and managing to nearly stick it right on the inside, but ahead once he goes. So Elliot Potter up into fourth position. Riley Till, the number 44, up into sixth. Charging on towards that fifth position uh, of the other drivers up there. Riley Till doing some great overtakes today. And uh, so is Elliot Potter. Uh, who, by the way, Elliot Potter with the fastest lap time of 40.88. That is the fastest of this race so far. So Ethan Griffiths followed by Jaden Mead, followed by Max Lovell. Elliot Potter up into fourth position. Sam Green Gomez in fifth. Riley Till in sixth. Uh, Bella Fairclough up into seventh position. Uh, some uh, great finishes so far for Bella this, uh, this round. Ava Morris up two positions at last lap as well. So doing well so far today. Uh, at the moment though, Riley Till not being able to break away from that other pack that is behind him. 
Uh, that train is very, very firm. But uh, one that is breaking away a little bit is our top two of uh, Ethan Griffiths and Jaden Mead. Uh, they now have a 1.1 uh, second lead ahead of Max Lovell. He's uh, just comfortably staying in third at the moment. Elliot Potter is charging behind uh, with Sam Green Gomez powering through as well. But like I said, Riley Till has a bit of a crew behind him, uh, but he is not leading that pack no more. It is uh, better Fairclough that's uh, up ahead of that pack with some uh, great results so far and uh, charging up the pack. But let's see where she ends up. We still have Ava Morris uh, behind. But it's still Ethan Griffiths leading by over half a second and that gap is still improving. Ethan, uh, Elliot Potter, sorry, uh, still with the fastest lap time of a 40.88. Uh, so that's unchanged from now. But uh, Bella Fairclough is leading a heavy train of four at the moment as they're back to a starting to fly off a little bit. But the 17 already trying to catch up again to the top three. Will he be able to make it into the top three? Uh, Elliot Potter has Max Lovell as his uh, next target as such. So over the line come our leaders once again. And here comes the train of, uh, well, the Bella Fairclough train, we'll call it. Uh, that uh, she is currently leading with Ava Morris right behind. Uh, once again, another very competitive uh, cadet out there today. Riley Till in that as well. It's a very competitive three, uh, I've got to say. Harry Frell in that lot as well. Just a little bit further behind, though. We're still going through the gap. Uh, between second and third is over one and a half seconds. And uh, we'll stick with this uh, Bella train as uh, they come over the line right now. Uh, Bella Fairclough still sticking in there and setting the fastest lap time as well. A 40.75 matched by Ava Morris. So those two are really powering on three together. It's always great to see some duplicate times out there. The 17 catching on the backside of... Max Lovell currently, so that gap is closing up each time as well. Going through Ethan Griffiths, Jaden Mead. That gap is very slowly closing. Uh, Bella still leading a little train still, uh, but the number 17, Elliot Potter, still catching up onto the back of Max Lovell with. We could see something happen in the next couple of laps. As uh, the number 17 is really closing that gap. Number 77 losing a little bit of time. And a fair club charging towards Sam Green Gomez. But it won't take too long. We've still got a couple of laps. Number 17 right behind now. As you can see on the 97 of Max Lovell going into Billy's. Will, he, will the 17 go down the inside? No, sticking behind for now, trying to firm that fourth position and waiting for the right moment as he does it right now into the hairpin. And he has done it up into another position, but it's still not firm just yet. Round he goes through the horseshoe and towards buttons and is ahead for now. Up into third position goes Elliot Potter charging on through. So let's give you a reorder on the YouTube live stream. Ethan Griffiths followed by Jaden Mead, then uh, Elliot Potter with a Max Lovell behind, and then Sam Green Gomez making that a trio. Uh, Bennett Fairclough and Eva Morris sticking together in a pack of two, and then another two just behind. That's the uh, 84 and 44 of Harry Farrell and Riley Till. And I did miss the last lap, but this is the last lap on this one, so uh, it could all... Not much can change now, so <laughs> I've missed the last lap. So, ladies and gentlemen, coming down the main straight now will be your winner for Heat 3 for the Honda Cadets. 
And that is Ethan Griffiths, followed by Jaden Mead in second position. And ooh, very interesting ending there for the top, those three. Elliot Porter in third, Max Lovell in fourth. Sam Green Gomez takes uh, fifth. And better fair club for the better train, taking sixth position, holding behind Ava Morris, Harry Farrell, Riley Till. Tenth position goes to Travis Rose. That is your top ten right there for the Honda Cadets. So that is it for the Honda Cadets for their three heats. They'll be all down to the finals later on to who will be taking that top three positions. So we'll be back with them later on today. Meanwhile, we'll be off to the Minimaxes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What an interesting race that was. It's pretty awesome. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's time now for the Minimaxes for their final heat of today. Plenty still to happen in this one. What are we going to get? It could all come close. Who knows? But we'll find out at the end of this one. As a, a few people start running away. To get a good position down the billies. <laughs> So here we are at the top bend now. Coming, well, charging on down. It's time for the Mini Maxes for their third heat. Let's see what we get from all of these drivers. Who's going to be out ahead at the start with Billy's? And uh, one driver in particular is storming away. And that's number 18 of oh, Freddie Baker currently flying away. Going around at the hairpin towards the horseshoe. A couple of drivers making a few positions changes uh, near the back of the grid. But we've still got plenty of time yet to go. Uh... So let's get your running order. Freddie Baker. Uh, certainly going out to the live stream. <laughs> uh, Freddie Baker out in first, Martin Wright, then Jack West, Oscar O'Sullivan in fourth, Joshua Withcombe in fifth. Uh, I'm only saying it on the live stream because there is a ton we going out. I think it's just ended. <laughs> so uh, just whilst that tiny was going out, uh, Freddie Baker in first, followed by Martin Wright, then Jack West. That is your top three at the moment. Uh, got a shout out on YouTube to Jerick Metters. Uh, the novice out there in the Minimax, starting 12th on the grid. Go, go, nephew. Watching from... Ooh, watching from Thailand. I don't know why I got really excited on that one. Lucy Fairclough laughing face a better Fairclough train. Yes. Yes, indeed. Right, back to the action. A couple of spins off down at uh, the hairpin there. Yeah, you're not wrong there, Lucy. Uh, they did work very well together. A um, little bit of uh, girl power there. <laughs> so let's get your reorder whilst I'm just reading a few of the YouTube comments that are being left. Uh, it's always great to have some, uh, some of you pop on in every now and then to uh, have a little chat. It's always good fun. Meanwhile, with the action for the Minimaxes, a uh, couple of spins leaving one a little bit buried in the tie wall at the moment. Uh, but meanwhile, Freddie Baker is in first position at the moment, followed by Jack Weston, Joshua Withcombe, then Lucas Howell in fourth position at the moment. Kai uh, Vetic in part number 75 in fifth. Uh, fast lap time goes to f number 45 at the moment, which is the, uh, Joshua Withcombe doing a 36.50. Once I can get it out. So through the back goes Freddie Baker with a very charging Jack West right behind. 
as they go around the hairpin and towards the horseshoe next. So let's go down the main straight. Number 18, followed by the 92, followed by the 45, followed by the 19. I'm almost going into uh, auction spec on the voice then. <laughs> the number 18 is out ahead. Freddie Baker is a charging other three drivers right behind as third position of Joshua Withcombe goes on for the second. It's all very close behind there. Lucas Howell looking at an opportunity at the same time. And uh, it's all a few changes going on. Uh, so down the main straight, let's get a reorder because these top four are absolutely on one. Freddie Baker followed by Joshua Withcom, followed by Jack West, then Lucas Howell. As second position goes on, Freddie Baker is too wide. They both touch and both lose positions. Freddie just managing to keep it in at the moment. Uh, but it looks like Jack West and Lucas Howell gaining two positions due to that bold move. Uh, made by Joshua Withkin there. Uh, it's caused both him and Freddie a couple of positions, but they're still in the battle there. They're still in the train of four. Uh, so it can all still be played for, but let's keep on going through. Through to Billy's. There's your update. Jack West leading at the moment. Uh, Freddie Baker actually getting back up into second, so uh, not too much of an issue for him at the moment. Lucas Howell is the one who gained uh, an extra spot during that little mess. Round the hairpin. And uh, towards the horseshoe, they go. Freddie Baker has just been given a contact warning. Uh, I'm going to guess for that little mess. Um, but we'll carry on. Top bend. And it's Jack West who is uh, currently leading this little pack right here. Lucas Howell is sticking in behind Freddie. Will we see any moves made by him? Joshua Withkin sticking behind as well in that fourth. Uh, just for now, by the way, Lucas Howell down the inside of Freddie Baker going up into second position uh, just at the start of the hairpin. But uh, Freddie is sticking behind. Uh, but number 45 as well, Joshua Withkin looking at move as well. They touch between the two. A little tap there between Freddie and Joshua but they're still closing uh, close together. It's all very touch and go with these drivers out here for this final heat. As they go through the S's, Jack West and Lucas Howard clear of the other two at the moment. We've still got plenty of time though to go. Two minutes, 11 left on the clock. Freddie Baker ahead of Joshua Withcombe at the moment. Freddie Baker given yet another contact warning in this race. So down the main straight we go. We're into Billy's. Lucas Howell getting really close to Jack West. And it's going to be a similar story between Freddie Baker and Joshua Withcombe as well. Those two are going down as uh, the number 45 goes down the inside of Freddie Baker. Getting up into third and sticking it as well. So managing to get ahead of Freddie Baker, but that could still change. The both drivers have been very aggressive with their overtake so far today. So around the top bend and down the main straight we go. Let's get a redo of the order. The number 19, Lucas Howell, right on the back of Jack West. And Freddie Baker looking for the inside on the number 45 of Joshua Withcombe. So Freddie Baker now moving up a position yet again. It is very close between these four drivers a minute left on the clock it could all change number 19 almost having a look again for another move uh joshua withcomb uh losing a little bit of time through the hairpin and the horseshoe but here we go ladies and gentlemen back again with the change of the order lucas howell looking for the outside as he does, he goes for the outside move at the entrance of Billy's. Does he get to stick it? He does. Defending that inside line as best as he can. Down the back straight. Freddie Baker's still ahead. And he spins at the yeses. He spun at the horseshoe. Freddie Baker has just lost out there. Going too wide on the sausage curb. 
And has unfortunately spun out of that contention for third. So there it is. Freddie Baker out of the top three. Which is uh, allowed Joshua Withcombe just managing to stick out of the way of uh, the spin as well. Uh, but that is Freddie Baker down the order, unfortunately, due to his spin at the sausage curb coming out of the S's there. That was all very action-packed <laughs> in a few moments. Uh, but we'll be leading on to the last lap now. Freddie Baker down in eighth position, unfortunately. Uh, he had some very good battles there. So we can still see it all happening. K uh, Kai Beach uh, still in f uh, fourth position very comfortably. But it's time for the last lap now. Brought to you by Lucas Howe in first position. As we go through the S's, down the back straight. Still... Getting a little bit close. Jack West has sort of backed off a little bit. As we go around the hairpin, uh, horseshoe even, and through buttons. And ladies and gentlemen, we'll be coming to the end of this heat. Coming down the main straight is your leader who has battled for this one very well. But it is Lucas Howell taking the checkered flag for the Minimax heat number three, followed by Jack West. Then Joshua Withcombe with that third position. Kai in number 75 getting that fourth. Jerick Metters, uh, who got the shout out earlier. Uh, the novice out there. Number uh, getting fifth position in uh, cart number 53. Oscar O'Sullivan in sixth. Harry Cottrell in seventh. Uh, a very unfortunate Freddie Baker down in eighth. Uh, Ethan Carney in ninth, Charlie Parker 10th, and uh, rounding out the grid, uh, Martin Wright down in 11. But what an action-packed heat that was. That uh, does make me interested in what the uh, final's going to be for the Mini Maxes. They'll be out later on. But next up, Virginia Rotax. Wowzers! That was absolutely crazy! <laughs> Man, what a heat. <laughs> I, I do feel sorry for Freddy Baker, but he, he went a bit wide coming up on, going onto the sausage curve and he uh, spun on it. Um, it's a bit of a lottery going on that curb. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the... Uh, junior road tax as uh, the number 20 spins come in uh, just over the line there. I'm not sure what happened. But uh, my god, I'm still getting over that mini max uh, heat three. Well done to all the drivers, especially the uh, top three and Freddie Baker. But let's get into this. This. This uh, third heat for the junior road tax. This could be interesting indeed for the juniors. So let's see what we get as they come to the top bend very quickly, mind. Is this going to be a go-ahead? It is not. We are uh, going round once again. As uh, they are very speedy coming up uh, through the top bend. So we'll redo, see and get a restart. And hopefully they'll all be uh, side by side, all bunched up, ready to go. Uh, good fifth, considering the grid position, they they bloody fly. No, never watched before. Oh, it is good fun to watch these. Um, yeah, very well done to uh, very good to Jarek Metas. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't I didn't really commentate on him much. Unfortunately, yeah, just where it was a very hectic start or a very hectic race at the front of the grid. But very well done to him though. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can get a restart for these. And it is indeed, it is a go for the Junior Rotax on heat number three. Is it going to be as action-packed as the Mini Maxes? We shall find out very shortly as a couple of drivers are already breaking away from the bulk of the pack. That is the number nine, Ollie Stevens. Out ahead at the moment. Uh, he is the one flying away from the rest of the pack. So coming around the through to buttons and towards the top bend 
let's give you this order for the start of this race. So, Ollie Stevens is currently leading, followed by Alexander Senna, then Finn Smith, Charles Green in fourth position, making a uh, place up on Saul Kornberg in car number 13. Meanwhile, the number 70 getting a little bit sideways as uh, Finn Smith has made up a position uh, through Billy's and towards the S's. So Finn already on a charge, uh, just like a couple of uh, races ago as well. So coming down the main straight, what are we going to get from these drivers? As uh, we go over the line with Ollie Stevens still out ahead, fastest lap as well currently. Uh, I say currently, just in case any other driver goes ahead, he does go fastest, 34.99, so just dipping out of the 35s. Uh, first and second are a bit clear of the rest of the pack. Alexander Senna does have a few drivers behind him, uh, so that could change at any point. It's that battle for third position, all close together. Sol Kornberg leads in seven positions that last lap. Not sure what's happened for him, but uh, nevertheless, we shall continue on and watch this battle for third as somebody using the grass there, as I just saw on the... Uh, as I switched cameras, uh, just managed to uh, see the grass uh, using as much of the track and contact made between the 77 and I think that was 70, uh, 70 there. Uh, just clipping a bit too fast, going to the entrance of the S's. Uh, has lost both of them a few positions, but the 77 well out of contention. Charles Green there, uh, not really sure what happened. He just didn't slow down, or didn't expect the driver in front to slow down. Uh, Finn Smith for the fast lap time, 34.53 in second position. Daniel Tribe up two positions. Alexander Senna, I was correct, in cart number 70 was the one who uh, did get hit there. Uh, down in seventh, but hopefully we'll be able to make a few positions up once again. Ollie Stevens clear for 1.13 of a gap to Finn Smith at the moment. Uh, everything is at the moment. But we shall see as we keep flying on down. Let's see that battle for third once again, because it is very close together. Different colours this time, though. Uh, Daniel Tribe in third, Alfie Davis in fourth. Leo Purchase up a position in the middle of that lot as well. Uh, taking over Gal uh, Callum Gosh in cart number 88. Alexander Senna is in that lot as well, uh, with the unfortunate contact earlier on. Uh, Charles Green in the number 77 did get a contact warning for that one. Uh, But uh, it's all gone to a uh, single form. The number 13 and uh, 20 there, I think, just having a uh, little bit of contact made between the two. Uh, not sure why. So through the S's, we have our battle for third position. It's between the number 61, 76 and 71. Daniel Tribe, Alfie Davies and Leo Purchase. Uh, those three drivers are the ones that are more in contention for that third position at the moment as we go around the horseshoe and towards and uh, through buttons and uh, pass the Ukrainian flag to the top bend. Let's see what we get from these drivers, giving you an update on what's going on on the YouTube live stream as well uh, with the running order. And there's another change between Leo Purchase and Alfie Davies by the looks of it uh, as the number 71 gets ahead of the 76. Uh, at Billy's, so some more changes are still upcoming. Some great driving from these guys already. A little bit of contacts made earlier, but still very good. Finn Smith, by the way, catching up with uh, Ollie Stevens. Uh, that gap is under a second, and uh, Finn is absolutely charging out there uh, with everything that's going on. Uh, so we'll leave those two to it whilst we uh, focus a little bit more on the uh, mid-pack uh, with Daniel Tribe, Leo Purchase, Alfie Davies and Callum Gosh. Uh, Callum Gosh is in a separate battle of his own a little bit further back. So around the horseshoe, through buttons and towards the top bend, we go for yet another lap. Two minutes 50 left on the clock. This is absolutely flying by, this heat. Uh, just like the Minimax is absolutely flying by as well. Down the inside, the 71 on Daniel Tribe. 
Leo Perch is making it up into third position now, going down the back straight ahead of his fellow, uh, of the fellow driver there. Two by twos going into the hairpin there by uh, a couple more than mid packs behind the uh, third position trains. So That's a 76, 44, 68, and oh, unfortunately I just missed out on the last number. But we'll keep going. We'll give you an update on any other changes. Ben Crossley given a contact warning down in eighth position. Leo Purchase again there up into third position. And uh, no other changes elsewhere at the moment. And it is a train from the number 76. Alfie Davies is uh, holding out that fifth. Well, that battle for fifth is getting stronger with a lot more drivers. Being, meanwhile, I mean, you said Bean Wilder, uh, down the main straight goes your leader of Ollie Stevens, but that could still change. Finn Smith visually getting very closer and uh, also on the timing, cutting down a few thousandths of a second each lap uh, on Ollie Stevens. So, all still to play for, all still to try. Meanwhile, back down in that. Battle a little bit further down. Uh, the number 44 getting stuck on the driver that was with him. is now going back to two by twos. Uh, just watching that one play out uh, near the back. Uh, someone not happy there with a wave of the arm. As I uh, flick my head to the timing screen. So this is the battle I want to watch now, and uh, a lot of you probably do want to watch at home. It's the battle with the number 88. Callum Davis, uh, sorry, Callum Gosh making uh, up three positions. Uh, Benjamin Bartley giving a contact warning as well uh, for a few mishaps that happened on that couple of ones as well. Uh, Archie Bottles down in 11th position. Glad to see he's managed to get back out after uh, his issue on the previous one. The 76, was that going majorly wide? Meanwhile, Finn Smith uh, still in second position, setting a fast slap time of 34-4-3, and he is showing his pace because he is right on the back end of Ollie Stevens. So we'll keep an eye on him. I'll make sure to keep an eye on him as well through this one as uh, we go through the back straight for a lot of the uh, mid-pack drivers at the moment. But we'll go down the main straight. We'll give you an order update as well. So the gap between Ollie Stevens and Finn Smith has shrunk to uh, 0.2 of a second. So very close between the two drivers now. Uh, meanwhile, the rest of the pack, Leo Purchase is chilling in third position with a little bit of a gap between him and Daniel Tribe. Alfie Davies is in fifth. And then, like I said, Callum Gosh is leading a, uh, leading a little bit of a pack at the moment. But let's keep an eye on Finn Smith. He's making some promising opportunities in a moment. Uh, by the way, this was the last lap. <laughs> Get carried away a little bit. Unfortunately, Finn Smith in second position. Uh, Ollie Stevens winning that one. And uh, we'll follow up with uh, Leo Purchase in third. Daniel Tribe in fourth. Alfie Davis in fifth. Callum Gosh in sixth. Benjamin Bartlett uh, up in seventh. Ben Crosley in eighth. Lucas Hayden in ninth. Alexander Senna in 10th, Archie Buttle in uh, 11th, uh, Rufus Flan 12th, Charles Green 13th, Saul Kornberg unfortunately down in the 14th there, and then uh, Kaiser Riemann in 15th position to end out the top, well, end out the grid. So that is it for the Junior Rotax. We'll see them again later on in their final. Let's go off to the FP4 World Formulas. So they'll be up next. And just like the chart, the comments said, if you uh, haven't hit that like button yet, please like that like button. It really does uh, make me feel good. And also hit subscribe if you haven't yet as well, because uh, there is some content coming from round two. Right, after some two very action-packed heat threes, gets me excited for the finals uh, it's time for the biggest grid of the day to come out onto the track which is the fp4 world formulas uh, for their final heat so a very big grid we shall see what happens and again i do like it it is a grid start 
Luke F96 racing on YouTube. Hello. Hello to you too. So let's see what these world formulas can do once again. It's always great to uh, see large grids like this and uh, this big and uh, I saw that Darren. <laughs> Good old Darren Weaver. Pressing all the wrong buttons again. So here we go. As they are starting to grid up on the grid. Get ready for this one because it all gets close to begin with. So, so number 89 gets pushed back by Darren Weaver. Let's see what we get from the world formulas. Awesome drive in. Leo purchase number 71. Go Kimmy. Right, let's see what we get, ladies and gentlemen, as we get the grid start once again from the World Formulas FP4s. Heat number three is underway as we get going for the start of this one. Who's going to be ending out on front? In front? On front? There it is. And it's one of the drivers that did start on that pole position on that front row. It is the number 89 followed by the three. So Adam Malins is the one that gets ahead uh, so far. Obviously, it's only just begun, so we've still got plenty of time left to go. As uh, a couple of spins down at the back. A very large grid. It's always great to see this many drivers, like I said earlier. So let's get your updates on the screen if you're watching on the YouTube live stream. 25 drivers out on track. Not going to mention all 25, unfortunately. We're going to mention your top five. So Rob Teague, followed by Adam Malins and Gavin McGill. Uh, Orlando Venturi up into fourth position. And Joshua Francis in uh, fifth position. There is a spin up there, up in Billy's as well. Uh, losing quite a few positions there. That's the only other problem with a massive grid. If you do make a mistake, it could cost you a dozen places. Meanwhile, our uh, previous heat winner, number seven, uh, Gavin McGill, up into second position now, making up a good few places. Uh, it's always great to see that one as well. So down the main straight we come back for yet another changeover on the carts. Rob Teague still leading this one, but has a charging at, uh, Gavin McGill out there. In second position, Adam Marlins is defending that third position so far at the moment. As we keep flying through the order once again. Gavin McGill making sure he has uh, a little bit of a gap behind him. Checking what sort of gap he has. Uh, Adam Marlins is catching up with that one though. We shall see what happens between those uh, very shortly. Coming down the main straight now. McGill is really catching up to Rob Teague. Adam Allen is still defending that third. Has Olindo Venturi behind though as they go down the main straight and going on the other side of the sausage. Adam Mallins. Uh there. That was a very... Very close to the barriers uh, there. A little uh, brown pants moment uh, probably for that driver, but uh, we'll keep flying through. Buttons, they go, and towards the top bend. Gavin McGill getting very closer now as we go down the main straight to finish off yet another lap of this, uh, this heat. Just over five minutes to go. And plenty of time. Tw like I said, 25 drivers is absolutely crazy. So keep on going, and I've just seen Gavin McGill. He had such a great start, but he spun it at Billy's, which uh, promotes Adam Mallins up one, and uh, everyone else as well up a position. He's uh, lost quite a few spots there, unfortunately. As we keep flying on through, we'll see how much of a recovery drive he can do. He's uh, currently chilling down in eighth position at the moment. Showing some promising signs there, but unfortunately losing it at Billy's, uh, which is a real shame, but we shall still fly through and uh, get 
this one underway. So Adam Mallins in second position, Orlando Venturi up into third, Tony Lamb in fourth, Jamie Trailer in fifth, Joshua Francis sixth, third position is Alec, uh, Alan Jackers. Zami, oh, I haven't mentioned him yet uh, in this race so far, down in, uh, oh, up into eighth position. Uh, and Gavin McGill leads in seven positions that lap down in eighth. Uh, sorry, ninth. I'll uh, be able to get the right numbers uh, someday. That lead for Rob Teague is 1.36 uh, seconds. Sammy also claiming the fastest lap so far of this race. The 41.08 that uh, Sam did last lap. So some good changes here. Uh, Orlando Venturi is down five positions. Uh, unfortunately, didn't see what was going on there, checking all the timings of uh, who else is where. Ian Fisher losing a position that lap as well. Uh, Keith Robertson managing to get ahead to number 73 on the 21 uh, during that lap. But uh, let's carry on. Let's keep an eye on what else is going on. Uh, that gap for number three is 2.15 seconds with the number nine, Jamie Trailer behind. And it is that battle for third. Three of them for third. Who is the one who's going to be out on top for the end of this one? We'll keep an eye on those as a little bit further back. Down the inside move there. And side by side they go. Uh, those two drivers being the uh, number 68 and 8, both having a little tussle between themselves. Uh, once again, Gavin McGill making the place up, trying to get back up the order uh, after his little mistake that he had at Billy's. But Adam Allen still out ahead in third, does have Tony Lamb behind, uh, as well as Joshua Francis uh, too, as they go on round. They're very close together. Nearly side by side, but uh, managing to stick out ahead. Just coming up to the top bend and down the main straight. Still not a lot of changes between these guys. Just over two minutes left on the clock as well. Through the S's and down the back straight goes the number 40 of Tony Lamb leading that third place position at the moment. Around there, unfortunately another driver at the back. A little bit slow there, having a bit of an issue but managing to limp it back into the pits. Uh, just about getting into the pits as well. Ooh, very close, but anyway we'll continue on. So, Rob T still out ahead, followed by Jamie Trailer. Uh, Tony Lamb is followed on next after that. Uh, Adam Mallins in fourth position. Sam Mee in fifth. Joshua Francis down into sixth. So, Sam Mee making it up into fifth position. Uh, Sam Mee today has been on... I would say on fire with uh, making up positions throughout today. Gavin McGill... Still chilling in eighth position at the moment. Does have cart number eight in front. Uh, so being able to catch up slowly. Uh, I don't think there'll be enough time to get near the top spots, unfortunately, due to uh, that spin. But uh, again, still all to play for. 24 drivers remain on track. Side by side goes to seven and eight. Number seven, Miguel getting the inside line and getting ahead on that one. So now up into 7th position goes Gavin McGill in his cart number 7. <laughs> 30 seconds left on the clock. Are we going to be... Or I think we'll be able to squeeze out an additional lap of this race as well. So Rob Teague is still leading by 1.3 seconds, uh, well, 1.03 seconds, sorry, uh, ahead of Jamie Trader. Sammy up into fourth position, best lap time of 40.96, fastest lap of this race too. It's all getting very close for these legs last few laps. So around we go, the horseshoe is where your leader is at at the moment. Uh, Gavin McGill, like I said, was up into 7th position. Not sure if he'll have enough time to get any further up, but there is plenty of time to go. A lot more still can happen. So, down the main straight we go for our last lap, ladies and gentlemen. The last lap board is out, and uh, let's see what we can get from all of these drivers so far. Will Jamie Trailer be able to catch up enough 
to whack out that first position spot, or would it be comfortably in second? Tony Lamb has Sam Me, a very charging Sam Me behind. As they're going around the hairpin towards and through the horseshoe. And towards the top end we go. So ladies and gentlemen, it will be checkered flag time for your leader for quite some time. Car number three takes a checkered flag followed by very closely Jamie Trailer and Sam Mee just on the line getting uh, third position. Tony Lamb in fourth, Adam Mullins in fifth, Joshua Francis in sixth position, Kevin McGill imagine to finish in seventh, Alan Jackies in eighth, Orlando Venturi in ninth and then rounding out the top ten, Michael Marison in tenth position for the FP4 World Formulas. That ends out their final heat of round number two. So Still got a lot more to go for, and it's the Junior Blues next. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Chocolate time. We're <laughs> getting rather peckish. Right, so it's Junior Blue time for their third heat. Let's see what we get from these seven drivers out on the track for this for this race day. So top bend they are on their way down to start their third heat of today. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the Junior Blues for heat number three. Will it be spread out like heat number two? We shall find out very shortly as we go around the top bend. Uh, to the billies, not top bend. Uh, three billies and down through the S's. A spin there by one of the drivers at the back. But let's see who is out in front by the end of this one so far. The mount out in front is that number one of Sam Mitchell. He's uh, just flown away from the rest of the grid. And it was a number five Mitchell Carpenter who's been very competitive today. Has uh, fortunately spun there. But let's see the order for you also. Sam Mitchell followed by Ben Gillett in second position, followed by Jamie Branfield. Then Reese Reed is in fourth. Jamie Dart in 5th, Rudy Winslow Morton in 6th, and then in 7th position is Mitchell Carpenter, who has just been over the line uh, very shortly. So it'll be interesting to see what these Junior Blues do later on in their final. A couple of very competitive drivers. Um, but what we have noticed today is they do start, tend to spread out uh, after a little while. So through the S's they go now. And down the back straight for the leader. There's a pack for second at the moment. Uh, very close together. Uh, Jimmy Branfield, Ben Gillett and uh, Reese Reed. They're the three looking for a second position spot. So let's watch them as they go around the top bend and towards down through for another lap.
Jamie Branfield still leading this one. Uh, one of the novices out there as well, so it's a very good day for him. Number 33 behind as well, and uh, Reese Reed just in the back of that lot, so hopefully he'll be able to uh, make a few spots soon. As we have a look at a few spots, the third position is at threat. Reese Reed is making a couple of moves, potentialities here. As we go to the top bend, he's looking left, looking right. Trying to either go down the inside or the outside. And a search at Billy's. He just sticks behind just for now. Is he going to wait until the yeses? We shall find out. And he's just sticking behind for now. Uh, using that second S's curb. And down the outside, he's going right now for that inside move. And uh, sticking out ahead now, up into third position now. Around the horseshoe they go. So his next target would be Jamie uh, Bradfield in second position. But still plenty of time to play for in this heat. And just a reminder, whilst uh, we're here, there is a link down in the description of this video, uh, which is a charity to uh, that is helping Ukraine um, in their current crisis. Uh, we're doing our best to raise, uh, uh, raise slash gather a load of money uh, together to donate towards uh, Ukraine uh, with the... I have forgotten the no! My brain has gone blank for the charity. <laughs> That's bad. Throughout the DEC, uh, the Disasters Emergency Committee. Um, so if you do want to help him out, uh, please feel free to hit that uh, link down in below. Uh, Pearson Bakes, what class is this? This is the Junior Blues. Uh, it's on the top right of the screen. We have the uh, name of the heat. So just over three and a half minutes to go. Sam Mitchell still leading this one at the moment, followed by Jamie Bradfield. Reese Reed is in third position at the moment, followed by Ben Gillett. Uh, those top four have uh, started to spread out just a little bit. Uh, meanwhile, near the back, Rudy <laughs> Winslow Morton and Jamie Dart. Uh, just seems to be a bit of deja vu between these two. Uh, having a little bit of a battle. Uh, they've done it every single heat, so it's uh, great to see those two having a battle. Uh, but yeah, again, it's that top four that are spread uh, spread out. Uh, Sam Mitchell, 3.5 second lead on Jamie Bradfield. Reese Reed uh, is the one with the fastest lap so far, 36.38. And that slowly goes in a gap uh, between them as well. Reese Reed is slowly catching up on Jamie Bradfield as well. You can see it as he goes through. That is, I've missed a few spots. So number four, Jamie Dodge, just uh, parking up on the outside of, uh, just on the exit of the pit lane there. Uh, Jamie Bradfield losing a couple of positions that race, I'm not sure. Oh, and he's off as well, by the looks of things. So, a couple of drivers missing out there. It's a shame for uh, Jamie Bradfield. He is uh, chilling in a very comfortable position there. But uh, losing a couple of drivers there. So, down to five drivers out on track as it uh, spreads out the field even further. These gaps getting rather large. Ben Gillett by now probably over 13 seconds between him and fourth I'm going to confirm it is over 13 seconds 13.16 seconds is the gap between fourth and third which uh, really slows down this heat for the junior blues So Sam Mitchell ahead by uh, 4.65 seconds. Priest Reed is still holding that fastest lap at the moment. 
going through the S's and down the back straight. As uh, blue flags are shown to cart five, Mitchell Carpenter. But with 46 seconds to go, uh, there's not really much to report on out there. The uh, Junior Blue is very spread. It's more of a case to see if uh, Reese Reeve can uh, bring down those, uh, well, bring up, uh, bring down his times to uh, close that gap. Unfortunately, it's uh, not happening so far. These gaps are absolutely massive. Rudy Winslow Morton, 15 seconds behind Ben Gillett, Mitchell Carpenter, 12 seconds behind Rudy. Uh, I think 15 second gap is the biggest we've had all day today. Uh, set by the Junior Blues and uh, I think it's uh, now being further settled by the Junior Blues. Uh, whilst the number 5 gets given a blue flag. Bit of confusion between uh, the 5 and the 1 there. So we'll be on to last lap now on this race. Sam Mitchell that has uh, absolutely dominated this one. As uh, second position and fifth come along as uh, that was, sorry, the checkered flag. Missing out on a lot. Getting a bit confused there with the uh, time and uh, what's going on <laughs> on track. Uh, but yeah, Sam Mitchell uh, Taking the checkered flag on that one. Uh, not sure what quite happened on that, but anyway, uh, that is it for the Junior Blues. A very, very empty race uh, with the competitive side of things. It all happens at the start and the matured out to the end. So here we go ladies and gentlemen, time to bring up the tempo a little bit with the senior Rotax. They are out there on track now, as they are about to absolutely flood us with some action here at the circuit. Let's see what they can do in their third and final heat of the day. So going, coming down the top bend now, down the main straight, let's go for the Senior Rotax. Heat number three, as uh, one of the leaders goes a little bit too wide out there, through the S's, and out in front is number 72, followed by the 90. Uh, I'm not gonna say that, I think it's the wrong number, but anyway, we'll carry on, going round through. We'll find out who is where very shortly. As we go round through to the top of buttons, uh, the number 48 managing to make it out onto the track. A little late entry, but here we go. So let's get your running order. So it's Harrison Crook followed by Ben Page. I was correct. Elliot Barrel in car number 91 in third, and Jack Maven in fourth. So is Ben Page going to be able to creep up to the top?
So let's get this order update as Ben Page is looking down for an inside line going into Billy's and does so indeed. Gets out ahead and defends his line straight away. As we go down the back straight, yellow flags out at Billy's. Can't see what's happened though. Someone's fun. There we go. <laughs> going through the hairpin towards the horseshoe. The number 90 just ahead of Harrison Crook there. Ben Page showing his performance very well today. I'm counting on you this time, Ben Fichetti. <laughs> what, to get you another pint? <laughs> Oh, golden snow. Good laugh. Ben Page storing ahead of the lead. 72 there. The number 88 going a little bit wide, allowing the 17 of Jack Maidman to go out ahead. As we keep flying on through, Cameron Crockett giving a uh, contact warning earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope you get you another point. <laughs> in a way, but not in a way. Currently in sixth though, so still every opportunity. Fourth going up into third right now. All very defending, 17 and uh, 88, I believe it is, uh, having a battle between each other. Uh, Trying to get up a few positions, but let's get your order up for you on the YouTube live stream. We are live, so if you do want to check it out, uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, and support your drivers if you want to. And leave a like as well if you could, please. Many thanks. So, Ben Page followed by Harrison Crook, then Jack Maidman and Cameron Crockett in fourth position. Daniel Beards in fifth. Ben Fichetti up into sixth position. Magic Camara in seventh. See if they'll be able to fly through. Currently stuck behind Ben Fichetti at the moment. Defending uh, as best as he can for now. Keep flying through. Ben Page still leading this one at the current time. Ben Fichetti is down. Go losing a few positions and gets caught up in a bit of a collision there. Uh, number 30 trying down the inside and uh, it looks like there's a massive squeeze between the two uh, and it looks like there was damage to Ben Fichetti's car there as well. Not really sure what happens as he uh, falls over the fence. <laughs> Didn't catch it on camera unfortunately but yeah he fell through the, uh, over the fence. Uh, but unfortunately that is uh, Ben Fichetti out. Benjamin Ballou given a contact warning for that one. So, very all action packed there. Got stuck right on him and uh, spun him, uh, each other out. Uh, driver is okay, which is good news. Let's carry on through this one. As uh, Ben Page flying through uh, with a best lap time of a 33.84, which is the fastest lap of this race, uh, 1.75 seconds ahead. Harrison Crook trying to catch up, uh, but does have Jack Maven, Cameron Crockett and Daniel Beards behind him as well. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, just a bit of heavy contact, uh, which is uh, put him out of the race I think he might be able to get up and going again uh, he didn't try and get going again but uh, yeah he's fine I can't get my points if he's dead he's not dead don't be silly <laughs> so two minutes 30 on the clock with uh, Ben Page leading this by a little bit of a country mile so far as uh, we come on down uh Going on round, Th second, third and fourth are in contention for each other. It looks like Ben Fichetti might be getting going again, who knows? As uh, fourth goes on into, up into third position there. Cameron Crockett making a move on Jack Maidman there, but they could still change it yet again. 
as uh, they got the number 72 up ahead as well. As I... So the 48 getting out of the way there, that's Bertie Wellesley. Uh, it was a late start to this race uh, due to an issue, I believe. But uh, still managing to get going. And uh, Ben Fichetti up into the pits. So that is the end of his race. I think it ended, did end five laps ago, to be fair. That's a 90 of Ben Page leading by 2.61 seconds. And that has gone up to three now. As uh, another great move there by the number 72 of Harrison Crook to uh, regain second. But down the inside and a skate across uh, was... <laughs> let's go confirm that one. Uh, was the number 17, Jack Maybert, making uh, some... Uh, Slidey moves, that has uh, unfortunately not stuck with him, unfortunately. And uh, did I just see that correctly? Uh, just carrying on through uh, as we go over the line. Uh, ben Page, who was running in first, was darted into the pits. The leader, who was leading by three seconds, has had either an issue or something, which has changed this race up completely. Uh, especially with only a few seconds uh, left on the clock and a few laps. So that's put the number 72 of Harrison Crook right up into first. Followed by Jack Maidman. Uh, and then Cameron Crockett. Really not sure what happened there for Ben Page. I was looking for a very comfortable uh, finishing position for himself. But it's last lap. Harrison Crook, Jack Maidman, Cameron Crockett, Daniel Beers, Magic Camera. That is a pack of five. Magic Camera trying to look down the outside. As they all go flying down the back straight. Round the hairpin they go. It's going to be a very close finish between all five of these drivers. Again, some more moves down the inside. The 88 trying to get in there. Cameron Crockett. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Top bend. It's going to be a close call for all of these. Who's going to be ending it out in front as we go down through the number 72. Followed by 17 and 88. Harrison Crook taking the checkered flag. For that one, followed by Jack Mayman in second position, Cameron Cro Crockett in third, Daniel Beers fourth, and Magic Camara in fifth position. All five of those drivers really close together, uh, and unfortunately losing uh, Ben Page in that race right near the end. But he gets to take home the fastest lap, so there we go. So that's it for the Senior Road Tax. It's time for the Senior Blues. I don't think you're going to get your pint, Golden Snow. <laughs> or you're going to count a DNF as a... That's, a, that's Ben Fagetti's second DNF today, I believe. I had a great day. Running a good position. Uh, to be fair, it's, that one was, wasn't really his fault. But. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're nearing... The end of the heats here. We're on race number 23. It's the Senior Blues for their third heat of today. So like I said, we've got one more after this one. The 177 and 177 Masters. Uh, they'll be out after for their third heat. There's a lot more of the drivers start coming out. So uh, this won't be going around first time. I'm going to have a guess as the number 64 slows down uh, a lot going into Billy, so people have to keep going. Uh, but as all the rest of the drivers slowly start ticking away around the horseshoe, he might even get this going first time, who knows? And there's that the number 64 is not having a great start so far. Still right behind, so we'll see if this is a goer or not. So currently up at the top bend. Hopefully number 64 will be able to get uh, up there. That's Alex Kemp. Are we a go or no? And it is a go. We are off for the Senior Blues Heats number three. Off three. 
A lot of drivers on the outside losing quite a few positions. Three wide and a lot of touches and we're back with the car park. It's a little bit off the course this, tar uh, this time though. Uh, a couple of the drivers off the course, a couple of the drivers slow, getting back going again. As uh, they start dragging their carts back onto the track to try and get going again. So let's give you this order for the start of this race. So your leader being... Tom Parker, cart number 15, followed by Martin Wheeler, followed by Michael Benning, cart three, cart five follows, which is Paul Alexander. Adrian helps in fifth, and uh, Adrian helps get in up into uh, fifth. Uh, John Hearthstone in cart 90, up into sixth. And we'll still keep going and see what we get. Contact warning given to Anthony Cleal uh, out on the track there. Uh, yes, Pearson Bates, you have uh, missed all the Junior Rotax heats, uh, so they will be out later on for the finals. So Martin Wheeler out ahead in 95, fast lap time of 36.73 already. Uh, so, so showing some very quick uh, pace so far. Tom Parker is in second position at the moment uh, with the number 66 behind. He is a back marker, just to remind, due to the incident at the beginning. Joey Foster down there in 16th position. Uh, be, 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 be. Uh, I believe there might be a lunch break possibly a lunch break uh, after these two heats so uh, I'm not 100% sure unfortunately uh, Pearson hopefully the timekeeper can help you with that one uh, shortly so let's carry on the number 6 uh, having a bit of a spin uh multiple 360s uh, at the entrance of the horseshoe. There we go. Finally got it. <laughs> so yellow's down at uh, Billy's. Uh, can't see what's that. Oh, driver off just to the side there. Uh, not sure what's happened there, unfortunately, but Martin Reed is still leading this one, followed by Michael Bell, who's gone up into second position. Uh, a very angry driver by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, Tom Parker in third. Yep, yeah, we have a very angry driver out there. He's not happy with what's happened. Uh, so let's keep flying through this one. Who else is where? As uh, we get the number one of Anthony Cleo up into fourth position. Uh, John Hart, uh, Hart's Sean. There we go. Uh, up into fifth. Kevin O'Neill in sixth. I think it's Tom Parker that's unfortunately out of this race. Um, Chris Underhill in seventh. Rob Mortimer in eighth. Ron Schoen up two positions up into ninth position. Yes, uh, I regain where everybody is. So the number 95 of Martin Wheeler, uh, just over, going over the line there. He has a 3.21 second lead. Uh, Martin Wheeler all the way, also with the fastest lap time of a 36.18, uh, same as earlier. So at the moment, Billy's being a uh, not very good area for overtakes at the moment, uh, even though the car eight overtook. Anyway, uh, let's see what updates we can get. Let's give you the running order of so far. Martin Wheeler is still rocking that first position place at the moment. Michael Bell is there as well uh, in second, and then Paul Alexander in third. Meanwhile, let's go through. The top bend where a few changes have been made. We'll uh, focus on these guys for now. So the number 30, uh, who is chilling in 10th position, uh, followed by Robin Stoddart Stones in 11th. Adrian Helps is in that list as well. As uh, Martin Wheeler and Michael Bell are both uh, 
flying off in the lead as they head on through uh, the rest of the pack. Not too much action happening out here so far. Top bend is uh, where the action is at the moment. Uh, and that being uh, from the 30 and below. So this is more mid to back pack. Uh, so Phil Shears making a position there. Martin Wheeler, uh, the leader, is uh, slowly catching up with this pack as well for uh, ready for the lapping side of things as the Number one goes on the inside of five, going into Billy's, and through the S's they go. Let's uh, have a look at those two drivers as they go through towards the back straight now, uh, towards the through the hairpin, and uh, leaning up towards the horseshoe. Uh, those two are having a bit of a gap of their own. Anthony Clear with the fastest lap time as well, 35.99, so just creeping into the 35s. Uh, once again, two by two, come a few more. Uh, number 66 nearly getting pushed out a little bit more as uh, more of the top end of the pack uh, start again and gathering up closer together blue flags are whacked out for a couple of the drivers as well uh, as our leaders martin wheeler and uh, michael bell overtaking more of the mid pack one minute 20 left to go So just over 30 seconds left to go. Let's uh, just show you the positions on the YouTube live stream. Uh, we are live all day and we'll be live uh, later on as well for the finals, which is going to be an interesting finals with a couple of the grids that we had with the uh, third heats being very, uh, let's say ultra competitive. Um, but here we go. Going around the horseshoe is a mid pack of drivers who are all very close together. So Martin Wien has just gone over the line there. Followed by Michael Bell in second position still. Four seconds ahead. Anthony Cleal two seconds behind Michael Bell. Uh, Anthony Cleal has been charging on three of the last couple of laps uh, with the fastest lap time of 35.99 uh, that he set earlier on lap number seven as we're on lap 13 so far. But uh, we're absolutely flying through this final heat for the Senior Blues. As uh, Martin Wheeler's just already gone over the line yet again. As we are on the last lap here for the Senior Blues. Better keep an eye on where we're... Uh, Martin Wheeler is because he's in a bunch of mid-pack drivers. He's just going up into the top end now to finalize this heat. So he's been at the front from pretty much the start. Taking the checker flag for the Senior Blues heat number three. It's Martin Wheeler. And then four seconds later will be Michael Bell and Anthony Cleal for line on through as well. So there it is, check a flag, all done for Heat 3s.
So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I also just confirmed there is no lunch break today. I should have bought lunch. I'm just gonna have to eat all these chockies. So just waiting for one driver to be recovered. Uh, so I'll be back in just a moment. Oh, that's timing. I have to get a resupply for another Pepsi Max. Right, so let's get underway for the 177 and 177 Masters heat number three. Oh, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Just sprinted to my car to get a reload of Pepsi Max. <laughs> oh my god. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, let's get this final heat of the day underway with the 177 177 Masters. Let's see who gets where at the end of this one. There's uh, one driver out wide, not very happy either. So we keep running down towards the hairpin. Through the horseshoe and we'll get underway for the first lap. Uh, Pearson Bates, if you're still watching, um, they will be out in roughly probably 40 minutes time. So let's get your order. So it's James Webb, followed by Cameron Marston, followed by Tycho Simmons, Ian Branfield in fourth position, Harry Rowett up two positions, up into fifth. And it is that second, third, fourth and fifth that we'll be concentrating on just for the second. As uh, those four are very all together. The number 62 getting ahead there. Cameron Marston claiming back his second position from the other lap. Those four are very close. Like I've been saying so far as we come down the main straight. Towards three billies. And down the inside goes a fifth onto fourth position. Will he be able to stick it out? And he does indeed. Gets ahead at the S's. And goes down the back straight to... Try and catch up with James Webb, who has just flown away at the start of this one. Round the horseshoe, through buttons. That train is getting rather longer now. Top bend and down the main straight. James Webb just going over the line there. Your order on screen now. Cameron Martin in second position. Currently forking off quite a lot of rest of the drivers. A uh, little bit twitchy there from another two, the number 28, Harry Rowett and Taicho Simmons. These drivers all very close together indeed. There is no gap at all really between uh, second all the way down. It's an eighth by the looks of it. Absolutely crazy, but it's James Webb who's just flown away. And there comes the rest of the pack onto your screen. So Cameron Martin still hanging out there in second position, but it's all changing. 
down the inside and outside and all over the place. Well, it is the number 28 who goes out ahead. Again, Harry Rowett up a few positions down and the inside goes another. It's constantly changing here. 46, Ian Branfield. Looks like he's in the second position. A little bit twitchy from another driver who's lost. Another. Hard to keep up with everything that's going on with these lot. Harry Rowett giving a contact warning as well. So Ian Brownfield up into second. Harry Rowett in third. Trying to stick it in behind. Oh, and Harry Rowett looks like he's got a bit of his back rear bumper come off. Oh, no. And indeed, just confirmed there on the timing, Harry Rowett's just been given the mechanical flag. And that is the end of his race, unfortunately. Uh, not sure... Uh, if a bit of contact has caused that to come off, unfortunately. But we carry on. Number 46 managed to break away a little bit. And uh, with the mechanical flag there, we'll see what happens with the other drivers. Number 24 is behind. Taito Simmons with Dan Milner, who's made a few positions up. Round the horseshoe we go. And all the way up towards the top bend. And there goes Harry Rowett, unfortunately, from this race. James Webb leaving him by 3.41 seconds. Ian Brownfield's on a charge, though. With a 34.65 as the fastest lap time just set previously. As we carry on throughout this race. What else can we get changes-wise? In this one, we lost Andy Ward at the start as well. So we're down two drivers, 12 currently still playing out there. And it's now a battle for third position. That is where it all lies at the moment. The other two drivers just flying away. Tyjo Simmons starting to close up on Dan Milner, cart number 17. Uh, just going into the hairpin now. As uh, we play on to see the number uh, 62. <laughs> Trying to get the numbers there, it's a bit of his uh, number was scrubbed. Um, ben Johnson giving a contact warning down in seventh position. A bit uh, close together there for those lot, but it is that number 62, Cameron Marston, who has Ben Johnson behind. Uh, as he gets a bit wiggly going into the hairpin, allowing the number 61 of Ben Johnson to go ahead of uh, Cameron Marston. It was a very twitchy uh, lad going through there. And uh, just hasn't allowed him to stick the position, but he's not like, lost a lot of positions. He's still hanging in on it, uh, hanging on in there. Uh, Reese Llewellyn down in eighth position. Derek Hunt in ninth. Ian Brown in tenth. Topping out that top ten. Uh, still could change yet again. So the number ninety-two of James Webb there. Going over the line, followed by Ian Branfield. 2.4 seconds later, uh, Ian Branfield is slowly going to try and close that gap up. Uh, he has been very speedy in the past, and as such, he was going to try again today. And James Webb just absolutely flew away from the beginning. 1 minute and 17 left on the clock. So let's go and see what happens further on into this one. The mid-pack getting... A few uh, places mixed around. Ian Branfield setting another personal best in the best lap time again. 34.60. Fastest lap time for this race. Dan Milner still chilling in third at the moment. Will Ian Branfield catch up with James Webb? 38 seconds left. Two laps left to go.
So James Webb there going over the line, 25 seconds left. Uh, as you can see there, Ian Branfield clutching as best as he can. 1.64 seconds, so that gap is definitely closing, but is there enough time? Only time will tell. Number 24 ahead of Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson going down the inside, just as I mentioned it. A bit touchy going round. And uh, has kept up in the position, but will he go wide? No, he is still hanging on in there. But meanwhile, our leader, number 92, taking the last lap board as we go into the final closing stages of this race at 1.3 seconds left uh, for Ian Branfield. So I'm sneaking a suspicion that uh, he will not be able to make it to the end uh, to catch first in time. Just not enough time on the clock, unfortunately, there for him. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. James Webb flew away from the beginning and as such as just managed to keep it there. Taking the checkered flag is the number 92. Meanwhile, just a little bit off camera, uh, a little bit of a few issues happening there with one of the drivers getting stuck and uh, losing a bit of power. So not really sure what's happened there. That might change up the order just a little bit. Uh, so Ian Branfield in second position, Dan Milner in third. Uh, Tycho Simmons getting fourth position, Ben Johnson in fifth, Cameron Marston up there as well. Uh, Alex Heron uh, losing quite a few positions, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, very weird closing stages to this race. But there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it for all of the heats here today. And it's time for finals. So finals time, ladies and gents. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is finals time! <laughs> oh yes, it's finals time here at Clay Pigeon Raceway. Well, let's get stuff underway for the finals. Ooh, this is going to be an interesting one. It's been a very competitive day so far, especially with the Honda Cadets. So let's see how we go for this one. Out first, it's the Honda Cadets. So let's get ready, ladies and gentlemen, for final number one. It's the Honda Cadets. So here we go, top bend at the moment. Let's see if we go for it. And at the moment, we'll be going back round just to begin with. Uh, just whilst we have a recovery for one of the drivers uh, down the back, unfortunately not being able to get going again just at the moment. Not a great start to this final for the Hondas. So 
So I hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well at home. So we can get stuff underway. So ladies and gentlemen, coming down the main straight now. We're going for the Honda Cadets. Starting at their final here at Clay Pigeon. So round the first bend they go at Billy's through the S's. Who is going to be leading this one? And it is going to be somebody. Couldn't see the number. <laughs> so going round the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Who is it going to be at front? Just managing to clip a little bit of it. I'm not sure if it is the 63 or the 99. We shall find out very shortly. As we come down the main straight. Right now, let's get your order in for the final. The first lap. And it is the number 99 leading the way at the moment. Followed by... Number 63, Bella Fairclough. Uh, Elliot Potter up in third position. Uh, just squeezing up into second now. Uh, the number 17 has been very competitive all day today. Showing his pace straight off the bat. As we go around the hairpin towards the horseshoe next. What are we going to get from these ones? Daniel Austin on the YouTube saying, come on, son. Don't forget, if you do want to support your drivers, now is the time because they'll be popped out over the... Tannoy here at Clay Pigeon Raceway, but down the main straight we come. The number 17 right on the rear end of the 99 of Ethan Griffiths. Better Fairclough hanging into third at the moment. She's been uh, very strong today with uh, winning heat one. And uh, good two couple of results for the other heats. And uh, working with another driver on heat number three. Uh, which, by the way, was very competitive and uh, a very interesting one as well. It was really good. But here we go. Three buttons. And uh, up to the top bed now, the number 17 right on the back end of Ethan Griffiths. As we come down the main street once again, the 17 just straight on the back end. As they go into the top end, uh, to, uh, to Billy's. We'll get the name right at some point. Through the S's and down the back straight. Once again, Better Fair Club still in that third position. Number 44 of Riley Till, who has also been... Well, been having a great drive today for this round. Round the horse. Here we go, though, for our leaders at the moment. And we're back up to the top end once again. Ethan Griffith still holding out with the fastest lap time joint with Elliot Potter. Not surprised as we go down the main straight once again. Matching times once again. Ethan Griffiths and Elliot Potter both with a 90.9, uh, 40.96 lap time. Harry Farrell though is the quickest out there at the moment with a 40.91. Cut number two. We have another car right behind Better Fairclough, who I believe has just been overtaken at the entrance of the hairpin. And that is from driver number 29, uh, Jaden Mead. Ahead there of Better Fairclough. So let's keep on going down that train between first and second is unbreakable. The number 17 really showing some... High racing here. Through the S's they go. The 17 still staying behind for now as we go down the back straight once more. The 17 just really chilling behind. Ethan Griffiths applying as much pressure and constantly applying that pressure as well. Lucy Fairclough saying good luck to all the Honda cadets. Yes, indeed. Good luck to all of them. But it is that 17 that we'll be watching at the moment. As uh, right behind Ethan Griffiths, there's been no movement between either of them. Meanwhile, we'll go back down into that third place spot where Jaden Mead, Bella Fairclough, and now Harry Farrell has joined into the party. The party for three. What is going to happen? A little bit of bump, bump, and it's uh, unfortunately uh, ricocheted off of the Harry Farrell, who was a uh, Unfortunately, innocent in that one. It was all very innocent through all of those. The slowdown was just a bit too 
unexpected for uh, Better Faircloth there. But nevertheless, they're still going. And uh, one that is still going is uh, Elliot Potter, who is really just hanging in there, waiting for the end. Uh, as this is, uh, again, all the finals, by the way, 10 minutes plus a lap. So uh, we have lots of time in this one. Plenty of time for plenty of action. And it, Elliot Potter is just hanging in there constantly. Uh, meanwhile, Bella Fairclough has just managed to stay behind Jaden Mead as best as she can. As uh, she's going up into the top end uh, just behind him. But down the main street we go. The number 17 is just staying there. He is definitely not moving whatsoever. And uh, he's going to strike at some point. And uh, I have a feeling it will be right near the end of this race. And uh, will we see the same with Bella Fairclough as well uh, with uh, Jaden Mead? Again, all the drivers today have been ultra competitive. And uh, a lot of the top ones here and... Uh, just as I say that, better Fairclough looking on the inside, getting a bit of a better drive there at the horseshoe. Uh, just not being able to stick it in, uh, being on the outside, going into buttons. But yet again, we're back with the train of two, which is uh, literally a train because there is no gap in between. And it's the same with Jaden Mead and better Fairclough as well. Those two almost replicating what the top two are doing. As we keep flying through this order, Ethan Griffiths is the one with the fastest lap time at the moment with a uh, 40.74. So around the horseshoe they go, and uh, so does third and fourth. So down the main straight they go. Once again, there is just zero movement from Elliot Potter. Uh, your lineup currently, um, how it's all going for the rest of the drivers are up on the YouTube live stream. If you are watching uh, at home live or if you're watching uh, in the cafe. But that number 17 is just stuck. Stuck behind Ethan Griffiths. As we fly on three with just over two and a half minutes left on this clock to go for this final. There is just no change between Elliot, uh, Ethan Griffiths and Elliot. Their time's almost identical each time as well. Meanwhile, Bella Fairclough is just hanging in as well. Just done a personal best for herself of a 40.92. So bringing down the times as well and uh, applying pressure to Jaden Mead. And uh, that is what the number 17 has been doing on Ethan Griffiths. Elliot is just absolutely stuck in and keeping it going side by side again for Jaden Mead and Better Fairclough. It's been a great day for the number 17 and 63 for racing today. Some very uh, competitive moves from all of them. But round we go through the S's for your leaders once again. Elliot Potter really just waiting for the right moment. It will take a bit of time. But will he be able to put out the perfect strike for that top position? Better Fairclough looking like she wants to do the same as well. So, top bend. Down the main straight. Just in tow with one another. It is brilliant to watch. And side by side, the number 32. And uh, 44 possibly there. Riley Till. Uh, another driver that we'll mention today. Riley Till has been also quite up in the uh, overtaking games uh, throughout t today. Uh, has shown with uh, a couple of uh, his results. But uh, yet again, ladies and gentlemen, the number 17 still behind the number 99. We have 27 seconds left. Not many laps to go. We're looking at possibly just two left. When is it going to happen? 
if it happens by the number 17 or even the 63 of Bella Fairclough will she just hang out for a fourth position which is still a very good result or is she going to battle for that third position we find out yet again it's going to be interesting between this one ladies and gentlemen we're nearing the final closing stages of this race here we go as we come down the main straight now for the last lap so here we are closing stages of the first final for round number two and of 2022 actually if we uh, think about it uh, down the back straight the 17 still behind better Fairclough making a move on the s's going up into third she took an opportunity and stuck with it let's see if it hangs out for the rest of the race will the number 17 do something as well we shall find out through buttons goes your leaders here we go top bend now i think the number 17 just going for a second place result or is it going to be a switch out the end it's side by side near enough but it's not good enough and over the line goes your third place as well so ethan griffiths winning the final for the honda cadets followed by elliot potter and Bella Fairclough on the final lap. Hanging it out, but claiming that third position. A great result there for Bella Fairclough, but also for Elliot Potter and, of course, Ethan Griffiths as well. So there we go. The Honda Cadets final complete. What a day for the Hondas. These cadets have done very well. Well done to all the other drivers as well. Not forgetting Riley Till today. Doing an excellent and an amazing, awesome overtakes today. But that does it for the Honda Cadets final. So next up, we'll be here with the Mini Maxes, another class that has been very close throughout today. And then followed up with the Junior Rotax afterwards. What a final! So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is finals time for the Mini Maxes. Another class that has had a very competitive day as we get some more drivers. Uh, well, the last driver to pop out onto the screens, 11 drivers all together. Let's see how these all do for their final in a few corners time. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. On the top bend now is the Mini Maxes. They'll be going back round once again to uh, grid up again. Uh, to all gather together. We've got Jack West out there, Koi uh, Vetic, Harry Cottrell, Lucas Howell out there, who are one heat number three. Freddie Baker's out there as well. Uh, we've got Joshua Withcombe out there, Martin Wright, Jarek Metters, Ethan Carney, Oscar O'Sullivan at the back. So let's see how we go. So going towards and through buttons to try and get this one started. And uh, hopefully it'll be a go this time round for the Minimax's final. So top bend, let's get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Let's get started for the Minimax final. We're underway. 
as we go up into Billy's, who is going to be ending out in front. Whoever was out in front to begin with has lost a few positions. Still plenty of time, still plenty of time. So down towards the hairpin now. Up and towards the horseshoe, a bit of contact, a little bit there at the back by the looks of things as well. Through the hairpin, it's a 46, followed by the 18, Oscar O'Sullivan. Up into first position, followed by Freddie Baker. So it's Oscar O'Sullivan followed by Freddie Baker, then Joshua Withkin, then Jack West, Kai Vetic, and then Jared Mess is one of the novices out there, number 53 up in sixth. So we go down at the back straight here. These mini waxes have been a very competitive bunch all day today. So let's see if they can replicate it in this final. Freddie Baker down in 13th, uh, 13th? Uh, down in third. Sean Bryan on the YouTube saying, here we go. <laughs> yes, indeed. Here we go for the Minimaxes. Uh, Oscar Sullivan still ahead by just under a second at the moment. Uh, Joshua Withcombe up a place, up into second. Freddie Baker losing a position uh, in this one. Uh, just at the moment, we've still got plenty of time left. Plenty of time left. Joe Metas up a position as well, up into fifth. Kai Vetic down uh, a few. And Harry Cottrell in ninth. So down the main straight they come at a very lovely sunny clay pigeon raceway. Round Billy's and through the S's they go. With the number 46 leading the way. Number 45 leading a different type of pack though. That is the battle for second. And that second battle train is there with Freddie Baker behind. We also have the number 92 of Jack West in that lot as well. And Heat 3's winner of Lucas Howell in there as well. So down the main straight we go. Oscar O'Sullivan still out there in front. Fast as that time goes to Lucas Howell in that number 19. He's been very quick all day uh, and uh, showing some really good pace as well. Uh, currently not showing out to the Tannoy uh, just as there's a lot of announcements going on. So around the horseshoe they go. Uh, going through Buttons now. That's the next location that they have uh, travelling through. Uh, Oscar O'Sullivan still with that lead. Uh, if it will be near a second, we'll find out shortly. So going through the kink. Uh, and we are still just under a second at 0.84 is that time. We've got Lucas Howell making up a position at that map as well. He has been speedy all day and showing off his pace. Uh, Quite a few times throughout the day. And uh, we'll see if he makes up another position as they are all in that battle for second at this moment. So we're leading up to the top bend now. The number 19, Lucas Howell, really just trying to stick it in there as we have an in the inside blocking out. Couple and a double inside overtake for Lucas Howe. The number 18, Freddie Baker, making a move on the inside. And uh, has invited a couple of drivers through, but uh, Freddie also losing those positions again, uh, going through the hairpin and horseshoe. As we go around the top bend, down the main straight, let's get some changes on again with the times. Number 46, followed by... Let's get the update as soon as it updates on my screen. Uh, obviously, Lucas Howell up into that second position. Still there. Freddie Baker back down again into third. Uh, as there we go. All pops into. Uh, contact warning just issued to uh, Lucas Howell there. As we keep going through. Around the horseshoe and towards the... Uh, buttons to the top bend. Lucas Howell visually sh closing that gap to uh, Oscar O'Sullivan. Freddie Baker, again, like I said, up into third position. 
Uh, still all to play for and change at the moment. That top six all just within each other. As you can see, uh, first and second are now closing incredibly close together. Lucas Howell, like I said, not long ago, uh, really showing off some fast pace here and already closing that what was nearly a second gap into v almost virtually nothing. And just, uh, just nearing four and a half seconds left on the clock. That gap very, very close now. Down the back straight, that gap is very, very small between Lucas Howell and Oscar O'Sullivan. They're already, Lucas Howell already attacking to go. 35.58 is the best lap time out there by Lucas Howell as well. Is that really showing off the pace there? Top bend and uh, Lucas Howell potentially looking to go for it. Martin Wright got a contact warning uh, earlier as well. Looking for a move down the inside. Lucas Howe, bit of a brave move. Shut off instantly by Oscar O'Sullivan. Defending his position as best as he can. Uh, stuck in the... Pato. <laughs> I can't even say the username. Uh, saying close race. Indeed it is. It's a very close race. Uh, we do enjoy these close races. Pataya Bubble. I'm sorry. <laughs> I couldn't say it quick enough. So down the main straight we come once again with a very quick Lucas Howe. Freddie Baker still sticking in that third and Joshua Withcombe in fourth. Uh, we're packing into two by twos again. A lot of the drivers like doing this every now and then. Uh, just naturally happens. Uh, so just whilst a few announcements go out on the screen, we'll keep you all looped up at home. Uh, if, if you're watching this as a live stream replay live or as a separate video, as this will be going out separately uh, through the S as we go and uh, the number 19 right on the back end. So Lucas Howe going down the inside. Ooh, doesn't stick it, unfortunately. Uh, as uh, Oscar O'Sullivan really trying to defend that as best as he can. Lucas Howe just... Uh, Constant pressure and attacking that as best as he can. As we go up to the top bend now. And uh, down the main straight. Lucas Howell really putting pressure down the inside once again. And hits the other driver as he turns in. Oh dear. That has put Oscar O'Sullivan right out of contention there. Burying him into the tire wall. Uh, with a very late lunge into Billy's there. So Lucas Howell in that first position. Uh, if the results stick like that, will not be sure until a bit later on. But uh, currently as it stands, Lucas Howell followed by Freddie Baker, Joshua Withcombe, then Jack West. Which, uh, which puts us down to five drivers at that top place. Uh, it's a real shame that it could have been a much better battle for the end on this final. But uh, we are stuck with what we have here. Oscar Sullivan, very yeah, not happy. And uh, I don't blame him. <laughs> So, uh, under a minute, 53 seconds left on the clock as we keep going on through. Some more overtakes made near the back for fourth position uh, with the number 14 on the 92. Lucas Howell with a just under a second lead at the moment uh, with Freddie Baker up into second position. Joshua Withcombe in third. Uh, 26 seconds, so we're going to... We're going to get another lap out of this one. An extra lap. We always like that when there's uh, just a little time left to squeeze out some more laps. Uh, Freddie Baker still hanging into that second at the moment. Joshua Withcombe in third.
like I said today with these drivers have been very close races but we get now into our next one which is our last lap here we go the board is out the number 19 taking the last lap board for the final lap of this race Lucas Howell being very competitive throughout today and uh, with a very strong attack for that first position. If it was stick for the results, uh, we will find out uh, much later on. But ladies and gentlemen, going up towards the top bend now and we'll be taking the checkered flag. It will be the number 19, Lucas Howell. Winning it there, followed by Freddie Baker, then Joshua Wifkin, then Martin Wright, and then followed by Jack West. So there we go. Lucas Howell showing off his pace really well today, but a very late lunge uh, causing a bit of contact between himself and another driver. Uh, Oscar O'Sullivan, unfortunately, right at the back of the pack. But like I said, if that will be the final result, we will find out on the final results uh, later on. Otherwise, that is it for the Mini Maxes today. That is their final complete, and we'll be followed up with the Junior Rotax next. Pepsi Max can number three. <laughs> Get some more chocolate down we all. <laughs> so here we go. Finals time for the Junior Rotax now. Again, another another class that has been high on competitive levels. So let's see what we can get out of the Junior Rotax today as uh, their final will be underway just like the mini maxes in a couple of uh, couple of corners time So here we go, top bend. Let's get this Junior Rotax final underway as they come on down the main straight. And we are ready to go for this one. What are we going to get from the Junior Rotaxes? And is it going to be close once again as we go through the S's and down the back straight? It's the number 71 that's currently leading with a very quick Finn Smith right behind, defending very well there as well. Going into it. As we go through the horse, uh, towards the horseshoe and uh, towards Buttons, a little bit twitchy and contacty through there. Uh, I think I just made up a word there, but nevertheless. Uh, we'll go through to the top end and let's get your results so far for the start of this race. So, Leo Purchase followed by Ollie Stevens and Daniel Tribe, Finn Smith down into fourth position. Then we got Alfie Davies in fifth, Lucas Hayden in sixth. And that's all to change as we have some people going cross country. Well, I said it like that, but uh, one driver out as well as he's uh, had to, gone backwards into it, the tire wall and the exit of the uh, S is there. A couple of contact warnings given to Archie Buttle and Finn Smith. <laughs> now Archie, no! So three pass yes as we go. And uh, down the back straight. And we go through around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Uh, Kate Baker on the YouTube channel saying, Amazing Fred, I'll see you for a roast later. <laughs> That's maybe even more hungrier. So let's get your order back again. The number 71 still ahead of the number 9. Uh, Leo Perches. Uh, been very strong with the junior Rotaxes today. 
Point heat one, heat two, finishing uh, a little bit early, I believe it was. Uh, I, think, I believe it was heat two. Uh, finishing a little bit early due to the incident that happened in that one. But uh, he has really shown his pace already today, so let's carry it on today. Best lap time so far is Finn Smith, though, 473. But here we go, down we fly to uh, Billy's. A lot of the drivers there. A little bit evenly spread in the middle there. Meanwhile, a little bit further at the back. A nice inward driver. Down the inside was the number uh, 70. I want to say 70. Probably 70. Couldn't really see the number very well, unfortunately. But uh, there we go. Uh, unfortunately, losing Callum Gosh in that one, the number 88. Uh, so down to 14 active drivers out there on the track. As we go through for yet another lap with seven minutes left to go. Uh, Nicola S says, good luck, Ollie Stevens, love hot. Ollie Stevens in second position with Finn Smith right behind. As we go through the horseshoe, Finn Smith down the inside. Ollie Stevens even a bit of a gap and invited. Finn Smith straight through. But meanwhile, we'll carry on through the rest of the grid so far. Let's have a look at Archie Bottle down in 11th position at the moment. Hopefully going to try and make up some positions today in this final. But we're back with the top three. That's where uh, all the action is mainly happening uh, but it's just behind this top four, actually. It's fifth, sixth, and seventh that are all having that battle, uh, which is Alfie Davies, Ben Cross, uh, Crossley, and Alexander Senna. Those three are battling it out again. Fourth position is uh, comfortably there in fourth, uh, watching everything going on. Alfie Davies given a contact warning. That's the uh, fourth, I believe, of the day. Uh, well, of this final, anyway. So down the main straight comes your leader. It's number 71, followed by 19, followed by 9. Still unchanged, but Finn is really aiming to catch up. And uh, claim that first spot. The number 61 just patiently waiting. Daniel Try, that is. Lucas Hayden leading a pack of three as well. With Alfie Davis and Ben Crosley in that lot as well. So again, down the main straight they come. Finn Smith closing that gap once again. Going around the entrance of Billy's. We've got Ollie Stevens at the back of that as well. And down this back straight they go. Still no, not much changes. But as I say that, Finn Smith looks for a barricading move down at the hairpin. Unfortunately, it doesn't stick out and he's uh, back down into second again. As a... Uh, here, yeah, Purchase manages to keep ahead somehow. But we'll keep flying through these next laps once again. So up and through to the S's, back down towards the back straight once more. Just under four minutes to go as I am blinded by the sun here. You yeah, either moan at rain or you moan at sun. <laughs> Never, 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 this, never the same, is it? So number 71, and followed by 19, still Finn Smith, still hanging in there in second position. As we go down the back straight now. To start off and yet another opportunity for Finn. He's just hanging in there at the moment. Meanwhile, we've got Ollie Stevens there as well. And down the inside, Finn Smith is pushing him wide. Leah Purchase is still sticking in there and is stuck in, but has pushed Finn right off the track. 
But as there was no other extra room, it's put him right down into fourth. And uh, he has a fast charging other guys behind him, but he's still managing to keep into fourth. And uh, gets his head straight down for another go to catch up back up. So Daniel tried patiently waiting there in fourth and uh, now up into third for now. Which means Leo Purchase and Ollie Stevens are together. Ollie Stevens a little bit close to number four. Uh, just where the all came uh, a little bit together. Here is your update on the screen for you all. Leo Purchase followed by Ollie Stevens, Daniel Troy. Uh, Finn Smith still in fourth. Contact warning given to Leo Purchase in that first top uh, position. Uh, a lot of contact warnings given out in the uh, Junior Rotax uh, for this final. But three buttons goes your leader at the moment. Uh, up towards the top bend and then down to the Start, finish, straight, we go. Just under two minutes to go. As uh, Finn Smith is already trying to, is already breaking away, sorry, to, uh, from the pack uh, that was in fifth. So down we come yet again for a, another go. Leo Purchase followed by Ollie Stevens and Daniel Tribe. Your top three. Will Ollie Stevens be able to catch up quick enough for that uh, first position? We shall find out shortly. And we'll find out if Finn can get anywhere close. Unfortunately, he is three seconds behind with just under a minute left on the clock. So we're not looking at too many opportunities to go. But who knows, who knows? So number nine creeping up closer, closing that gap even further. They are the only two that are close together at the moment for that top spot. As we go around the horseshoe once again. 19 seconds left on the clock. I think we're just going to be able to peek out another lap uh, yet again. So here we go. An additional lap to this final being granted here. Seven seconds left on the clock as they go over the line. And uh, Ollie Stevens is right behind now. That gap 0.19 as they go down the main straight. Uh, sorry, the back straight. There we go. I was going to say it at some point. Round the hairpin and towards the horseshoe we go. Is there going to be any change between the two? Let's find out. So we keep flying through this one. But ladies and gentlemen, let's go for our final lap. It's going to be close between the two. Into Billy's they go. Ollie's still behind at the moment. Through the S's and down towards the back straight. Are they going to pick up any additional time with this one around the hairpin? No change yet. Down towards the horseshoe, that gap is still roughly the same. As they go through buttons up to the top bend. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is check and flag time. Your winner for round two in the final of the Junior Road Tax is Leo Purchase. Followed very closely by Ollie Stevens and Daniel Tribe will take third position there. Finn Smith ends up in fourth and Ben Crosley in fifth position there. A very close race between all of the drive, uh, those top few drivers there. Uh, unfortunately, Finn Smith missing out there near the end and a very, well, a very contact worthy race indeed. A lot of contact warnings dished out, but nevertheless, Leo Purchase wins for the final of the Junior Rotax. We have been live for six hours, 19 minutes. 
thank you to everybody who did, has uh, hung out on the stream. I uh, really do appreciate everybody who's uh, hung out and stayed. I uh, do support, uh, appreciate everybody who does come out and uh, does make see streams a lot more, well, a, little, a, little, a, little, a lot less lonely. Is the words I'm going to go for? Ah. Sit down as my arm starts to dull. <laughs> I have a very dead arm. So yeah, I am recording these finals so they'll be able uh, to be watched later on in the week for a cut down version, uh, which is super cool. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, and ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's time for the noisy FP4 World Formulas. I said that really weird. Uh, FP4 World Formulas out onto the track for their final of today. Uh, the biggest grid we've got today. 24 drivers currently on track. Uh, we are missing two, I believe. But still, it's been a great day for these World Formulas. Uh, it's been some decent races from them all. And uh, let's see where that number seven ends up. Gavin McKeel. He might be starting third or fourth. He's... Uh, or fifth. Who knows? Let's see how it goes. Uh, just as I say that, there's a driver off uh, uh, the exit of the uh, hairpin. I hope I didn't jinx anything. So, World well, Formula is with uh, grid start as always. Uh, it's always great to see uh, some grid starts during these during uh, these events. But we shall see how we go uh, very shortly, and hopefully that other driver that's. Uh, Stop back there, we'll be able to get going again. Uh, but look at that grid, filled out. So we're just missing the gent that's going to be starting on 12th. Aggressively trying to get it going again. <laughs> I think it's a little bit ticked off. I think they're going to have to call it, unfortunately. Yeah. That's a real shame. <laughs> well done, Leo, aka Kimmy, top drive, John Wil uh, Wilcott. <laughs> So here we go, as they rev their engines, ready to get started for the World Formula 4 final. It's underway! They're off! Off they go. Flying down into Billy's. Who's going to be out on top of this one? As we go through the S's and down towards the back straight is that number 68, Sam Me. A very competitive Sam Me. Oh, well, what a shame the uh, driver that couldn't get going earlier has just managed to get it going. Uh, which is kind of typical, that sort of stuff, isn't it? Anyway, top Ben, let's get underway with this final properly after the last, uh, the first lap is done. So down the main straight comes your leader. It's the number 68 of Sam Me, followed by Jamie Trailer, then Tony Lamb, then Gavin McGill. Uh, Jack Teague up there as well. All of these drivers have uh, been quite up the order throughout the day. Gavin McGill had some uh, very good starts and uh, very good races so far today. Uh, Sam Mee also just putting so many positions up uh, throughout today, uh, which is granted in that, uh, I, think, I think he started on pole or second. Yeah, he was on the front row. Um, and it's just been a great day for those guys. But it's all down to this final is where they're going to end up. So into Billy's they go. 41.78 by Sam Lee. By the way, he's one of the novices here today as well. 
say it's a great day for Sammy. Gavin McGill in car seven going on down the inside. Uh, looked at it and uh, unfortunately didn't go for it. By the way, that ambulance is unrelated to what's happened here today. Top end and down at the main straight. Forty-one four five by Sam Me. Some very great pace from Sam throughout today. Jamie Trailer trying to catch up with Sammy, but the pace is just very high. And uh, Tony Lamb as well, uh, up in third position at the moment uh, with uh, Gavin McGill, who is uh, trying to catch back up with him yet again. But uh, we've still got plenty of time left on the clock. We uh, fly through some more of these laps. So, Sam Mee, every lap setting a new fastest lap of the race. Uh, nobody else has been able to uh, get anywhere near that time just yet. The only other person is that Gavin McGill in fourth position at the moment. Uh, some very quick times, as always. Meanwhile, at the back of the pack, we've got some overtakes uh, at potential happenings uh, as we go for a look down the inside I think that was number 31 uh, or 21 we shall have a look I believe it is the 32 sorry we're looking down at 14th at the moment uh, but Sammy followed by Dame, uh, J Jamie Trailer followed by Tony Lamb then Gavin McGill Jack Teague then Michael Marison Adam Malins Chris Kelly Lindo Venturi in ninth and in the top 10 rounds out with Keith Robinson at the moment. Uh, that gap between Sammy and Jamie in car number 9. 3.3 seconds so far. That pace is just unmatchable at the moment. Uh, 41... 1-8 set, 41-6 by Jamie Trailer. That gap is just growing each time. By the way, Tony Lamb starting to catch up with that number 9. And Gavin McGill losing a bit of pace out there at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, down in 5th position, there's a bit of a train happening as we go into the hairpin and uh, starts flowing towards the horseshoe. Uh, let's see this bunch of drivers so far so you got the number 29 followed by uh, Adam Malins in the 89 uh, it's that pack just going up into the top bed now we'll keep an eye on your top two as they are closing up very quickly again side by side goes 73 and 35 as we keep flying down the Four more laps through the S's. I'm just trying to also keep an eye on the uh, top two as uh, the well, uh, top four. Sorry. And uh, one driver very slow coming out of the uh, hairpin there. That's the number 89. Uh, Adam Malins uh, looked rather slow coming out of there. I might have just looked at it at the weird time. Uh, Jamie Trailer still ahead for that second position. We're nearing the four minutes left mark. Uh, so nearly six minutes ran of this uh, heat. The uh, heat final. We're on a final. David Paris down in 17th. Dan Blackledge in 18th at the moment. Chris Goodwin in 24th. A uh, very large grid. It's the biggest grid we've got today. But here comes the number nine. Jamie Trailer. 5.6 seconds behind uh, the leader at the moment. Sam Mee just flying away. 40.95. So we're breaking the 40s mark. Uh, driver off into the grass down at the hairpin. 
but Sammy is just absolutely flying away in this final. Gavin McGill trying to slowly make his way back up uh, the, to catch up with Tony Lamb. But uh, it's more eyes on uh, Jamie Trainer and Tony Lamb for that top spot at the moment for the second position and that uh, podium spot. <clears throat> Under two tenths at the moment. Uh, Sam Mee has uh, lapped quite a few drivers at the moment uh, as we go into the next lap again. Jamie Trailer, Tony Lamb, Gavin McGill still all together. Uh, Gavin McGill setting his personal best so far. So through the S as he goes, uh, behind are the other two. They are all just sort of hanging out at the moment, those three. They're either waiting for the best moment that they can uh, just to try and uh, achieve something. Sammy ahead of Nathan Lee. So, Sammy already lapping four drivers so far. Uh, his pace is just off the charts completely, but Jamie Trailer is. Slowly catching up as uh, he does get caught up in some of the back markers. Just nearing the mini, uh, mini, mini mark? minute mark of this uh, final for the World Formulas FP4. We uh, go on through. Gavin McGill is now on the back of Tony Lamb with uh, 48 seconds to go. Still just all very close together. Uh, not being able to change much between those three as they uh, start all coming to lap uh, some of the back uh, so the drivers at the back. Uh, Sam Mee just coming down the main straight now. Uh, with a bit of an open road. 15 seconds left to go and uh, there is your pack of 3 slash 4. 3 uh, in contention for that top. And uh, one at the back as uh, time is slowly just updates once again. And me really just flying away. Five second gap. Not the biggest of the day. We've had a 15 second gap uh, between a couple of the drivers. But here we go as we lead on to now. As uh, Sammy comes down the main straight for the final lap of this final. Final lap of the final. Yeah. Sammy just absolutely dominating this race by five seconds. And it's now six. Uh, his pace has been on point today, some very great overtakes throughout the day and uh, getting that top spot at the start has uh, just allowed him to really just fly away with this one. Let's see what the back, uh, the rest of the other three can do. Jamie Trailer, Tony Lamb and Gavin McGill, they're all still in threes at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, there's some yellow flags just down at the hairpin for a spin. But ladies and gentlemen, the... The dude that'll be taking the checker flag, it is Sam Mee. With an incredible lead of over seven seconds. Oh, nearly seven seconds. Jamie Trailer taking second, Tony Lamb in third, and Gavin McGill taking fourth. And that will do that for the FP4 World Formula Final. It's great to have them here uh, for what was a very decent and very close race for second third and fourth but it is sam lee 
uh, Sam Lee, Sam Me, who takes the win for this one and takes the fastest lap as well of a 40.95. So next up will be the Junior Blues. We go from a large grid to a smaller grid. Let's see what they can do in their final. Just a bit of sportsmanship there. Uh, I think a driver just managed, uh, broke down near the end, but just managed to keep going. Driver just staying behind to make sure he does make it back. True sportsmanship. And thumbs up from the drivers as well. Hey. Mike was muted, it wasn't. It's Junior Blues time! And unfortunately, I need to pee break. <laughs> it's gonna have to happen, I've been saving it. There's, there's only seven of them, so we'll update throughout the race for you all. Um, it, uh, I, it probably does sound a little bit rude, but I do need to pee. <laughs> so we'll see how they do. So it is uh, Junior Blues time. Uh, seven of them out there. Let's see what they can do in their final today. It's been a very spread out uh, races throughout the day. But we start straight away for the Junior Blues. Let's uh, commentate you through lap number one. See what they do. Give you the lap times and then uh, we'll have a short break on the commentary just as I need to have a comfort break. <laughs> Been saving it. So at the moment, the driver out in front. It is the number two, uh, which is Reese Reese, Sam Mitchell just behind. And uh, I believe that might be Mitchell Carpenter in that third spot. So down the main straight they come. Let's give you the order for this one. So Reese Reed followed by Sam Mitchell, followed by Mitchell Carpenter, then Jamie Bradfield. Rudy Winslow Morton in fifth. Ben Gillett in sixth position at the moment, followed by Jamie Dart. So ladies and I'm just gonna have a quick comfort break. Uh, I'll be back very shortly. So uh, bear with. The clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wait. Cause I'm happy, I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet Whoa Things must pass, but 
Right, we are back. I just couldn't hold it in any longer. <laughs> A bit too much information for everybody, probably. <laughs> so we are back for a little bit more commentary here for the Junior Blue final. So having a quick look at the moment, we have groups of two and uh, a single. So it's a battle for first position at the moment with the uh, part two and one, Reese Reed and Sam Mitchell both together as they go into Billy's and through the S's in third, Jamie Bradfield. Uh, currently just chilling out in that third position spot. Fourth and fifth having a little battle of their own, part five and 33. Uh, Mitchell Carpenter and Ben Gillett. Uh, and then we end off with uh, two drivers that have been doing the same for all of their heats and this final, Rudy Winslow Morton and Jamie Dart, both of them at cart six and four, having a battle of their own. As I get blinded by the sun once again. Side by side going into the S is the number one, getting a little bit ahead, Sam Mitchell, and an instant bounce back with uh, Reese Reed again, those two have been, uh, I'm guessing they've been battling out uh, for quite a few laps so far uh, to produce this sort of stuff. I'm going to have to stand up because of the sun. But uh, let's see what they can do. Coming down the main straight now is your leader followed by second position. But uh, very close behind we also have Jamie Bradfield. Uh, he's been chilling in third and is slowly creeping up as they go through the S's whilst uh, carts one and two battle each other lap on lap. So through the, around the horseshoe they go towards and through buttons and up towards the top bend they go. Meanwhile just a little bit further back off your screens a little bit uh, is the battle between the number five and thirty three Mitchell Carpenter and Ben Gillett. Those two just going up into the top bed now. They're having their battle. Meanwhile, Jamie Dart is still behind Rudy Winslow Morton. And back to the top three now. Jamie Bradfield is getting closer now. Sam Mitchell, by the way, he's currently in first and set the fastest lap time of 36.16 on lap number eight. Everybody's able to beat that just yet. So down the main straight they come is your top three. Still no changes from those three. So we'll focus on the next few, fourth and fifth. Those two having their battle as well. Uh, providing us with 
A little bit of content between the two of them. And then we have uh, Rudy Winslow Morton and uh, Jamie Darts replicating what they've done all day and having their battles between one another. So, top end is the three at the moment Sam Mitchell, Reese Reed, and Jamie Bradfield. Reese Reed just sticking within each other's range. It's uh, great to see all of this battling out. Meanwhile, uh, a little bit further back uh, in the grid, uh, just misses one. But uh, the number 33 now ahead of Mitchell Carpenter. So Ben Gillett up a position, up into fourth. Uh, but an 11 second gap between uh, himself and the third. So sat in for a fourth with a minute and 16 seconds left to go. And uh, just getting into Heppin now is your top three as well. Those three are just sticking together. That will remain unchanged, possibly. Or will it not? Who knows? We've still got plenty of time. There's just a minute left to go. Top bend now and down towards the start-finish line we go. For yet another lap around the very beautiful and sunny Clay Pigeon Raceway. 45 seconds left of the clock and then we got the last lap to go with Ben Gillett with a one second lead on Mitchell Carpenter but 11 second gap between himself and third and uh, the number six still ahead of Jamie Dart Rudy Winslow Morton just defending uh, lap on lap Throughout this one, 16 seconds left on the clock, and he said 17 because I ticked over just as I was about to say it. Uh, so we have one extra lap on this one as well. So let's see how it plays out for the final lap of the final. It always sounds weird saying that, but final lap of the final. Upcoming cart one, followed by cart two, then 66. Sam Mitchell leading this one for quite some time. So coming down the main straight now, let's get underway with the last lap of this final. Sam Mitchell followed by Reese Reeds and then followed by Jamie Bradfield. Jamie Bradfield a little bit closer to Reese Reed than Reese Reed is to Sam Mitchell. Will there be enough time or corners left for those two? Uh, Three, which I'll find out. Going around the top bend, uh, three buttons to the top bend. But we'll be going through to the last closing stages of this race, taking the checkered flag and winning the final for the Junior Blues. It's Sam Mitchell, followed by Reese Reed, and then Jamie Bradfield in third position. And we'll be waiting a few seconds. When I say a few, I mean near enough 13, I bet. There goes number 33, Ben Gillett, 12.9 seconds later, followed by Mitchell Carpenter, and then in even further, 13 odd seconds, will be the battle that has been going on as well at the back. Rudy Winslow Morton and Jamie Dart taking the final to a close. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end for the Junior Blues for today with their final, and we'll be next out with the Senior Rotax. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are watching live, make sure to pop a comment and see you're supporting. Also, if you haven't yet, please like the video, and also, if you're not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to get up to 500 subscribers, so I can't wait to see what happens when we get to 500. Who knows? Uh, and also hit that notification bell as well to get notified when we do go live. And I'm going to eat a chocolate orange in celebration. <laughs> chocolate orange per like. I'll be fat. <laughs> So 
So, Rossini Rotax time. Let's see how they do for their final, which will be underway in a few corners time. This one could get ultra competitive as well. Let's see what we get from all of these drivers. Magic Camera might be the one at the front of the grid. Been a speedy competitor out there. So let's see what we get as they come towards the top bend. At the moment, they're just behind the Ukraine flag. As uh, we've been supporting them all day. So top bend, get ready for... This final for the senior Rotax as it gets underway here at Clay Vision Raceway into the first corner, taking a bit too much curb there to begin with. I think that was Cameron Crockett in the 88. It's cost him the first lap, and it looks like number 11 has just gone away with the fairies and is off uh, right in ahead. Cameron Crockett is still lurching behind though. So we go through buttons and towards the top bend. Let's give you your order for the start of this one. Down the main straight we go. Let's give you the order. So it's Magic Amira followed by Cameron Crockett. Then we have Benjamin Ballou, then Harrison Crook, then Jack Maiman in that list as well. We've got some overtaking going on. Into fifth position goes the number 95. Someone's going cross country. That's happened quite a few times today. That's happened actually quite a few times today. A lot of cross-country goers uh, here at Clay Pigeon. Uh, and it's all at the same spot. But uh, Magic Camera just in front for now. Cameron Crockett not too far behind. Just still under the second mark. And it's that battle for fourth position that's all there. As we have the number 72, the number 95 with the beautiful LN cart. Callum Davey is given a contact warning. Ben Page also given a contact warning as well. So going down the main straight they come now. Your top few. Let's give you all the orders up on the YouTube live stream as well. We are still live. So if you do want to support any of your drivers, we still have a few finals to go. So... Get yourselves in the YouTube live stream if you do want to support anybody. Still plenty of time to go. And there's plenty of time to go, to go in this final seven minutes and 50 seconds left to go. As we come down the main street, Magic Camera still right out ahead. Also with the fastest lap time of a 34.05 just set as well. So some quick times pumping out from... Magic Amera's car and his abilities as well. Really showing that off throughout today. Uh, flying up the order uh, constantly. Ben Fichetti given a contact warning. Elliot Barrel as well. So that's another two contact warnings dished out already. Uh, and we're not even... Well, we're just, just under a quarter of the way through. Magic Amera with a... Gap of... Drum roll, please, as the timing <laughs> doesn't want to update just yet. There we go. Just over a second a gap between uh, Magic Camera and Cameron Crockett. Uh, but Ben Page is the one that's uh, showing off a little bit more page than Magic Camera with a 33.97. <laughs> so knocking off a thousandth of a second of the fastest lap. That is uh, very impressive. I'm going to spin there at the back by one of the drivers just at the... Uh, well, it was at the exit of the S is the number 91 of Elliot Barrel. But Ben Page leads in the pack in the fourth position at the moment. Uh, with the number 95 right behind as well. As we go around the hairpin towards the horseshoe. Uh, where third place is just left. We are getting closer and closer... Well, wow, he's getting closer and closer to third position. Meanwhile, Benjamin Ballou creeping a little bit closer to uh, Cameron Crockett, who's uh, resting in second position at the current time. 
Meanwhile, Ben Page is absolutely on fire on the pace side of things. A 33.90 is the fastest lap now of this race. Very impressive lap time there. With uh, just over five and a half minutes left on the clock. So not even, well, nearing the halfway mark. And there's still plenty of time for action. So, Magic Amera leading by 1.12 seconds. Cameron Cocker in second position. Benjamin Ballou is in third. Ben Page in fourth. Cannon Davis in fifth. Jack Mayman in sixth position at the moment. Harrison Crook in seventh. Uh, with Daniel Beards behind. Uh, then we've got Percy Wellesley. Ben Forgetti, George Walker. And then ending out the grid in twelfth position. Elliot Barrel. This is all still yet to change. So as we go down the main straights, the number 11 of Magic Amera flying off with uh, Cameron Crockett and Benjamin Ballou. But hello, Ben Page going through the S's and uh, is really creeping up now the order and is really creeping up towards Benjamin Ballou in third position. That position won't be safe for long. As uh, Ben Page will be on ready for the attack. Is this going to be a podium for Ben Page? We shall find out uh, very shortly as we are nearing four minutes. Uh, four minutes 19 left on the clock to be precise. Uh, ben Page now just over half a second behind Benjamin Ballou. Uh, with very strong lap time still at the moment. And he's right on the rear end now of Benjamin Ballou. As we come down the main straight yet again, Ben Page's pace is just absolutely on fire for this final. Going around the lovely corner of Billy's and in towards the S's. It's making a lot of time up here, he does. And it's showing as he's absolutely flying down the back straight into the hairpin and nearing that that horseshoe and gaining even further more time. Ben Page is absolutely on fire. He's still uh, bringing down that fastest lap time again. 33.79. Magic Amera though, comfortably in the lead at the moment with a 1.45 second lead. And Ben Page, Benjamin Ballou and Cameron Crockett are all now together. They are in a trio. Just trying to catch up as best they can to do what they can. Two minutes 50, just looking there at the clock. So we still have a lot more that we can get out of this race. Ben Page is just peering at the back of that trio. Still outside of that podium positions at the moment, but we have seen his pace so far. Slowed up just a little bit as he's uh, stuck behind all of those. But it's the back straight where we'll see a lot more from Ben Page. Meanwhile, a little bit further back in fifth position. There's also another trio. That's 17, 72 and 95. Uh, Jack Mabin, Harrison Crook and Callum Davies. And here we go. Side by side is Cameron Crockett and the number 37. Is there going to be a move down the inside? No, nope, but it's invited Ben Page through. And as promoter Ben Page into the podium positions, he's up into third position right now. Through the, through the hairpin they go. So uh, a move by Benjamin Ballou. Uh, yeah, a move by Benjamin Ballou that's costed him a position. But nevertheless, we still got time. One minute 28 left on the clock. Ben Page already looking again, looking for the inside. Doesn't quite get it just yet. Defended off by Cameron Crockett once more. Some good defense here by Cameron in that number 88 car. But down the inside goes Ben Page, an absolute dive and sticks ahead. And also Benjamin Ballou gets invited through as uh, Cameron Crockett goes wide. And there we go, another mix-up to the order once more. 
and just dipping under the minute mark as well. So we still have plenty of time. But Ben Page up into second, Benjamin Ballou in third, and Cameron Crockett in fourth position. As I say that though, he goes down the inside at the start of the S's. Does he get a better exit? No. As he touches the curb coming out of the S's, that sausage curb catching a few out, and he's up into third, but it's all attacks here from the number 37. Contact warning given to Cameron Crockett, though. Magic Amero with a comfortable lead right now. Just flying off into the distance there. 2.2 second lead. With Ben Page behind, Cameron Crockett is up into third position, but does have a charging Benjamin Ballou behind. This could get interesting between those two. We are going to be nearing the couple of last laps now. So here we go, around Billy, uh, sorry, not around Billy's, <laughs> uh, around the top bend we go. Uh, meanwhile, Magic Amera taking the last lap board now. So we're on the last lap of this one, Ben Page in second. It's action time for Cameron Crockett and Benjamin Ballou. A little bit of contact made between the two of them into the entrance of Billy's as they go through the S's. Ballou ahead of Crockett. And once more, another move, Crockett's on the back end of of Benjamin Ballou. That's put them both out of contention for that third. Cameron Crockett going right up the back end. Meanwhile, Magic Amero takes the check of flag and out of nowhere, the number 17 of Jack Maidman takes third. Benjamin Ballou and Cameron Crockett down into seventh and eighth. Those two have been aggressive for the final few laps. And it's a move by Cameron Crockett and Benjamin Ballou at the hairpin that costs them both that podium spot. What an interesting final that became. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. An end to that one, and uh, obviously well done to Ben Page on that one, setting the fastest lap time for 33.79. Absolutely on fire. Cool. What a final. I have a tower of Pepsi Max. No, it's not three tall yet, it's only two. <laughs> so, we are getting competitive here at Clay now. Great drive, Bert, yeah. Bertie Wellesley up into sixth, well done. Well done indeed. So we are nearing our last few finals here. We've got the Senior Blues next, and then we'll be f uh, rounding it out with the 177 and 177 Masters uh, for what has been an absolutely exciting day today. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it's Senior Blues for their final. Is it gonna be as action-packed as all the previous finals have been? We shall find out, we shall find out. So a grid of 18, let's see what we can achieve through with the Senior Blues. I like doing that for the intro, <laughs> the intros of each uh, final. It's great. £25 well spent. <laughs> so So just going past the Ukrainian flag from my POV point of view. As we go to the top bend, let's get ready for the Senior Blues final race number 31 of 32 for today. Let's get going as we come down at the main straight now. It is finals time for the Senior Blues. Who is going to be out in front for the final? It's side by side already for the top two and fighting for it. And it is the 95 that gets ahead of the number three, Martin Wheeler on Michael Bell. 
those two have been at the top spots throughout today. So let's see if that continues in this one. The number 11 and 12 behind. We've got Kevin O'Neill and Rob Mortimer making up some great positions at the start of this. But anyway, let's give you the running order so far. So it is Martin Wheeler ahead of Michael Bell. And then the rest of the grid follows on through. Kevin O'Neill, then Rob Mortimer, Anthony Cleo, Chris Underhill's in that as well. Paul Alexander, Ron, uh, Ron Schoen, Steve Groves. And uh, Robin Stoddart Stones in that list. Also, don't forget we are live on YouTube for the last two finals that we have here. So if you do want to have any last minute well dones or supports or just want to check out the live stream, pop over onto YouTube, Fabian and Car Club. We're live. We are live. So Martin Wheeler still out ahead with the fastest lap as well. That can still change. We've got plenty of other drivers to fly on through. Uh, Anthony Khalil making up two positions, up into third position right now. Uh, Kevin O'Neill and Rob Mortimer are two losing out on the positions there. Paul Alexander up a position as well. It's that fourth train of 11, 12 and 5. Uh, meanwhile, a little bit of a spin down at uh, Billy's. That's been great driving from all of these guys so far today. As uh, there's been some competitive time. So 36 4 3 is the fastest lap time. Michael Bell's just taken that. Uh, but Anthony Cleo goes a little bit faster as well. A lot faster, actually. Uh, with a 36 3 7. Paul Alexander makes up another position on that lap. Steve Groves as well. Sylvian Vissia on uh, Robin Stoddart Stones. And Phil Shears ahead of Paul Dibble. Alex Kemp but losing a couple of positions in that as well. Still plenty, plenty of time. I always, I've been saying that the last couple of uh, the last final and this one, plenty of time, plenty of time. Got a driver who's uh, stopped out there on the circuit, unfortunately due to an issue. Hopefully we'll be able to get going again. So, so Marshall just about gets going. But flying on through, Anthony Cleo setting another. Uh, fastest lap for this race, his personal best, and the race's personal best of a 36-1-3. Trying to catch up with the top three now. That is his uh, target for here. But we still have a few other drivers to pile on three. Fourth position, there is a bit of a gap between uh, third and fourth. Uh, that being five seconds uh, already, near enough being six uh, with the pace of Anthony Cleo at the moment. Uh, he is also uh, setting some good... Uh, Good quicker lap times uh, with the personal uh, be well, the best sector one so far. 6.81 seconds is Paul Alexander to Anthony Cleal. Uh, unfortunately, losing Tom Parker, unfortunately, in this final. But meanwhile, our leader, Martin Wheeler, who is uh, just coming up the top bend now. Some great driving from himself. Uh, to fly on through. We're currently with a two second lead uh, on Michael Bell. Anthony Cleal also nearly has a two second lead. Uh, so these drivers all spreading out. Paul Alexander, seven seconds behind the pace of the top, are uh, absolutely flying away. If I give you a show of uh, where the other three drivers are at the moment, <laughs> uh, as they go into the uh, horseshoe. Uh, Paul Alexander just going into the hairpin. That's a massive gap between those three. So the top three are really just wanting to fly away at this time. Nearing the halfway mark, five and a half minutes left to go. And uh, we'll see what we get from all of these drivers. The list is on the YouTube live stream if you do want to check it out. We are still live over there, like I said at the start of this. So, what will we achieve from these guys? It's uh, been absolutely brilliant racing from these throughout the day. And uh, a lot of them flying away, as always. Martin Wheeler is already catching up with a couple at the back. He is uh, just flying away at the moment. He is an absolute whiz out there. As he has already overtaken uh, 
a couple of the bat markers near there, Alex Kemp and Adrian Helps, uh, just being overtaken there by uh, our leader, Martin Wheeler, who is uh, currently, we'll give you an update on his uh, position so far, uh, who is currently uh, rocking a two second lead so far. Uh, Anthony Cleal is catching up 36.04, which is now the fastest lap time of the final as well. So he's uh, just putting his uh, best lap times as best he can to try and catch up with Michael Bell and Martin Wheeler. By the way, their lap, both of their lap times uh, was both 36.81, so matching each other. So I really wanted just to stick with it. Uh, 11 seconds now is the gap between second and third, so... Anthony Cleal just absolutely flying away to try and keep that third. Uh, well, just to, well, he's got that third, but it's uh, just to try and catch up with Michael Bell, which uh, he is right side by side with. He is uh, heavily catching now. Uh, let's actually have a look out of the window instead of looking at timing. <laughs> Not looking out of the window for a few moments. Uh, 95 there, coming on the way out, and the number one and number three are both together. Number one is out ahead at the moment uh, so let's see how this goes top bend and down the main straight we go for yet another lap here for this final anthony khalil up into second michael bell in third anthony khalil being absolutely a whiz kid out there uh, flying at right on down to catch up with martin wheeler that two second two and a half second gap uh, can and probably will change with the speed that he's got at the moment. So Martin Wiener just going over the line there. Anthony Cleo bringing down the gap already. Nearly, <laughs> nearly half a second gained already from Anthony Cleo and uh, leaving Michael Bell right behind. But the uh, number 95, let's, let's see where he is right now. He's just trying to overtake the number 99. Uh, or it might be in the 90. <laughs> I've been getting my nines and zeros mixed up today from a distance. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, catching up with the number 30. So I'm even further wrong, uh, Paul Dibble. Uh, for the lapping opportunity at the moment. Um, so, so far, Anthony Cleo gaining a second already. Nine, the number 95 has just been held up by the back markers at the current time. Bit of traffic. Uh, but it looks like we're losing a couple of drivers as well. Through this one, there's a big gap there from the uh, fifth downwards. As they are all uh, sw swapping positions every now and then. We'll just keep an eye on Anthony Cleal just for now. As uh, he is now on the back. He is uh, catching and nearly at the back of Martin Wheeler with uh, a minute and 20 seconds left on the clock. So not a lot of time yet left to go. And, oh dear, oh dear, the number 95 with an issue that he can't continue on has put him out of contention for first place. So, it, it's happened again for Martin Wheeler as Anthony Cleal just goes over the line. Michael Bell in second now. Martin Wheeler again with, uh, not sure it would be a similar issue to last time, uh, but he did have to dart out from the beginning, so... Hopefully, it'll be better next time, but unfortunately, he is out of the race. Uh, currently lost Sylvie Investia and Tom Parker as well. So, that changes up the order just a little bit. Anthony Cleo out ahead with a two-second lead, uh, followed by Michael Bell. And then Paul Alexander. Anthony Cleo already on the lapping spree again. Uh, the gap between second and third is 15.68, which I believe is the second biggest gap we've had today uh, for, uh, well, for gaps. <laughs> I guess there's not really much else you can say it otherwise. But uh, yeah, we lost four drivers altogether by the looks of it. 
So we are nearing the last lap uh, very shortly, just keeping an eye on where the number one is. Just going over the line now, so we're on the last lap for the Senior Blue final. And uh, we'll be ending out race 31 of 32. Uh, but Anthony Cleo being an absolute speed demon uh, throughout this one. And as such, uh, with a little issue from another driver, has promoted him all the way up into the first position slot as he's going out the exit of the uh, horseshoe through through buttons and then through to the top bend. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it for the first position. It is cart one in first, taking the checker flag and taking that win by 2.25 seconds. Michael Bell in second position. We'll be waiting a little bit of a while to confirm a third as uh, Paul Alexander was a 17.38 seconds behind. That is definitely now the biggest gap we've had between uh, two different positions. And there we go, Paul Alexander nearly 18 seconds later. 17.99 was the gap. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the Senior Blues for their final for round number two here at the Clay Pigeon Kart Club Championship. So, it's not all over just yet though. It is now time to end it off with the 177 and 177 Masters. That'll be up next. Crikey, these finals, one hour 39. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to edit this um, finals all together, but <laughs> I don't think I want to edit two hours worth of footage. <laughs> and uh, some very sportsmanship clap in there. To uh, one of the drivers that couldn't make it. I think it was the number 15, Tom Parker. 17 laps altogether, so he left it out right early. <laughs> Typical. It's not showing up on the uh, cameras just yet, but uh, it's just started raining. It's <laughs> <That is> typical. <laughs> that is typical. <laughs> Clay Pigeon Race <laughs> oh. Right near the end as well. I don't, I don't want to take the cameras down in the rain. I was like, yeah, it's not raining. And then, yeah, rain. <laughs> oh. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the last final of the day. And in true Clay Pigeon fashion, it has to rain, didn't it? Yeah, had to spoil it, rain. <laughs> oh, well, this is going to be an interesting one. We'll see how the 177 and 177 Masters can do for the start of this one. Uh, very short, it's already catching a couple of drivers and some of them going off because crunchy. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Flipping clay pigeon. Why? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Stop. Stop raining. <laughs> I don't mind you, just stop raining. So, uh. Rain Master Reese. Ooh. Uh, they're going around again just because of uh, the rain. Uh. Which is very nice. The camera's just. Yeah, I've got rain on me now. I've got rain. So just going around again, just where it's a bit, uh, a bit more damper on the track, uh, due to this lovely weather. So back round they go to. 
get rid of the sprinkles that have uh, hit the track already so far. But let's see what we get. They're going past up towards the top bend. So get this one underway, hopefully. The last, the, the, the final final of the day. The final final is finally here. <laughs> How many finals can you use in a sentence? So here we go, it's the 177 and 177 Masters! Uh, Simon Cable says, I hope they're all on sticks. Yeah, they are actually. <laughs> they are all on sticks, I believe. Uh, it only just started raining as uh, we got into this one, but let's see, it's gonna be out ahead as uh, one of my cameras is uh, starting to become unviewable. They're all keeping it on the good stuff though. So I believe that was number 46, Ian Branfield, out ahead at the moment. So down the main straight they come. Let's give you the running order so far at the start of this slippery race. So it's Ian Branfield followed by Dan Milner, Ben Johnson and Derek Hunt, James Webb, uh, Cameron Marston down into sixth, Harry Rowett, uh, yeah, Harry Rowett in cart 28 in seventh. Ian Brown in 8th, Gareth Evans in 9th. As we go through buttons and towards the top bend, once again. Uh, <laughs> As you can uh, not really see much coming out <laughs> on the camera. Uh, so sorry for those who are viewing at home. <laughs> uh, but at the moment it's a 46 and the 17 then uh, 61. As a, uh, the number 61 goes down the inside of Dan Milner. Down uh, at the hairpin there. Around they go through buttons. Let's see what else we can get from these drivers as we keep flying on through these laps. Into the next one we go. 38.06 set by Ian Branfield. That is the fastest lap so far. Ben Johnson is up into second and James Webb up into fourth. It's uh, maybe there's too wide at the S's there. As I get some very interesting reactions behind me. <laughs> And uh, here comes the rain. Holy moly, it's definitely going to get interesting out there. It typically had to rain right at the end. It could have just waited till after I took the cameras down later. Uh, but here we go. Ian Branfield is still out ahead at the moment. Lap time's already fallen into the 40s already. Everybody managing to keep it in the, on the tarmac at the moment. Uh, it's going to be interesting because they're all on slicks as well. <laughs> but uh, everybody's slowing right down the number 26 off the track. Managing to keep it going. This rain is uh, changing this one up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> the number 46, so Ian Brownfield still out ahead. Uh, at least it's washing the previous rain off of the camera. <laughs> As we uh, keep flying through. Cameron Marston in 6th. Uh, Ian Brown in 7th. Gareth Everton's up into 8th. Derek Hunt uh, with us off uh, down in 9th. Reese Llewellyn in 10th at the moment. Hopefully this shower does end soon. So Ian Brownfield currently with a bit of a comfortable lead at the moment uh, as the other drivers fly on through. James Webb is still in second, uh, 5.29 seconds behind 
uh, Ian Brownfield there. Uh, ben Johnson is in third at the moment. Dan Milner still chilling in fourth at the moment. Uh, as the rain does fly through Clay Pigeon at the moment. There's a bit of having a drizzle is the word I've picked out out of the uh, overlays I have optioned to myself. But flying on three, Ian Branfield just going over the line there as well. Continuing on throughout the rest of this race, James Webb still in second position with Ben Johnson close behind. Uh, Dan Milner's right behind Ben Johnson as well. Uh, they're all just trying to, just, at the moment, I think they're just all trying to keep it on the tarmac at the moment. Uh, this has slowed right down for, for the finals. Uh, obviously Clay Pigeon giving it a wet one to do it in its casual style, in its typical fashion. Uh, one off down at the hairpin. Wet weather catching him out for that one and I don't think he wants to continue either. As he carries on, uh, walking off. Uh, down the inside very slowly goes one driver. That is the number 47 on the 61. The 61 didn't want to give in. That was very <laughs> slow and painful to watch. Uh, but this rain is absolutely hammering it down now. Hard. But it's fine. It's fine. Not for me in a minute. I've got to take these cameras down. But uh, Ian Brownfield still in the lead. Still keeping it on the track. Taking the wider lines. James Webb six seconds behind as everybody just <laughs> further slows up. Tell you what, if I was out there and it's absolutely raining like it is, I would have been straight off into the grass. couple of drivers in the pits as well. Reese Lewin has just bailed on this one and Andy Ward as well. Uh, two minutes 46 left to go on uh, what has brought the pace of this this round right down. Ian Brownfield in first position followed by James Webb then Ben Johnson then we've got Dan Milner followed by Harry Rowett then Cameron Marston then Derek Hunt Nathan Crowder Gareth Evans uh, Ty J. Simmons and then Ian Brown. Just everybody just trying to keep their best to keep it on the track. A slow overtake on the top bend. And a twitch through. Uh, the number 77 there on the 26th. We're, we're nearing, some drivers near in the 50s for lap times. <laughs> this is uh, definitely brought the pace down a little bit, as long as it's uh, not too bad a little bit later on. So, a leader just going over the line there with 1 minute 42 left on the clock. Fastest lap time of a 38.06. We're now doing over 10 seconds slower than that. <laughs> As we go down the back straight, a couple of the drivers there. As uh, I believe it's not gone to rain, it's I swear this is hail that's coming down now. Yeah, this, this final's got interesting. <laughs> Ian Bramfield still ahead. Nearly uh, just over eight and a half seconds uh, behind is James Webb. As uh, the weather doesn't know what it wants to do with itself at the moment. <laughs> Rain or hail, who knows. 
Contact warning given to Dan Milner. <laughs> if he couldn't handle it. Uh, <laughs> always very touchy between the 61 and the 17. Ben Johnson and Dan Milner. Uh, I can see why he might have got given a contact warning there. And they're still at it now. Both of them touching each other constantly. Not in that way. <laughs> As we come down the main straight now. We'll keep an eye on these two as they're causing a little bit of trouble out there. So going through towards the S's, uh, we'll be nearing the last lap next with this rain hail, rain hail. So down the inside goes the 61. Ben Johnson, welcome to hail at Clay Pigeon Raceway. <laughs> God. All right, so coming down the main straight now, getting plastered by little things, is uh, Ian Branfield taking the last lap uh, for this one. Meanwhile, we'll carry on down the main straight as a few of the other drivers. Uh, James Webb nearing 10 seconds near enough behind Dan Milner, then Ben Johnson, then Harry Rowett. I wish I bought a coat. <laughs> <laughs> so where is our leader so far? There is the running order for you all. Number 24 just going over the line there. And check a flag goes out to Ian Brandonfield who has been... Well, everyone's being battered by this weather so far. <laughs> it's hailing. <laughs> Hail. So Ian Brandonfield... Takes a checkered flag to win this one in a very slow final. James Webb in second and then following out by Dan Milner. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the Clay Pigeon Kart Club Championships round two. And it's ended up in hail. <laughs> that is typical. Typical Clay Pigeon in this weather. But thank you everybody for tuning in if you watch live on the youtube channel make sure to hit that subscribe button head over there and get ready for next month uh, round three but otherwise what a day as harvey price would say what a day so we'll see you all next month uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Hope you've all been all right out there. Um, we shall see you all next month for when for when uh, we have another round. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask and it's not working. Uh, we'll be back next month for round number three. Hopefully, it's going to be as exciting as this one. And it's <laughs> it stopped raining. Right, we'll see you all next time. Thank you guys for watching.